Ba-da-dum. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. We're here. It's the gang. We're here. We're queer. Let's go. Well, <laughs> hey. some of us. Sure. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, hey, everybody. Welcome back. It's Dungeon Select. It feels good to be back yet again. Two weeks in a row without break. We're, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're, we're slowly getting our shit back together. Okay. Um, uh, we're down a Duke today because he is dying of COVID right now. So everybody, I don't know, wish him, wish him the best. Wish him we've good somehow, death. We've somehow him spread COVID revived. over the internet. We did. It's new, <laughs> new version, did, boys. I had COVID yeah. weeks ago. New variant just dropped, boys. <laughs> and uh, Belle is like still on a hiatus. Uh, she's, uh, you know, she's busy. She's She's doing things. <clears throat> and uh, she'll be back whenever she's ready to be back. Um, so I'm going to start today's session off with a small retcon. Uh, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Uh, first things first. Any announcements? You're the any, realist. Anybody? I am yeah. You, bro. Okay. Yeah. Um, so last week I said that Netherdeep was coming back and I lied because <laughs> all of our schedules are not cooperating and we might not be able to play again until like the end of October. Uh, it was not an intentional lie. It was a last minute thing. Yeah. But even though the, our Netherdeep campaign might be on a bit of a long un intended break i promise we're not just like ending the campaign in the middle it will get finished will. eventually i swear uh and then second announcement is this friday at 8 30 a.m eastern times so i have to get up early as shit um uh ethan and duke are joining me along with some other players uh kicking off a 48 hour tabletop marathon for charity benefiting the starlight children's foundation We'll be doing a one-shot set in the Feywild. Our players are part of an organization called the Golden Vault, and they need to steal a diamond from the host of the party and get out without hurting anyone or drawing attention to themselves. We'll see if they succeed. And there will be wild magic tables for donations. You'll be able to Ooh. help or hinder the players with your donations. So it should be good old fashioned chaos for charity. So if you're around, stop by. It'll be on the channel twitch.tv slash sassypants1996. I'll post the links on my socials and stuff because Sassy Pants, a.k.a. Steve, is the host and organizer of this 48-hour marathon. And I believe Briar is also playing in the same marathon on a later slot. Yeah, uh, the 29th, I believe, at 1.30 oh. Pacific. Um, no. It might be the 30th. Um but I will be doing an Animal Crossing one-shot that I took stats from someone who posted them on Twitter and then wrote an adventure for them. So yeah. it'll be cute. Cute. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. Bell, so yeah. lots of Dungeon Select representation in this charity marathon. Yeah. Should be a good time. Absolutely. I believe Absolutely. those are all my announcements for now. Huh? Anyone well, else? Um, I mean, I got I got a job now. Starting in a few seconds. That's pretty cool, I guess. I'm gonna be working customer support for you know an energy company. So whenever people are like, "Why is my bill so high this month?" They'll call me, and I'll be like, <laughs> you "Use more guns." That's gonna be a lot of fun. Because you're not. I don't care. It's a it's a fully remote work from home job, so I'm vibing, bro. Honestly. Oh hell yeah, that's pretty sick. Yeah. We love that. Just gotta go pick up my work laptop next week, which will be like an hour and a half. Train oh, that's yeah. sick. They give you a laptop to do it with too. Yeah. So. Yeah. But it's a fully remote, five days a week, nine to four. So I'm kind of vibing. I'm kind of vibing. Other than that, uh. <clears throat> Wait, did you say five to four? Nine to four. Nine, nine to four. Oh. I heard uh, five to four, and I was like, "That's a really odd schedule." Yeah. No. Fuck that. <laughs> Uh, other than that, I don't really have any announcements, man. Uh, I might do some streams here and there. I'm playing Lies of P, which is a pretty fucking cool game. Closest we're gonna get to Blubber on PC. I'm really enjoying it. My fucking <laughs> wheel of my chair is on top of my headset cable. There we go. Hello. Um, <laughs> but yeah, slowly doing that. Uh, but for now, um, Kirby, Kirby, you snacking at all, bro? How are you? Bro, I got no money. Okay, I'm gonna be real. I got no, no money this month. I can Snack take over. I stole his money. Snackies, I can take over for Koi but for this. So I, oh. sure, I have, I have a lot of real fancy cheese and crackers or snack. But this one cheese 
I didn't bring anything to cut it with. It's a really big piece, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna expose myself. I do generally just sometimes take big pieces of cheese well, and just like eat them like an apple. Right now. Just like eat right from now. it. Yeah, but it's got right wax on it. You can't like oh. This isn't oh. wax, it's a rind you can eat. It's rind soaked in red wine and it's delicious. Yeah, idiot. Oh. This man doesn't know his cheese. There we go. I'm I'm sorry, I'm I didn't look at it and immediately know that it was an edible rind. Well Yeah, that is your bad. Jesus now your cheese Christ, is better. Fucking I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was a school of cheese amancy wizard. Fuck me. Oh, if you see me just eating from a brick of cheese today, that's uh, very intentional, and oh, yeah. I'm living my best life. I love cheese, yeah. <laughs> and covering for Koiba. <laughs> Who would ever oh, eat like a whole of anything just like without All cutting right, cake, up, man? What mad man? <laughs> right. You um, jam roly poly like a burrito. I mean, yeah. without any further ado, you want to just uh, get into Let's it? Do it. I'm ready. So. Last we left off, the party fought the uh, Wachter family in uh, the town of Valaki. And after taking care of um, Lady Yon Wachter, her kids, and uh, her followers, the body of the coffin maker that was there chained on the floor in the middle of some kind of ritual, like drawn on a ground pentagram, Started floating, bones started to crack and contort, uh, eyes just crimson red, and this large beam of energy just poof, out of his body. And when the party got outside, uh, escaping the crumbling and collapsing house, they see they saw that on, above the village, or above the town, sorry, this large just ball of, of, of energy, of, of blood magic was collecting and slowly broke down the final barrier uh, kept out all of Stroud's nastiness and it immediately just unchained this 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 battle of of, of the people of Valaki and the, the keepers of the feather and the guards preparing a last line of defense while the party got the hell out of there and went towards Castle Ravenloft to take on Strahd to find the final Artifact you need to find and take on Strahd. Um, on the way there, this is a slight retcon because I talked to Bell um, before Brooks went through his uh, episode. Um, you're all in the house, and suddenly you see Kessa's vessel begins to glow, and in front of you, in the middle of this house, this small hut, see uh i think you've all seen blue before right? like he's popped out of the vessel mm -hmm. before to yep. seal this up yeah blue appears same, so. and uh he like addresses you all like says hello but it immediately turns to kes and tells her that um there are some pressing matters to do with uh her dad's health and the investigation to trying to save him and he takes kes but before he does that, he does turn to you, Daigon, and says, um, I know that you're, you and Kes are currently a package deal, but I think I can use up some of the remnants of my uh, Jin magic to temporarily bind you to another object of your choice. It won't be permanent, but just long <gasps> enough so that me and Kesslin can deal with our business. Do you have anything in mind? Oh, I, I do, but it's also an object I wouldn't necessarily be carrying around at all times. What happens to me if we put the thing I'm bound in in a bag of holding? I don't think I should find out. That's probably a Seems bad like plan, a bad right? Okay. Um, uh, it can be a, uh, panic. I just, I start looking in panic that. at the group and looking that. at just what's around. Well, that, that's what, but I don't, but then we just carry the mirror cat like around all the time. And that's, uh, <laughs> you can put it in, you can put it in that's doable. Bag. You can put it in like Brooks's bag or something, like someone's bag, right? Yeah, well, I, uh, yeah, well, and this, oh, this, would explain, this would also be good why I have it, because I use it to try and, like, calm Brooks down, but if Kess leaves, I can't go in the vessel and get it. So this would explain why I have it. So, yeah, we'll save the meerkat so that Kess can get it out okay. of the vessel for me before she leaves. Right. So, um, we got the ultimate retcon of retcons. We did it, boys. It's one hand, <laughs> it's one hand on, on your, like, on your shoulder. The other hand, he grabs the, the meerkat, and you can see kind of that, like, 
Kessa's vessel kind of begins to float and like kind of pull at her neck. And this like white, blue, translucent magical energy just gets sucked out of the vessel and gets put into the meerkat. And the meerkat now has this like faint bluish glow around it and he hands it to you, uh, Daigon. I, I understand that. And it drops. I go to grab it, and it drops to the floor, yeah, and then I go, true, yeah. right, and, and <laughs> just kind of sit next to it. <laughs> I, I understand that what you are doing is pressing, but so is this, so I hope you don't mind. If the need for the extra help gets extremely dire, you'll be able to reach me via this, and he hands, he just kind of holds up small um, a small coin. Just well, it's it's like it's not an actual gold coin or anything. It's just like if do you go to like grab a disc it, or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Someone else is. Uh, I can't grab it. So he, he oh, just true. says, "Just crush it, and it will summon me once. And then, in case you do need Kes right away, I can bring her back." But I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. Charge that Kess <laughs> coin. There we go. And with that said, True shine it. himself and Kess both Breaks it. disappear. Uh, as I, and then I get. I, well, I guess this one will wait until we're in the house and the meerkat's just chilling on the mm -hmm. floor. And then all the Brooks stuff happens after this, yeah, right? So, then everything yeah, as normal happens. Now, you know, last we left off, Brooks did lose all of his sanity and went through a bunch of visions and when he snapped out of it he seemed scared shitless uh, and then we ended right as you uh, you also found this very dangerous ruby rod uh, that you that Jax did um, identify and turns out that well there's like a 90% chance that if someone tries to tune to it they instantly die and even if they do they turn into a fucking slave of Esmodeus, so... I don't know. Bad news, all Bad around. Bad news all around. <sighs> um, but for now, given the place you're at, it is being kept in... The bag of holding, I think? Yes, I believe. Uh, I Just for now. Um, or was I it think Brooks? we gave it to... It no, we gave it to Brooks' bag, because we're like, I ain't putting Jax's bag of holding. <laughs> what? Okay, so it's, it's in Brooks' bag, then. But, um, Someone yeah, has pretty, for, for, I'm for pretty sure it might be in my bag. It's Brooks' yeah. bag. It's 100% your really. bag, Brooks. Because um, we were like, you... it probably won't fit in there. We haven't Brooks... long rested, have we? We just We, we just Thank did. We, just have, okay, we ended okay. the session at a long rest. And I was going to say, yeah. during sure. that, before... Because Elazarin was talking to me before they go to rest. And I would ask Elazarin, hey, can you maybe keep this on your person? I know it's kind of awkward to carry around, but... I just I can't I can't hold it so oh, and I I would I would give it to Brooks but I don't I don't want to how big be in his space it? right now. What how like how is it like? A I, small, I mean small, I've never just in my head it was like like a like, small teddy this size. Like, like, yeah, I, no, I like, imagined it like ferret size, but like, like ferret. I imagined like... it like here. Yeah, I imagined it almost like a little oh because of this is like this is my little mini Persian. Oh, it's like yeah, this like size, small, small, so it's like oh, a little a little toy. Yeah. I will, uh, like, get an arrow, like, bit of, like, a robot thing, like, tie it to my belt. You yeah. could put it in a bag if you have a, a bag that it I mean, I do. In, like... Probably fit in the bag. I've got a massive fucking book in there. Well, <laughs> just, okay. So, like, oh, like, I like to start, you see me put it in my bag. I, I like the, the idea rack. now of a lad when I was like, you know, his really fancy clothes yeah. and, like, oh, I'm such a fancy. And then there's, like, a little stuffed toy yeah. just tied to his well, belt. Well, like, <laughs> my inventory is, I mean, just... A lot of random shit. So, like, if I open up my bag, you can see, like, it'll be, like, stuffing the toy in. And, like, you know you don't want to treat a toy badly in front of the kid who owns it, I don't care. It, right? You can. I'll but give you permission. Like, you, can, like... you can squish it. It's fine. <laughs> and then, um, yeah. you long rested after the house went uh, through, you know, winding through the forest and craggy mountain peaks, following a road that suddenly took a turn east and the startling presence of Castle Ravenloft already towers before you. The house comes to a dead stop before twin turrets of stone broken from years of exposure. Beyond these guard towers is the precipice of a 50-foot-wide fog-filled chasm that disappears into unknown depths. 
The lower drawbridge of old shore shored up wooden beams stretches across the chasm, not wide enough for the hut to fit. The chains of the drawbridge creak in the wind, and they're just eaten uh, they're they're rust eaten iron straining under the weight. From the top of the high walls, stone gargoyles stare at you out their hollow eye sockets and grin hideously. A rotten uh, a rotting wooden portcullis screened with growth uh, hangs above the entry top. Beyond this location, the main doors of Ravenloft stand open. A rich and warm light spills from within, flooding the courtyard. Porches fluster sadly in the sconces on both sides of the open. So you are currently... You parked the house stopped by the bridge. You long rested there. Brooks went through his thing. Did Brooks sleep? Uh... Yes, but like... Badly. Oh, fuck it, I'm gonna roll for it. Okay. <laughs> well, Fair. eventually got to sleep. Okay. Um, so you are currently, like, at the... Uh, the Barovia side of the bridge, we'll say. Um, like I said, the chains of the drawbridge creak in the wind. It's rust. Uh, it, it, you're not sure how sturdy this bridge is. It's, um... You know, you'll have to get a little closer and investigate. And we're looking for the amulet in crypts, unless I'm in the crypts, forgetting yeah, in the Ravenloft yeah. okay. crypts. So you Under. imagine them Just being somewhere sure. subterranean under yeah. the actual yeah. cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as of uh, how to get there, you have no idea. Do there seem to be like any like tunnels? Since there's like a drawbridge across, mm -hmm. is there like tunnels underneath there, or you can't see? Are we not able to see anything? The entire chasm oh. is completely filled with fog. You have no idea. You have no vision except for what is right in front. If we get closer, I can I can walk through walls with that presumably I can also walk underground and just like wander until I found just a check. Not saying I'm gonna do it, but <laughs> I mean <laughs> Or is it only like walls? Because like it's if I don't know there's anything there, I can't make myself walk walk through or go into solid ground. So we say it's only walls that I know and can see, I can walk through? You could, I mean, the thing is you could try, and after however long it takes you to finally find something somewhere underground that isn't just solid surface, or solid ground, yep. it's still, that is still- You could potentially fall in the chasm is, though too. Well, and my mechanics say I take, like when it's in combat, I take damage if I end my turn in a solid thing. Okay. So I also would probably just be injuring myself if yeah. I'm just walking through solid ground yeah. for however long. Yeah, in so. that case, I mean, you could try, but it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's risky. Danger. Yeah. If it's within 30 feet, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I'd have to be pretty confident that the end of the exactly. ground or wall isn't nearby. Yeah. Well, as far as we know, the chasm's right there underneath it, too. Like. The worst part is, as well, is once you've made one turn, that's it. You have no concept of where out is anymore. That's not true. Because you're just, like, in the dark, right? Like, you're... Well, where out is... Um, but yeah, so what would you like to do? I mean, ha first thing... How's Brooks doing? How's he looking? What's going on over there? In Crazy Town uh, Corner. Crazy Town Population Brooks. Yeah, how's that? Um, How freaked out is this man's? I mean... Better? Like, uh, Lazarin's fairly perceptive, right? Like, he's got... Oh, uh, Lazarin's very perceptive and insightful. Uh, uh, he looks like he's doing his best to hold it together. I have the red. Oh, that's close enough. That'll do. He's not freaking out anymore. <laughs> that's a win. It's a win uh, in these games. Me what like... we've tried on Brooks so far as well. Oh, nothing. nothing. Oh. oh we, so what we did was we tried... Um, like I tried giving him the, the meerkat to hold as an emotional support stuffy. Also, because he gave it to me. Um, Davian read out loud for a while from a book with history of where we were from because Brooks just said he didn't want to be here and we've all been moving very slowly and not getting in his space but like nothing like magical or physical has been tried just like verbal and like body language basically so okay 
and asking him like what he needs if we can help the only thing he would say was i don't want to be here and he i was like you can go and cast this vessel for a while there's a nice beach in there it's real nice and he's like that's still not enough that's still here so here presumably means this mortal coil not barovia <laughs> so. well there's a chasm that can fix that so <laughs> Uh, also, Who knows? Before we get uh, Brooks, you did like last night. Put all, yeah. all of your weapons and stuff on the yeah, floor. Yeah, that's what I was getting. Oh to. yeah, he he yeeted all his weapons across the room, not well, at anyone, but like away. Oh. Oh. The morning of, like once everyone else packed up and like leaving the hut, Brooks will pick his weapons up. But, I mean, if Jack he also, to something, so but he's he's walking like. Alongside the group, but like there's a good like five ten feet between him and everyone else. And he also gave a note to a Lazarin via Onu. He would not physically walk over to a Lazarin. And all we know was a Lazarin read the note, like nodded, and then burned the note after immediately. So we don't know what that note said or what instructions were given to a Lazarin. But it was a love note, okay? It was a love letter. Mm -hmm. And the really, like, weird drawing of, like, a snake, but then I realized it was his penis. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're drawn to scale. Cool. We just laid it out and traced it. Did not need that image in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you, though? <laughs> so. Uh, okay. Uh, I could try to look for a tunnel underneath. I mean, I could... I, I don't know how thick the fog gets, but... I can ask fly out yes there no see. questions and try and get an answer, but I don't think I'll find one. You know, try praying. And if we need more um, light, I can do the drift globe thing and just make some brighter light in the chasm, but generally bright light and fog sometimes makes it worse because it just bounces off the fog, but... You know, I can't do anything, really. Well, I, I think the question is whether we want to find a way around or just go in through the front I door. I feel like there's probably not going to be a way around, I think. Well, from here, I don't know, because you have to cross the bridge. But it does seem that like, oh. there is, like, a courtyard before the front oh, door okay. actually happens. And oh, might be. You have, to, you have to cross the initial chasm to keep... But yeah, we definitely have to cross oh. the bridge. Okay. Did you say the, the, the bridge was down or up? So I missed lowered. that detail. Currently lowered. Fuck it. Seems like like last time when I've seen bridges before. <laughs> I'm just going to start walking across. <clears throat> I'll look for traps and I'll look to see how like... I'll, I'll do a little tester, you know, like foot on, like one foot on it first just to see like how sturdy it is. If it's going to break under like weight and uh -huh. then just if it's fine. Um, I'm yeah. just going to look around and just be like, mm, it seems okay. <laughs> Okay. See some explosives uh, underneath. Want to look for traps as well, you said? Yeah, I will look for traps, yeah. Investigation check on. Make sure this fucking... Oh, it's a 12. Good. Uh, bridge seems average. sturdy. As you walk over it, it does kind of like sway. Left and right. Oh, in the wind. Um, but it seems sturdy enough to carry your weight. You don't know if it's wise for everybody to be on the bridge at the same time. Um, I can be on the bridge at the same time. But it seems sturdy enough <laughs> no, you to, to, to support your weight at this current point in time. Uh, and as you walk slowly walk across it, uh, it does get a little slippery. There's some like moss that has grown on the bridge yeah. that just kind of makes it slippery. So a couple times you just like, ooh, and you like grab the handles and the bridge starts swaying a little more because of that. Fucking hell. But eventually... If, if uh, anyone looks like they're going to fall, I would be like real ready to cast Bigby's hand to try and catch them in the hand. So I'd be watching. Okay. Uh, oh. Eventually, uh, you do make it across, and then oh, yeah. uh, standing at a set of gate towers, uh, and you do see like there's there's two gates. Uh, there's this one gate, like this portcullis, uh, to enter the courtyard properly, and it is currently open, and you can see like. 40, 50, maybe 60 feet across, you do see the front doors into the, the castle properly. Doors open, light coming from the inside, like it, almost inviting. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> okay. The rest is about right. Absolutely not. I mean, Cocky I will call across <laughs> as as I like have made across. Like, seems fire over here. Just a little slippery. Just one, one at a time as well. Um, I think of this, we'll go to the combat map real quick, just so you guys have some visual what we're yeah. Well, it's not, I'm called a combat map, but that's because what the scene is called. But basically, so currently, this is the bridge, right? Nice. We made it through here. Elazarin, you are currently, let me just put a second token down for you. Because your Elazarin is currently, like, here. Nice. Uh, but as okay. you look around, you do see that there is, like, a courtyard that does bend around the castle. So there might okay. be alternative ways for you to to, to cross. Doki. We do have more window and door patches. We fucking do. God. <clears throat> Actually, how many two of those do we have? <laughs> Excellent point. So, um... I'll be fine. Doing? Is the rest crossing? I will use my boots to fly across, just to mitigate. Yeah, I mean, you fly across, uh, wind gets quite heavy, but other than that, uh, you are fine. If, I'll go. Uh, I, I see them make it away, or make it that way by flying, I'll use my cloak, turn into a raven, and fly over. Okay. I will edge my way along, got about hey, five feet at a time. While Aranya's a raven, you could <laughs> do a quick fly around and look for underground entrances, or just like scope out various other entrances to the castle in general true yeah I'll, I'll look for that and see if i notice any like i don't know guards patrols anything like that as well okay uh help me help you so as you f like basically you start on the side of the bridge you fly across uh you see that they're like the top of the towers uh are unmanned there's no one there you can mm -hmm. see that there is a gate on both the right hand and the left hand side of mm -hmm. the keep that goes further back. Do you go and check? Um, if I see that that side is unmanned, I will check out the other side just to see. Yeah, my, everything outside seems unmanned. Oh god, I'm dropping all my dice. Um, okay, then whenever people catch up to where uh, Jax and I are, I will let them know that okay. uh, do, but also that i'm me... suspicious of it because that's weird <laughs> are the gates open on the sides uh when aranya went to check it seems that those two gates are are shut I don't know about locked but they are shut right. yeah Chat also means Sorry, my chair is so squeaky. Holy crap. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah. Oh. Well, <clears throat> once everyone is across, um, you guys do. What? Fuck shit up. You have to say, what does so like everyone you see like much? So what do we. Do we get like a scope, hello down on what's on? Yeah, yeah, I mean, the whole point was to yeah. tell you guys, so it's unmanned and the gates are shut. Don't know if they're locked. You can always have a little look. No, no harm in looking, you know? Well, if we were looking for crypts, it, they'd be underground, right? We could potentially try to go inside and then use a door to just go down. I don't I'll be honest, I don't know how that works. I feel like it has to be, like, the door has to be an opening. Window I can just put on a wall. We can try a window then. But I don't know how, like... I, don't, I think they'll just make a window and then they'll be ground. I don't think it, like, you know, goes, yeah. oh, the next available opening it, it's a window all the way, you know? It'll just be like a... Or it doesn't depend on how thick it is, or... It'll just be a glass... I don't... I don't really know. I I've only used it like sideways on a wall. I've not really I've not used it down. Well, how thick was the know? wall? Like five foot. Pretty and that wall. seemed like near the it, it, like they like the limits of it. Like that seemed like that's quite like a thick window, you know. Yeah, I'll say that you know floor. that from having used it. Uh, yeah. It just you know. 
covers the depth of like an average wall. Yeah. So that's like what? That is like five, six. So it need yeah, to be like, a pretty thin floor. If that, like, if that, like, outer walls can be a bit a little thicker, like a few feet. Yeah. Like, so if yeah, you were to randomly slap them on like the ground or random walls, and if there is nothing behind it or there is something behind it, but it's further than that distance, it'll okay. just be window and then more wall behind it. Yeah. Like, ah, oh, God, I did it! Duh, instantly. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck! <laughs> just does it, keeps on doing it, like, chains it, just, come on! <laughs> it's windows all the way down. Yeah. Fucking smash, jump from the fucking, like, top and go smash through all of them. <laughs> so. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. Are you going around? Check one of those gates? Yeah. Or are you going front door? Well, I'll, uh, let's go right. I'm... Right can't be wrong. Right can't be wrong. Oh. But then left is always correct. It's so... always left. <laughs> okay. Mr. DM. Hello. That's for the inside of the maze. Can I check and see if anyone's watching or following us? Make a perception check. Yeah, there's this there's a shadowy figure that's uh, following all seven. of us about five foot. <laughs> as far as you can tell, no one's watching me. Cool. I'm gonna keep compulsively looking anyway. Okay. Uh, if you go check out one of the uh, one of the like gates, uh, you see that a massive wall juts out to connect the outer walls of the castle with the keep. A 20 foot wide, 20 foot tall archway offers passage through the connecting wall, but is blocked by a rusting iron portcullis. How rust are we talking? Like, brittle rust? Or like, it's still pretty thick? Like, it hasn't um, been eaten away too much? No. It is quite thick and sturdy still, but just covered by a layer of rust. Because it's been in Any... rain and no one really... Yeah take care of it any like levers or obvious like switches anything that looks like check. it could be oh shit <laughs> if the lever to open it is on the other side i can just walk through and then mage hand pull oh, it oh shit my position is pretty 15 as far as you can tell no i'll just i will then as i die and you just like ghost ghost mode out or are you like are you in someone <laughs> I'm just, I'm just ghost form, or lingering soul form. Right I now. will straight just like, like a dog looking at food. It's like, look at Daigon, look at the pork, <laughs> look at the pork. <laughs> <look at Daigon. laughs> g g give him like. All right, Daigon. I'll go ahead and quick go through the bars and look and see on the other side if out of sight there were any levers, switch, button, something to open it from and that you side. Ghost your way through the door, get to the other side, and what you see is. Like a small courtyard uh, enclosed by towering walls. You also see that there is a stone house with hinged wooden doors standing silently in a corner where the outer walls okay. meet. Um, okay. And across from the that house is a, a slender wooden door reinforced with iron bands that lead it to find an ultimate place to the keep. Um, okay. But you do not see a lever of any kind to open. Okay. I'll come back to the gate and just verbally tell them all that that I see is on the other side of that. Um, I will... Can I start... Um, again, because I can feel things. It's just like a muted sensation, so it won't be as good as possible. But can I start like feeling along the wall looking for if there's... I can't push it or act or anything, but just I could still feel if there was maybe like a, one stone was like raised or... Or like depressed in or something um, like that. Make an investigation check. <clears throat> you want me to make it with disadvantage because of my not I great it's a physical like, thing? Texture okay. Or something. Sure, you can have a given. Yeah, because also eyesight. Well, I rolled like shit anyway, so who needs Hell disadvantage? Hell yeah, let's go. Uh, that is a ten. As far as you can tell, um, either you're missing something, or. Yeah. Uh, this cage is not meant to be opened because you do not see, you, know, you don't see any physical <clears throat> like, uh, mechanisms to open okay. this gate. Oh. I'll tell the group there's a chance maybe the way to open it is in that house, maybe because if it's like a you know like a gatehouse kind of, and it's like the person who would live there watches over this gate, and they're the ones in charge of. I mean, Brooks, are you feeling you know physically strong? You. Do you want to get some wanna... rage out? I'm. Sh mm -hmm. Do you want to? You know, see if you can do it on might and <gasps> you know lift up. Wait, wait. Does it look like a does it look like a portcullis that would like lift, or does it just look like a fucking gate? It looks like one that lifts. Like it looks like oh. a. Roxy. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can do 
the big beast's hand to try and punch through the thing or that'd be loud. That'd be, it. That'd it be would really be very loud. loud. And he, I think he already knows we're here. We don't want to destroy his stuff whilst we're here. I sort of look up at yes, the castle. Yes, very, like, very much. I want to destroy some stuff. Before I just check that it's not cursed or anything like that. And Oh, of course. I will touch it. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, my hand it feels like a rusty gate. I'll go, ah, it's fine. <laughs> it's having a breakdown, man. You you, gotta... is, is this genuine? Like, you actually, like, fake scream? No, I think about it, though. <laughs> you, see, you see me go to, like, go, and I go, it's fine. <laughs> it's that moment where I'm like, oh, wait, hang on, I've been, I've been in this situation before. I know what a breakdown looks like. I've been And loud noises here. with the jumpy person. This is a no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go real high and be like, boom. <laughs> I'm gonna go lift the gate. Or attempt to at least. Go on, big man. I can also, again, maybe not to punch it, but Big B's hand advantage or to help you, like a second hand trying to lift it, lift it. up. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Big B's hand has like a, a lift, like, stat on it. Just it, it just has a strength, of, yeah, a strength of 26 is the stat. Yeah, so. is like his strong, Plus eight his to strong strength one. checks. Yeah. He's a big boy. So if you'd like, I can help in that way. I don't know if Brooks knows that you can do that. So you that's a favor. I've done it before. Like, stop with the group. to the bottom right corner of your camera, Ethan. It'd be great. No, because I'm reaching for popcorn. Put it on the other side then or something. <laughs> Put it in your lap. Come on. I mean, the group has seen me. I've used Big B's hand before in combat. So, you know, I can summon Big Hand, but once per day. I mean... Yeah. I'll give it a try and see if it's yeah. plausible. Uh, God, yeah, you can certainly try. The sh check. Ethan, the shadow of your fucking cat going up is the scariest fucking thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've, I've got expertise, man. I've got to try and stretch it out where I can. <laughs> if you limber up beforehand, it's mm, athletics, right? Successful DC strength check. Sorry, man. Okay. So I tried. It says strength on my end. <laughs> I tried. It doesn't say strength in brackets athletics. It does. It just says strength. Look, you've got to give me like I tried, yeah. right? Like you've got to respect the hustle. Yo, can I can I medicine it open? Can no. I insight uh, so this thing open? Check, can I medicine to find out what's wrong with Craig? Uh, it's an eighteen. You, Josh, you no one knows. The port colors and it is it is unlocked. There's no like locking mechanism keeping it from being shut. It's just you don't know how to lift it, so you just pick it up and you're gonna raise it up. Uh, and you raise it up high enough for your party to go underneath. Yep. Little boots we buggy. maybe want to put something here so we don't have to lift it back up when we inevitably run the fuck away. <laughs> no, we I do not we're like getting... the no, I don't like the idea of being trapped in here. And this uh, is fucking heavy, so let's put something here, please, before I put this down. Scans inventory. <laughs> Stop rifling through your fucking in. bags and grab something. Is there any? Is it like a stone or something? A big rock? Nobody got an immovable rod. Um, I got electrum candel candelabras. I'll say oh, that. I'll do it. Uh, you see, like got grappling in, hook in the corner. But the ruby rod there. <laughs> oh, yo, that's actually genius, bro. <laughs> that's genius. No, that's just, terrifying. Just fucking with this ancient artifact of has been like, don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> don't stop. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, let's leave this for okay, anyone. Somebody asked a question and then you guys started waffling. Um, Sorry. Craig asked a question and then Craig waffled. <laughs> that, that is true. That is what happened. Hey, DM, it's can you answer ghost. this? Anyway, so... Uh, huh? <laughs> We've got a ruby rod. <laughs> um, you do see in like the corner where like the walls uh, kind of like connect. Uh, some like spare... Like 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 a pallet of like spare stones used to build the wall, which you can reckon you can like, if everybody helps relatively quickly, bring a few of them over and make a pile and like prop up the gate that way. I will I will tell the Let's group do like, it. we could use those. Come on, let's all put our backs into it. And I'm doing the very much thing you know when like that person's pretending to hold things, but really like yeah. they're not need they're not needed to lift them. Like, <laughs> but they're just there like at a corner, so like Moral make sure spot. everyone else is alright. And just like and I'm just like you guys got this. <laughs> You're there like actually like because you can't hold it. But I'm there like yes 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 yes. yes. Yep cool. Yep. That hold there. She's the foreman on the job. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm eventually, the person who's pretending to work. <laughs> uh, Brooks, you can lower the gate, and it is, like, raised up high enough for you guys to just be able to run underneath, and it is just propped up on, on this pile of, like, black stone bricks. Thank goodness for that. So, oh, as I said, um, see, actually lined. That description I gave you earlier, Laura, I got my east and west turned around. So that whole spiel about like a building, you okay. didn't see that. Uh, it's okay. What you, what you see here <laughs> you is saw just, nothing. You see, um, you're in a small courtyard. Uh, you do see an alternative way into uh, the, the, the keep, the, the castle. And you also see that there is a path that continues around. Oh. Are we on the east or west side right now? Technically, you're on the southern side. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah. Southern side. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking amazing. <laughs> Are we east or west? South. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We've done it, boys. <laughs> so, Northwesterly east. If you want to just quickly look at tail spot. In a southern direction. There's a little compass in the bottom left. So, like, you are... Yeah. Oh, true. There is. Right uh, oh, fuck it. Well, let's continue on the path, right, boys? Or... I mean, we could just go in. Yeah, but... There might be a crypt out here. Yeah, but, oh, but we so might get to, like, a gravestone that could go to catacombs. Catacombs adjacent to crypt. I really hope it's that easy, guys. I really do. Um... As you begin to approach the like, passageway that continues like around the castle, you hear two voices. And one voice you recognize. And then suddenly... No, I don't like it. Suddenly mm -hmm. you remember that you were told. You hear Strahd talking to a voice you hadn't heard, be haven't heard before. And you remember that, but given the location of Strahd, were told that Strahd would be on the Overlook. And it dawns upon you now that what that means is the Overlook that oversees the town of the He's watching! At the bottom of the cliff. So you hear Strahd's voice right down this path on the Overlook. When you, when you say the Overlook, you don't mean like on a balcony above us. You mean like he's overlooking this he's town. Basically, if you want to real quick. He's here overlooking, and like imagine down here yeah. where the water is, is Yo. where the town of Barovia lies. I Yo. am immediately shuffling and immediately backing out. Yeah, it's I mean, range. Sorry. I uh, do it's the classic, like, let's go. <laughs> if only other way. Wasn't other way, other side, other side. I'm probably going over there. Terrified. Like, you, this is cla this, this classic, like. We have this entire castle explore. Oh, we found the final boss, like, right at the beginning. Oh, let's, uh, let's backtrack. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do a bit of backtrack. Got... What does this little key do that opens up this door, boss key? It's <laughs> <laughs> not going to happen. Hey, wait. No, guys, we haven't ran into the wall of fog yet. <laughs> what? It's Why not going to happen. Why does the auto save and the music stop? <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in an alternate universe, we're playing this d, &D campaign. We just and go for isn't it. isn't traumatized. And Brooks is running, running at him, grabbing at him, and diving <laughs> off the cliff. Which, oh my god, could you imagine the fucking the ultimate end of Strahd? Is just you just being like, <laughs> like Batista yeah, bombing the map? He's vampire <laughs> down the and Brooks fucking falls down hundreds of feet. Exactly. <laughs> 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 no, Brooks, Brooks just suplexes him off the overlook. So Brooks yeah. lands on the edge, but then Strahd lands behind him and gone. From Bye. the top no. row! He just, he just teleports <laughs> or he turns into a bat or something. Just, I, know, I know, I know. I could grab right, a bat. Right, so, um,. You, I'm gonna yeah, go the alternate do, door. We we do a back the fuck up. <clears throat> okay. Yes. Technical um, D and D term. <laughs> so I'm still it's sprinting what you away. See is, uh, there's like this large, like almost like stained glass window with a small door next to it, and as you kind of like look through the window, it seems that this door leads into an abandoned chapel. Of some description. Of some Hello. Description. Once, say it's, once <laughs> say it's cave fifteen. Uh, you know what? Sorry, I only, the only, only Dutch will get the reference, but it's Yeah, funny. true, because I showed you. Like, oh, what room is that? Oh, it's K15. Oh, you it's a chapel. Yes. Yeah, it's it is... nice. it's it's normally chapel. under a chapel. <laughs> the door's not on, on the tail uh, for some reason. But it's bones. Exactly. I'll, I'll, 
I'll, I'll open the door if it's oh, open. Yeah. Go uh, to it the chapel and we're... Shit, we lost our lockpick, boys. Well, the Brooks can still pick locks. Aranya okay. can yeah, but... pick locks. I'm real you fucking know. good at it. Yeah, Aranya can pick locks, probably. Probably. I don't have, I don't have proficiency with these tools. Oh, well, I could then... forge a key. Does... I was like, Kess had like, <laughs> gloves of thievery and everything, too, yeah. so it was like... Really... It's... Oh, I have these for... tools. Are you proficient with them? Oh, well... That sounds like we found our new lockpick. I, I mean, oh, without like proficiency, I have a plus eight to sleight of hand, so... Why would oh, you hate you're, you? You're still better than me. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so are you going to go into a center? I think I still need, like, Guys, if I'm correct. Hmm? Proficiency I still need no, yeah, still... you're better than me by one. I, I have a well, plus lock... seven with proficiency. Well, but... well, lock I still need not sleight of hand, though, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I just not don't picking... get an extra bonus. Not picking is technically just dex plus proficiency. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. Oh, is it? Because it's, yeah, because it's not. You're doing a lock picking check. You're not doing That's like a still seven for me. So. Yeah, so it'd be less for Brooks if you're... Yeah. So Brooks doesn't have it. Yeah. We love Does this. Does Brooks have thieves tools? No. Man, I really wish I had the knock I actually spell. don't know. I don't think so. Actually, if you give me an hour, I can make some. <laughs> we got an hour. Bro, we got an hour. <laughs> don't uh, have At this point tools. in time... Uh, I might actually have some... Feel, it's like sea clouds forming above you relatively fast. And rain begins to fall. <laughs> and that's just the classic, like, hands over hands, like, get this fucking door open, get this door open, get this door open, please, for the love of God! Top of my umbrella. So, does, like, does Brooks make it known that he doesn't <laughs> wear these Nobody's asked him to pick the lock, so... Oh, okay. Hold, hold, I'm seeing if I have these tools. I know, I sure as fuck don't. I don't, I have tinkers. Knowing that I don't have these tools, I will look at the lock and then look at Aranya. <laughs> I... I've just realized uh... I've got fucking... Got, okay, got, I mean, I don't know if I have these tools, come to think of it. I have proficiency, but I don't think I, I have I also have proficiency in, in these tools. I forgot to pick that up. Same. <laughs> yeah, but from um, Eladra, I imagine yeah, it's a it case of like, like oh, dad misplaced them. the key to this strong box. <laughs> you have these tools? Basically, basically, Operation Jerry rigging the shit out of everything. Um, okay, like, <laughs> I can make us some. <laughs> it would take an hour. However, it's going to take, I'm pretty sure, an hour. Hold on, let me, let me check. How does the door look? Uh, fairy. It's reinforced with iron bands. Is there any, like, windows or anything into this building other than yeah, the same class window, right? It's just large, like, three foot wide, maybe 15 foot tall, like, stained glass me. window. I mean, I can do the window, but it's gonna be fucking loud, and I don't want to make a lot of noise with him around. Could you not just slap a fucking door on the door? <laughs> door on the door. No. Why not? <laughs> Has to be in an open, like well, open space. Put a window well, on the door. We'll are the hinges on this door on the outside of the door? No. Fuck. There goes that plan. I feel like. Mm, I'm just trying to kick like, it in. Doors that lead to the outside rarely have hinges on the outside. I, I had to ask. Can you I, know. Yeah, that's a, that's a I, I, I know that it's. Happen, you know? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. But that's what I wanted to know. I do you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> this is gonna be quieter than beating the door down. Mm -hmm. I have a crowbar. Yeah. I'm going to try and crowbar, but not like to take the door off the hinges just to get it in where the locking mechanism is. The only, I don't know the correct terminology for it. You know, when you lock a door, it has a bolt that slides out and is caught in the actual wall. Yeah. Yeah. yeah dead bolt. All I need to break is where the yeah, like true. bolt holds on rather than taking the door off the hinges. Okay. Um, which will hopefully be quieter. I will cast uh... guidance on you. I make a, make a Can I help with my crowbar? What uh, am I, I making, mean, sorry? You're not going to be able to fit two crowbars in there, mate. <laughs> Alright, had to try, had to try. Uh, we'll make a strength check and add a d4 for mm. Gaiden. Okay, that's not bad. d4. Uh, dirty 20. Okay. You, like, put, like, the, the long flat end of the crowbar exactly on where the deadbolt is. And you just begin pushing. And it seems that time has done a number on this door. Uh, and it's been exposed to the weather and other elements of, of, of just and elements of just time. That it also kind of affected the locking mechanism. Uh, and, and, the, and the bolt. So you push. And it, 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 
takes some energy, takes some effort, but eventually you just hear this like thunk as the crowbar just suddenly just pierces through the bolt. And as you pull it out, you can see the door already begins to kind of like open up. Cool. I'm going to very quietly and carefully put that crowbar away. And then I will let someone else go first. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, it's raining. I fucking love it. Like, you see the door open and I'm just like peering. How like dark is it in there? Is it? Like, well, that? as you look inside, you can see dim colored light uh, filtering through tall, broken, and boarded up windows of stained glass, illuminating the ancient chapel of Ravenloft. A few bats flutter about near the top of the 90-foot-high domed ceiling. A balcony runs the length of the west wall, 50 feet above the floor. In the center of the balcony, two dark shapes are slumped in tall chairs. Benches coated with centuries of dust lie about the floor in jumbled disarray. Beyond this debris, lit by a piercing, by a piercing light, altar stands upon a stone platform. The sides of the altar are, altar are carved with reliefs of angelic figures entwined with grapevines. The light from above falls directly on a silver statuette. The oak figure is draped over the altar. A black mace lies on the floor in it. Uh-oh. Do I recognize the iconography? Hmm. On the altar. Well, that's a question. <laughs> um... Um. No. Oh, hate that. Hey, that didn't have to get to <laughs> that. That's the thing I kind of hate the most. Would rather just roll shitty and not know. Because um, <laughs> you two, <clears throat> how long? These are fucking old gods. <laughs> Barovia has yeah. been where it is. Yeah. For yeah, centuries and centuries. Well, your right. best guess is because you have no idea, like not the faintest, yeah. that this is a. A religion long forgotten that was already very rare and local, Barovia, yeah. and now that it's been gone I... for a thousands of years, yeah. nobody remembers it. Seeing, uh, like, what the like patterns are, are there any other ones like around? Am I able to get like a a feel or a vibe of if this was like a more, you know, lawful? You know, is this more like a good daddy or a bad one or neutral? Am I able to get like a, you know, a um... vibe? Can I vibe, vibe check the dead, the dead, the, the, this religion? I'll give you this. I'll, gi I'll give you this as a stretch. No, no, no I'll give you this. Do I feel sick on you this You are ground? in a dark, overthrown chapel. There is a slumped figure with a black cloak in front of the altar where the statue is standing. The only source of anything that isn't pure darkness in this room currently is this pristine looking statue. So that. with that no know knowing that you can say that or you can you can kind of as a cleric whatever the source of this statue is is definitely on the, the good side of things and it's also why it is the only thing in this room that hasn't been stained by corruption and darkness after all. Okay. Fine. Hmm. Do I, uh, I get pukey vibes here? Um, pukey vibes? <laughs> pukey vibes from the statue, nothing else. From the statue? Yeah, like that okay. statuette. Yeah. Does the slumped figure seem to be alive or and not moving? Uh, like, are you moving inside at this point? I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, have yeah. moved inside at this point, right. yeah. I'll have moved inside as long as the last rooms are gone um, first. As you oh, yeah, get close, first. see that the slumped figure in front of the statue um, as you kind of like pull the cloak down, you see the corpse of, um, of, a, of a man wearing a handsome fur-lined black cloak embroidered with golden thread. Might be fetch a pretty penny. It seems very well made. It looks pretty good quality. Uh, also wearing a suit of chainmail uh, and the mace that is at the side of his uh, feet. Also seems pretty interesting as it is a pure, fully like just black mate. Oh, <gasps> I have idea. Now the man's dead. 
Before anyone my... does anything. Oh, no, you go ahead. I was just going to use my rod of magic detection. Or, yeah, to um, detect any magic around us. Yes, you can. Uh, the mace and the statue. Statuette, I should say. I, I pitch huh? to the group, hey, do we think just for now as a way to A, keep me from glowing and giving away our position in this dark building, B, make me a little less vulnerable like i could i could use this armored individual as a temporary meat shield Go if you it. know what i mean because oh. i can how, do that how now is this person? true oh. <laughs> but you just have like one hp as the corpse though he's been here a while like the no because then is, it's one hp he's, he's until like he is rotting away he's been oh never mind i don't want to it's yucky <laughs> yeah. Imagine being like a picky ghost. Like, mm, this one's got a mole. So <laughs> this, one, this, one, this, one's this one's got on, maggots. You also see that like on this this floor, there is like three mm. pathways you can take out. Like there's yeah on the left right. in the middle a set of double doors and all are those stairs on the left that I see? Like on the left would that be stairs or? Well, let me have a look for you, mate. Um, it's one thing left here. Well, oh, there's stairs, mate. Room number. Um, I'm going to go down, go on. So the left door would be the South Chapel Axe. Why did you sound like a Honda accelerating? You do, yeah, <laughs> you do see <laughs> stairs. Um, it's his audition. You see stairs that go down, but uh, they seem very... Uh, this map has the down. It does have the downstairs. That's beautiful. Bro. Whoever did this map, guys? Killed it. Uh <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm just in awe. <laughs> it's fucking hey, we need to go we need to go down. You do down see stairs well. that lead downstairs there, yeah. Correct. Okay. Um, I want to take the man's cloak and his mace. Because okay. I love looting corpses. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, what should I label them as? Just like fur-lined, fancy cloak. Fur-lined, <laughs> fancy. Cloak. Well, yeah, black mason fur now, right? A feline cloak. Fur-lined. Fur cloak. Fur cloak. Just nice. Stop asking me questions, and I'm waffling over me. Disrespectful. Okay. Annoying. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Dad. Fur-lined, fancy cloak sounds good. Worth two hundred, like in brackets, <laughs> two fifty GP. Uh, the mace. Um, name it Gustav's mace for now. Ooh. I don't know who Gustav was. Yeah. A little meta spoiler. Man, at one point in life, it was called, it was called Gustav, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm sure I have something about Gustav in my notes. Our next arc is just finding out who Gustav was. And avenging his death. The... No, apparently I, I don't. It must be man knowledge. Uh, uh, you I, checked, me, I checked on the stream and you sound fine. Oh, okay. You're normal to me. No, I yeah. like I checked it, the stream specifically. It might just be the more that us sure. motherfuckers are loud, you know. <laughs> you know <laughs> all are a lot louder than me. I'm don't say us. I was me. muted. I was being polite. No, just in general. I was being rude. Uh, let me just lower all of you. Tick. To maybe have it be a little more balanced compared to my voice. Love Just mute trade. lowers my tick, you know what I'm saying? There you go. All right. Um, anything else anyone wants to do? Uh, that, that, I mean, that, that, the statuette, man. <laughs> I will <laughs> let Elazarin know that the statuette is, to some extent, holy. Well, I guess. And I'll say it's magical. I will. Does it look like it there also... is a place... For offerings near that statuette. Um, perhaps at one point in time, okay. when this religion was still legal to be practiced around these parts. Um, but now, no. It just seems that for some reason, no one has moved the statuette. You know, you're not sure why. I. With like, did you say there was like a light coming down onto it? 
Yeah, from like the there's another like glass like stained glass window behind right. it and that's letting some light in. It kind of like bounces off the statuette. And, oh. and a, a vast array of colors. What I'll also say is that. Uh, and this is me being nice. Mm. If at oh. any point, love you. Uh, you feel like you need a place to treat. Will it be for that? There's a certain energy around this, and you've noticed so far in anywhere around this these parts since you've gotten to this realm. Churches scare. The majority of what you encounter in these parts and that also goes for this chapel but yes it is a part of the castle but that statuette has not been moved so there is still that like holy energy that kind of fills the room so i'll say that if there is ever a point in time where you're like we need a rest whether it's a long rest or a short rest you reckon this is probably the best place in castle in the castle period for that to happen uh, this is your safe room. Uh, yeah. This was Resident Evil. There would be this a is your safe room. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This uh, is our safe point. I will still like. <laughs> I'll get uh, one of my my shinier coins. Like if I find like my shiny, shiny coins, I've probably been polishing for a little while, and I will um, hold it up into the into the light that is shining down to it. Mm -hmm. And then just do a sort of generic prayer, like sort of thanking for the safe space, and I'll put the coin next to the statuette. Okay. So I'll leave it. I will I'm gonna give you join inspiration for that. Ooh, oh, thanks, Brooks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Feel inspired, so you now have DMs. I I don't want the inspiration, oh, yeah. but Brooks is gonna join it. I was running that. You feel a bit queasy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. you're like you're like oh, this was <laughs> Brooks. <Yeah. laughs> by the way. It doesn't know where you're going with the prayer. It just like follows along silently. Yeah, it's very much like a very joined, much generic. Brooks thank you for this. Joins like, you for a prayer. Yeah, and then like I see this happen, and I just think it's someone else. I look over and see Brooks, and it's straight double tickets. <laughs> <laughs> sort of go to reach to pat you on the back, but then don't because I realize the sort of state you're in at the moment. <laughs> and, like, I Brooks flinches. Yeah, I, I see you flinch. I'm like. Oh, <clears throat> it can't hurt. Any help we can get. I admire it. Now okay. you're looking so... like a little closer as well, Lazarin yeah. and Brooks. What you see is that this corpse that uh, Jax has already gone around and like taken the cloak off mm. of. I guess Jax would have seen it too. He died, but is laying down or slumped in such a way where like you can see that one of his hands is stretched towards the statuette. Nah, that's all I needed. That's the other bit I need to know. Watch it. See what happens. I'm not going to touch it. You said there was two figures Watch on the balcony as well, right? Yes. Uh, there's like a balcony 50 foot up top, which I guess if I just quickly do... Uh, higher? Or is that balcony just not on this map? Maybe it is. Maybe this is just very high. Oh, the balcony's not on the map, I guess. Um... Well, imagine there a, bal a balcony being uh, like fifty, like like I guess where here is where it would be, um, and there's just two people in chairs wearing black cloaks, but they also seem very. I'll fly up there and give them a little look see. Uh, they've got nothing. Right out, shriveled up, corpses. Is there anything that makes show why they died? Make a medicine check. E. Natural causes. My first roll in a month. <laughs> huh? That's, that's, that's a roll. Uh, ten? You look them over, and they seem, like, completely dried up, like, exsanguinated. Then ah. dried up, up their blood. Nom, nom, nom. And you also see... A small, like, maybe two inch wide slit in their neck, where it seems that somebody just, like, used a small blade to stab them in the throat, and then just completely drained them. Like a Capri Sun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're gonna unsee that. 
<laughs> um, I will fly back down and rejoin the others then. All right. <laughs> Is Grix actually say to allow him to touch it? By the way, I always say he thinks oh, yeah. to me. That was <sighs> whole, Bro Brooks wants to Brooks. <sighs> He's reaching for it, so maybe something happens when you touch it. But I'm not going to touch it, so you touch it. No, but it's definitely going to be something. But look, he's no, di it'll he be died in that position. He died reaching for it in the hopes that it would save him. No, I think... Touch it. No, I think for touch now it. we'll just... No, we'll just leave it for now. Well, I'm not going to touch it. But and then when we As a come joke, I will touch it, but obviously I'm not actually touching it, and my arm goes through it. Watch this light trigger it. <laughs> <laughs> um, regardless, Daigon. Yeah. As your hand yeah. flashes uh -oh. through it, oh, no. you feel a very warm oh, no. and safe. Like you feel safe, you feel secure, huh. you feel almost at home. As I, so I do that, and then it's I go to pull my very, arm out, but then I kind of like look like this. It's very comfortable. And instead, I just do the almost like cat like, but I can't hold it. But I just kind of like go oh, and I go like, curl up my body around it for a minute. My ghost, <laughs> but I'm like, oh, this feels nice. <laughs> I, I was like, Dagon's doing something kind of weird when she <laughs> as she starts touching. I'm like, Dagon, like, are you you, Dagon? Yes, it's it's. I, Alasrin, calm down. It's just you should feel this. This is it's. It feels like like a warm marshmallow. I will. Did you say that? I will do the most like dangerous like <laughs> touch on it. I will just like okay. put a finger on it. <clears throat> the same, the same feeling happens to you. You feel comfortable. You you feel safe. You feel secure. You're warm and fuzzy on the inside. Am I still allowed to feel paranoid? Hey, even if this, with this feeling. <laughs> At this point yeah, in time, it. when touching the statue. Any yep. sense of paranoia or danger oh, or okay. any negative emotion kind of washes off. I would be like, hey, hey. But as soon hey, as you let go, hey, Brooks, Brooks, it always comes back. You try. Well, it's it's the like, <laughs> I don't trust this comfort. This is too nice. <laughs> it's that like. Fair enough. But well, what, if once I take my figure away, I'm like, no, it's too nice. I don't trust it. Hmm. So if we strap it to Brooks's well, that, back. Yeah, if we just was, calm I mean... Brooks down and just. Tape it to him. I think weighs like a couple thousand pounds. Like. That's awesome. It's a statuette. It's a statuette. It's a small. Yeah. Oh, it's a small thing. Yeah, it's like statuette. a statuette. Like a like a couple long. of feet at most, right? Um. Like Brooks. Well, well, that one might. Say, is it maybe nineteen inches? Out of curiosity. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> What's so specific? Yeah, no one wants to see that. It's actually on nineteen, or are they overestimating? Uh -huh. It doesn't say oh. how tall it is, but I, 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 it's a statuette, so I imagine it being like. Because they're they're releasing a, a, a statuette of Venom in uh, honor of the new Spider-Man game, and they put a tweet that was just like 19 inches of Venom. Everyone's like, you might want to rework that tweet. <laughs> <laughs> I, imagine it, I imagine it being about gay big. Okay. <laughs> Someone somewhere is making a dildo that's called 19, 19 inches. inches of Venom. <laughs> Probably already done. Anyway, so yeah, statuette size. Uh, I'll touch it. I'll back, away, feel, I'll back away before nauseous, so Brooks can touch it. Oh, like, this oh, is, oh, this oh, is no. like, it is oddly warm and comforting, comforting in a way, but because of your relationship with holy places, that it doesn't add, weigh up against just the feeling of nausea that you all, always feel when you're in oh. churches, chapels, so like, and sorts. I'm no longer terrified, but I feel like I just the worst sick. hangover I've ever had. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck, man. Oh, there goes that plan. Oh, too bad we can't take it with us. I mean... Hmm. Would I don't be think... desecrating this place if we took it? Yeah, don't I think we wrong. should leave it, leave it here. Don't get me wrong. It feels great. Like, I... It's nice, it's relaxed. But A, I don't fucking trust it. And B... If I hold on to that for more than a couple of minutes, I am going to vomit that's, everywhere. That's, that's okay. We we know it's here. If we get real spooked, we can come back and just have yeah, a, like a good... have a decompress. <laughs> yeah, like a nice nice little rest stop before we face the horrors. That all. It okay. feels real weird in oh. here, like finding this in this. Oh no, I did. I like as much as nice touching it, letting go. I'll be honest. I fucking hate that feeling. It was it was too nice and somewhere so awful. You know. Like, it just, 
doesn't doesn't sit right with me, but I'll I'll accept it all the same, you know. Um, but for now, I think we remember this place in our heads, you know. Let's not uh, lose our way and forget where. where uh, do we is. go down? Down. As soon as a route, can we like see those staircase down? Or is it behind like a door, Dutch? Uh, yeah, there's was... no door there, uh, so you do see that there is a staircase that goes down there. I mean, I assume, I, sh I assume it'd be down. I mean, I'm, I'm it, it, trips would... in. we're to have an above a, a penthouse crypt. <laughs> That's a weird voodoo stuff. <laughs> As you approach that, like, opening where there is it's no door. Line, by the way. So? Sorry, I talked to myself. Sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, that's all right. Um, as you try to, like, go through that opening, like in that like that, that like doorway something's stopping you there's just like this is like force fuel that just doesn't let you through does my rod pick up anything um yes there is definitely some magic shenanigans there okay. but um it doesn't really tie itself to a school there's just this force that is not allowing you to enter yet, question mark? <laughs> That's not ominous at all. As you I could try, try to just as you like it. as one of you approaches and like touches the force field, like walks into it essentially. Because you don't see anything there. It's just suddenly you're like, yeah. oh. Eh. It's as, a that, as that happens. This door suddenly just swings open. The main, like, <laughs> like into like the main corridor. Well, I hate that. <laughs> and the, the Does the other side of that door do the same thing if I walk over to it? Yes. It's like on the right side. If I try to walk through it, yeah, it has like this passageway, like the northern one, also does that. Also stops you. Man, these video game invisible walls by the killer. <laughs> Bad coding. If if we if we angle ourselves to the right corner and just roll, if you crouch spam. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get through eventually, boys. It, it seems it's telling us where to go. I hate that. I hate that so much. Uh, well, I could try to dispel it if you want. Would it? I don't know if it would work. Well, I mean, will it cost like quite a big resource for you, or you got yeah. got enough to spare at the moment? Because I'll be honest, I, I did, I could, I could have also dispelled, but I, you know, I got um, two of them in me. I, I chose something else instead. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I got, I got. Every time I've used a spell magic this campaign, it's gone fucking awful for me. It's something horrible. Make an Arcana <laughs> check, uh, Jax. I should be good at that. Biggest four of oh, my life. Yeah. No. Not you. Uh, twenty-one. Okay. It seems to you that this entire castle is magical to a like to a certain extent, right? Like you're holding your rod around and like getting like you're getting beeps from all over, right? Yeah. Um, but the magic in this like force field is exceptionally strong. Oh. No. It. So I probably would have a hard time. It's almost like it feels to you as if the castle is guiding you because before you are allowed access to the full castle there is a certain the castle is ushering you into a certain direction or I hate that. oh i just I that's just, terrifying like, yeah the the castle is ushering oh i hate that so ah, much. i see it is i, I have boundary. the distinct feeling that um the castle is working against us or for us i viscerally hate that just moving us in general gross so uh, I, gu I guess they're the main doors oh. <laughs> right. if we have to i guess i'll start Eat walking it. down the hallway Checking for traps. Uh, yeah. So this this is this grand hall is choked with dust and stretches into the darkness ahead. 
Uh, actually, no, because you're going from the opposite direction. So it stretches oh, into yeah. a more lit up side <laughs> because you're getting towards oh. uh, where I had imagined you would enter. <laughs> and that room is nice. And ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see this hallway, uh, webs hang from the art ceiling like drapes, and life-size statues of knights line the hallway on both sides. Their eyes seemingly watching you. Uh, uh it's also terrifying. Uh, Can I give them like... the, uh, evil side-eye back? And as you're kind of investigating the hallway for traps, uh, Jax, make an investigation check. Actually, uh, investigation ease plus nine, so 27. Um, no traps, and it seems that as you kind of like look past, you see the statues. The statues do appear to be harmless. Uh, it seems that the moving eyes are just an optical illusion, like purposely made into the statues to make them look more menacing. It's kind of sick, actually. And then you get to, uh, What is that? What is that? What is that? <laughs> uh, Ask my mother. <laughs> to that dog. A room that uh, has cobwebs stretched between the columns that support the vaulted ceiling of a great dusty hall, dimly lit by sputtering torches and iron sconces. The torches cast odd shadows across the faces of eight stone gargoyles squat squatting motionlessly on the rim of a domed ceiling, cracked and faded. Mm -hmm. Uh, cracked and faded ceiling frescoes are covered by uh, double doors of bronze stand close to the east to the north actually no the east where you came from so you open <laughs> uh, to the north a wide staircase climbs into the darkness a lit hallway to the south contains another set of bronze doors um, through which you hear sad and majestic organ tones I'm fully good. I'm fully the organ tones are coming from the one across from us? No, from south. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of hate the shit out of that, you know? Hmm. Should we avoid that? Oh, that sounds like there's probably someone, someone or something there, right? So. Uh, yes. That room would be the front door. So. North? Yes, there's only one option, right? So it looks at the party. Oh, so. well, there's two options. I hate it here. <laughs> there's south towards the music, and there's a stairway that goes up north. Yeah, but I we don't, don't want to go fucking, to the music. But we don't want to go to the music. Okay. There's only one way, right? Clear, like, there is definitely an option. There is two <laughs> options, but one's very unpleasant. One's scary. <laughs> I will or do we, or proceed. Do we, like, do we, you know... Face our fears and go see the. Or do they okay. think that they know us and they think well the music will scare us off, so they actually want us to go the other way? And this is a, all of reverse psychology. Now, he, now you know that I'm a Venetian, oh, no. right? And uh... now you know that we know that you know. <laughs> Question, though. But now are you? Well, just straight up vibes. Like how how scary music. Um, like peaceful, slightly haunting, or full on sinister. Well, Phantom of the Opera, or it's <laughs> like someone's it's... dad playing the. It's good, like what, like it's good as in whoever is playing the organ is like knows how to play the organ, right? Like, no. Is it more sad or more sinister of a sound? Or churchy, pretend. Sad. Like All more you tragic. Out, it's my haunting. question. <laughs> what? I'm just helping. I'm helping with the scriptures. It's, to get it's sad. Vibe. It's not necessarily haunting or scary. I mean, hearing music in a place like this might be scary in general. Yeah. Um. But it, it's not like some like horror movie theme track. It's like it's more like mournful. Someone, someone is alone playing the organ while they cry yeah. and drink wine. Yeah. Someone's yeah. having an emo moment and playing yeah. their yeah. mournful emo <laughs> songs. Yeah, this is we're, we're listening to Barovian Mycam. <laughs> Like it on the organ. That's so cursed. That's real cursed. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, good to know. I, I'm less against going to the music. I say, now yeah, that now I it's, it's more sad. sad. Nah, my vote's still north. I don't want to deal with this. Because <laughs> what if it's someone who who is also anti strad and they're sad because they're trapped here and they'll okay. help us? And maybe they live also in the castle think they're anti straw. Yeah, oh, are you I kidding? doubt people have a choice about it. He probably has multiple trapped wives because he's in no way a rep representation of like a popular character from fiction. 
trapped. <laughs> Multiple trapped wives. Dracula, Dracula's wives. Yeah. 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 Just... Just the phrase multiple <laughs> trapped wives. Yeah. That's my next band name. Me, multiple trapped wives. <laughs> um, hey man, I've, I've what got I do want to say script. is that yes. um, now that you're in the home of Strahd, like you, like you yeah. feel uncomfortable, uncomfortable <laughs> but also this is the closest you closest you have been to. A lifelong goal you've had. Mm -hmm. So even though it is yeah, terrifying um, it, and uncomfortable, it's also very motivating. To yeah, energy. I think they are definitely <clears throat> shaking. Not like you know, quaking in my boots, trembling. But I think they like are definitely shakes, like, like, it's very like oh, yeah, yeah, massive yeah. adrenaline shakes. Like you can see that they're focused in their face, but like when they adjust their weaponry or anything like that, you can see like the slight the shake in their hands. Yeah, I I want to look to Aranya and see what way they're leaning, music or stairs. I think they like the idea of music to try and maybe, like, not be as audible over the music, you know? And the music covers our approach. Our yeah. Potentially, yeah. yeah. Well, if we're voting, I vote sounds like the organ. Uh, it sounds like group majority said organ, so. All right. <clears throat> I'll do whatever. Uh, like, but that's my vote. But I also won't be like, I'm not gonna fight tooth and nail if people want to go the other way, you know. So, oh. majority says south to the music. Mm-hmm. Think so. Yes. Yep. I can move. <laughs> um. I just let you. Um, so you now, uh, get into, like, a, a smaller side of the hallway, where torchlight, torchlight? Torchlight flutters against the walls of this vaulted hallway. To the east, you can see an arched hallway stretching for 20 feet, ending in a spiral staircase that goes up and down. Uh, next to the hallway, there's a suit of armor, oiled and glistening, standing at attention in a shallow alcove. To the west, large double doors hanging slightly open, and a steady bright light escapes through the opening. Swells of organ music come from behind the doors, spitting their melody of power and defeat. That suit of, yeah. that suit of armor <laughs> is stressful. Is the armor more magical than the rest of the castle, or just kind of like the same like castle vibes? Uh, that I've been getting from my detect magic. I'll do you one better. That armor doesn't seem magical at all. Oh, oh hell yeah. <laughs> Just a suit of armor. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, it does, like, it is very well cared for. This is what you, what you know, it's like, it's, it's very, has seen battle, it, but it's very well kept. You know, like cobwebs and stuff all over it or anything like that. Yeah, it's one of the few things so far you've seen that isn't covered in dust. Uh, do you want to go in or to the staircase? Um... Hmm. Which way was the music coming from again? Sorry, I... the, the doors. The doors. I, mean, I might as well go in, right? I think it's the reason we came this way. I will. I will just sort of walk up to the doors and check to see if they're trapped. Uh, I mean the doors are already like leaning open. Oh, they're leaning open. Oh, I'll still like, check like for traps like a, in general. Not like fully swung open, but there's like a small, like a few yeah, inches, man. as in like they're not shut. I'll still look to see if there's anything like, you know, there. I'll still see a there's wire on it, so when you pull, pull it fully yeah, open, exactly, it's kind right? of activates yeah, itself. Yeah. yeah, okay, make an escape check. I don't fucking like this shit, okay? I'm, I, I, I'm with you. Yeah. Uh, that's a 23. That's not trapped, as far as you can tell. Fuck it. I won't like push over. I'll just sort of open it gently and sort of peek my head in and see. I can see anything. Like squeeze you up. Oh, oh my god. Oh no, we lost Diagon. Oh. Lost Diagon? Where the fuck? Oh, oh no! <laughs> I'm done! <laughs> I'm outie. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 
So as you all enter the room, uh, three enormous crystal chandeliers bril brilliantly illuminate this magnificent chamber. Pillars of stone stand against dull white marble walls supporting the ceiling. In the center of the room, a long heavy table is covered with a fine white satin cloth. The table is laden with many delectable foods, roasted beast, basted in savory sauce, roots and herbs of every taste, and sweet fruits and, ve fruits and vegetables. Places are set for exactly each one of you. Ew. Mm. Oh, God. Mm. I also uh, hate that. It means they also somehow knew Kest I'm would dip. Let's go. Places are set for each of you with fine, delicate china and silver. At each place is a crystal goblet filled with an amber liquid with a delicate, tantalizing fragrance. At the center of the far oh. west wall, between floor to ceiling, uh, ceiling mirror, stands a massive organ. It pipes blare out a thunderous melody that speaks in tones of greatness and despair. Seated at the organ, facing away from you, a single caped figure pounds the keys in raptured ecstasy. The figure suddenly stops as a deep silence falls over the dining hall. It slowly turns towards you. And you recognize it. It's to be strong. Oh! He what? Immediately. Hold. What? Hold. He hold, wasn't hold, here! Hold. 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 I said hold. <laughs> Um, Hold what? Your cock. And he addresses you, and he seems very jovial. Greetings, outsiders. Brooks, welcome. Glad you could, you and your friends oh. could make it. Welcome to my humble abode. We all know why you are here, so before you seek to confront me, how about you eat up? This will be your last supper, after all. You know where to find me. I have no doubt. I'll be waiting to snuff out the final bit of hope that the cretins here in Barovia have. I shall, I shall crush them under my foot when I'm finished draining your delicious marrow from your bones. And trust me, your brother is in great hands. And he fades away. As he fades away, a fierce, bone-chilling wind rises up and roars through the hall, putting out all open flames. The characters hear the screech of ancient hinges and solid thud of many doors slamming shut one after another into the distance. You also hear the portcullis clang shut and a tired groan of aged drawbridge. The tired groan of an aged drawbridge pulling up. Finally, uh, the doors to this room also poof, slam shut. And all the torches flutter out. What do you do? Uh, I immediately run to the door. I <laughs> will give everyone. I will use my uh, eyes of the night. Okay. Give everyone three hundred feet. As he's leaving, do you need to see us for that? <laughs> Fuck no! Just anyone within ten feet of me, yeah. baby. As he's oh, like creatures, you can see, but I also <laughs> already. Yeah, but I already have 300 feet dark vision, maybe. Oh, so. fuck, I tried. And, and he can be doing it as the torches are going out. As, mm. as like, the apparition was disapparating or whatever, trying to sound, like, brave and not bothered, but my voice betrays me being shaky. I'm like, oh, joke's on you. I don't eat. <laughs> um, I have a question, Dutch. Yeah? Because Laura mentioned it, but it was also on my mind. Is there a table set? Like, was there a table setting for Kess as well? Or did yeah. he know yeah, somehow yeah, yeah. that she wouldn't be okay. here? Okay. He, was, okay. Yeah. No, That'd be even creepier uh, if he somehow knew that she <laughs> wouldn't be here. I'd be like, ugh. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i going to try and open the door immediately. Yeah, I mean, the door slammed shut, but it didn't lock. So you just open it again. Okay, thank God for that. I'm less stressed now that I know the door's open. Yeah, we can. The food on the table, by the way, smells delicious. You that want to I, I try some of the food. <gasps> right, ooh, oh that's, no! Yeah, that's brave. I don't trust. Yeah. That. What, what, what looks like the best on the table? I mean, a pig with an apple if you're, in its if you're mouth. Me. Here, there's this, like, this whole like this whole pig with an apple in its mouth, just like. Oh yeah, I'm gonna like, I'm like tear off the sauce. leg and start gnawing at it. Oh no! It's very tasty, mm -hmm. very delicious. Mm -hmm. Like whoever made this. You're now try. cursed. Can you, can you still try see... some? This is really good. Can you still see magic, by the way? Like. How long does it take? Just make sure this isn't cursed. Uh, like fuck. an hour. Like uh, yeah, no, nothing in this room except for like you know, there's the faint magic that's sourced throughout all this castle. Uh, no, no real bar, like big magical like dots on the radar. I hate it. I mean, Jack, you're really it. enjoying the food. It's very tasty. Yeah, dude, it's pretty pretty great. Aranya is. 
very closely observing Jax. Because <laughs> they do eat, not trust um, the food. <laughs> this is also like the first like insane meal you've had since you've gotten here. Yeah. It's all been very poor and very like ooh, not very great. And this is like a full on like Michelin star level <clears throat> meal. So like you're living your best life, Jax. You are loving this. Oh. Your life's good. Oh no. Yeah, why do we even need to go find straw, dude? Let's just eat the food, you know? <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I mean, you did hear like the drawbridge being pulled up, and like the, a, a lot of doors got shut. So you are kind of stuck in the castle now, as we reckon. You're and he probably knows that we're here. Like, if he didn't already, he definitely knows now. He knows now. I think I'd rather be hungry than you know <laughs> eat that food. I am so gonna. Good, though. I'm I, gonna I, I need totally some care. of my rations. <laughs> okay. Oh, I lied. It lasts 10 minutes. Uh, regardless. My answer is still saying. I was I can catch it. I cast it all the time, so. Mm -hmm. Just have a cold seal. I'm like, mm. How many more rations do we have in the bag, by the way? Um, a billion. Uh, none that we're using. We have a feast in front of us, obviously. I've got my one. You'll have to give me a second. There's a big fucking spider. Um, um, looking. We have 73 in the bag right now. So as Jax is eating, is anyone else doing anything spiders. while they're in this room? Like, what's happening? No, I'm not touching I'm Strahd's food with a 10-foot pole, I'm, but yeah. I will... Yeah, I'll eat some rations. Yeah, I, like, oh. seeing the food has made me hungry, but... <laughs> yeah, right. Just find such a chore, just get over it. Like, uh, how many rations am I getting rid of? Two? Mm, I think so. Yeah. I've got my I've got my own ration that I'm like having. Okay. You guys are really missing out. This feast is incredible. Yeah, but I just don't trust it, Jax. You know, it's a bit weird. <sighs> Maybe well, it's incredible it right now. I mean, <laughs> what could it do to us? She's like, curse you, poison you. It's not it's magic. It, it, I haven't died yet, so. Yet. Not all poison is immediate. Some poisons are slow acting. Can't see it, mate. Can't see it on the camera, mate. No. Uh, I don't want to see it, thank you. Okay. So, no thank you. Still baby. <laughs> uh, is anyone else doing anything while in this room that isn't eating? Like, anything? Yo, I mean, I'm like, fucking stamp appreciate me. the quality of, like, this organ, but... Yo, I'm gonna fucking stamp some of those organ keys like a fucking person doesn't know how to play the organ, like... Yeah? Okay. Oh, you're the worst. Uh, okay, see. I'll, 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 do some, I'll do some, I'll do like a scale one and two. I'll just do. <laughs> Box for three rounds. Organ bank. Um, boom. Hello. Uh, I'm back and less spider. Ooh, why am I framey? I don't know. The spider did it. What's your Revenge. passive perception, Laszlo? My passive perception is 20. Raked. As you approach the organ, uh, <laughs> it's locked in place, immovable, but because your passive perception is so insanely high, you do notice scratch marks on the floor that suggest that the organ oh. could be slid out. Ooh, secret passage. Secret tunnel. <laughs> Yo, do I? Can I have a look? Now this, now this is actually gonna be just insane. Can I see if there's any like particular keys that are pressed more than <coughs> others? Like, is there more wear on certain keys? Fucking loser. And Make see if he's played <laughs> certain one. Make an investigation check. <laughs> Two. It's a, it's a natural one. <laughs> oh, oh no! I look at it. I'm like, that's an organ, baby. <laughs> yeah. Well, this organ can move. Oh. This organ can move. <laughs> <laughs> I could always try Yankee on it. I was gonna say I can. Same with the portcullis, I can lend uh, a a hand if you need it. Oh, guys, <laughs> this organ this organ can move. I said that in character. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely have that. I'm I'm gonna keep eating while they're doing this. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll call people. Can, people. can I see by the drag marks, like? How it move? How it would have moved? Like, does it look it straight, or does it look it's like a like a curve? Arc? Can I see like a curve? Uh, it like slides like, like one so. end, so it will like so that it like yeah. Basically, I'll, I'll get us to it'll slide yeah. so that instead of it being horizontal like along yeah. the wall, it'll just stand like like at a ninety degree angle, vertical. A little quarter circle. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Then I'll I'll, I'll show that off and say bush. 
Move it from here. Move from I the give side it here. a pull. I'll give it, give it a fucking. I'll, I'll give him a bit of guidance. Make strength check, mate. And also help. <laughs> I mean, I would say I will help, but with my minus one strength, I think I'll be more of a hindrance in the way. <laughs> yeah. I'll we'll guide uh, you. I'll we'll guide you. Guide. Oh, guidance made all the difference, my guy. Oh, yeah. Your strength. Eight. Amen. Oh no. No, it's stuck. Immovable. Do I get the feeling that it could, I'm just not strong enough, or that, like, it, it, no, you're not going to yank this? It's very stuck. It is. It's step You stuck. also see, like, not a loud oh, point in the mouth. You see the scratch mark, so you know that this thing can move. But your doubt brute force is the answer. Oh, man. Start, start pulling at torches on the wall. I heard that works sometimes. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna play start lifting go. plates on the table one by one and checking underneath them. Oh, I'm no. playing a little ditty. On the you lift up my plate while I'm Make a performance check. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm trying to think what, what did I want to play? What's some. <laughs> oh, do do, do, do. No, no, no do, I'm doing. Do, do, I'm, do. Do, I'm playing Jerusalem. Oh, I thought you were gonna play Come on, Eileen. All right. Uh, make a performance check. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Eileen, on the organ. <laughs> That's really good. Nice. <laughs> 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 Jesus. So you begin just playing the organ, and I guess you know, having grown up, being I raised by by clerics, uh, you've seen <laughs> organs before, and you've you've seen some of the other clerics that like, yeah, you know, play them, perform them. It's the how hard can it be? And as you're playing. <laughs> Oh, because you rolled this high. Do you notice that when you stop playing, all the keys and all the pedals on the floor are all like unpressed? For one, one remains pressed even when you're not putting your foot on it. I'll, I'll, like try and lift it up. Like you said, you said it's pressed, right? Yeah, as if someone is putting their foot on it, but no one is. Yeah, I will, I will make it so it's like unlocked, and I'll try and like lift it up and. And as you do, I'm pressing. Hey! Oh, he's done it! Good job, he's done it! Moves and opens up. And opens up. And what you see oh, through the wall as the organ like opens up. <laughs> I'm still sitting and it's just opening up. I'm like, ah! <laughs> is um, what seems to you as like, like an archer's post. You can see... The castle courtyard being visible through arrow slits in the north and west walls, leaning against the walls are mirrors of, of various sizes, uh, some as tall as a human, others small enough to fit into a backpack. Uh, each arrow slit is two and a half feet tall and four inches wide. Um, the framed mirrors, uh, 17 total, uh, <coughs> are just, oh, yeah. just all like, like hanging on the wall, like all in one room. Um, at all. But it seemed that this was just like oh. a secret place where, in case of battle, archers would be put and they can just shoot at oh, people okay. that storm the courtyard through the arrow slits in the wall while being relatively safe from harm. So it doesn't go to a crypt? Damn it! <laughs> uh, it goes around the corner, uh, but eventually there is a staircase. Going up or down? Going up. Dang it! Maybe we have to go up to go down. Maybe we could go sideways to go up to go down. God. I want to explore. I need to know. <laughs> I got to know. I mean, are we going to go this way or we got the other route? But I feel like this is, you know, this is more. Well, the other one had stairs going down, though. The other one had stairs going up. It was going up. Well, no, because they, they were, the one across from the store, he said it went up and then, like, oh. you could see stairs going up and down. Oh, okay. So, just say. I think we just need to find a way down to get the thing and then. Or we can go through this. Don't we need to find your brother, too? I mean, killing yeah. shark, find the brother. But we need to... He's not going to let Ren leave. We need to at least do enough to make him fuck off. Which means we need the fucking doohickey. Mm-hmm. I... The fucking... Um... The, ah, ba -ba 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 the... the holy symbol. Holy symbol. Yeah. I know that, which doesn't. Mm -hmm. I will, uh... 
I'm st I'm still preparing for maybe just checking this out, have a quick little look, and then we can come back. Like it's got, there's got to be like, something. Do I get the feeling that this might ju is just like a Bowman's area, or do I feel like there might be? No, it, like to you, uh, yeah. this seems very much like this is a tactical place in case of battle. Yeah. Um, yeah. And judging by like the piles of mirrors and stuff that, yeah. that have been put here. Strop just uses this as storage area now because who is ever going okay. to attack him? I don't think. Uh, I, okay, I'll be like, I'll have like a little, I'm like thinking, like, I just want to explore this place. I'm like, no. I mean, this does just look like a, bit like a storage area, doesn't it? I think there's going to be anything too important. Go up and then down then. If there was some staircases down, probably the best. I think Jax is right. I think that probably would be the best way forward. Even if this looks far more interesting and intriguing. Um. Jax, what I'll also say is that because you had like like that in investigation thing with like, the force fields earlier, mm -hmm. you reckon that whatever just happened in the dining hall, that was probably it. All the doors slamming shut, the four colors being raised. Now that he has you trapped on his little island, you are free to explore wherever the hell you want. I will relay that thought with Vardy. <clears throat> oh. Well, should we should just go back there then, I right? I fucking hate this entire situation. <laughs> Same. Yeah, like, because Jax is a smart cookie, like this. I also. I do be that. I'm also just mildly offended because it's like he thinks we're so little of a threat. He's letting us literally just rat roam his house until we decide to fight him, and then he'll just like squish us like a little bug. Like I'm, I'm offended. It's it's probably fucking ring. true. Let him Let's underestimate be fair. us. It'll be his. I didn't own. say it wasn't true. I just said Jax, I'm offended. By the way, he's a massive egomaniac. So <laughs> yeah. How did you eat? Like you finished eating that food? Oh no. Uh, <laughs> you die. Shit yourself. <laughs> you drop dead. <laughs> You're, you've actually got a lactose intolerance and it was full of dairy. I <laughs> get a blessing from the gods. Are now cured of any diseases or poison that you have. Oh, okay. Uh, My dementia's gone! Immune, <laughs> immune to poison. It's not a disease, it's a so lifestyle choice. Rest. That's sick! Uh, and all wisdom saving throws are made with advantage. You motherfucker! I is this already had Hero's that. Feast! It was a fucking Hero's Feast, uh, and you piece of shit. Hit point maximum. Yeah, you suck it, boys. This is what you fucking get for not eating, motherfuckers. I can't eat even if I wanted to. Is That's increased true. <laughs> by nine. I hate. <laughs> He's such a cocky fucker. He gave us a. a is hero. Jax aware of any of this, though? Well, he feels. Uh, and I, well, does you know, he Hero's feels... Feast not show as magical? Yeah. Not this one. Oh, yeah, this I one. I um, hate this even more. And as you finish of... eating, Jax? Rest of the food instantly yeah. begins to rot. Yeah. Ew. You feel great. You feel awesome. Ew. You're, you're immune to poison. You have a little bit of extra HP. Chilling. Gross. Like, as you put the last Rude. bite in and swallow it, and you're like, you basically let the room know that, like, you're done. It would all begins mm. to rot and decay. Like, I... I can't wait to find out that this is, like, a placebo effect. We get into combat and Dutch is like, oh, yeah, by the way, that doesn't count. <laughs> no, like, it's gonna uh, be like you. He, like... he has the benefits of a hero's feast minus the immunity to fire. Uh, I don't yeah. know if I believe you. It's okay. I mean, it's just, man, this Strad, what a prick, right? Like he just that. He's like, hey, we're gonna have a big, like, yeah. we're gonna have a big battle. Here's a nice meal for you, boys. <laughs> really? He's a, really he's a cocky good. motherfucker, dude. He's cocky. I know, but. God, you what must a be prick. nice to have a cocky character. <laughs> and I, I was just eating it character. to make you guys mad. What a fucking... Oh, that's his that's the me... best part. He's made me furious. <laughs> I can't yeah. um, oh, You are the only one in the party that enjoys that uh, little uh, goth. The next time... Uh, I see it, I see it all this. decay. And in, <laughs> in the, like, wizard, I'm like, well, that's probably what's just happening in Jax's stomach, so... Yeah. Hey, Jax was <laughs> that's fine. pretty fun. fun. <laughs> Bro, yeah, but... I'm feeling good. If that's because Jax has eaten like so, something that wasn't fully solid, just where would you like to go? Go back and I think check that. I think we, we go, go to the staircase back? right across from us, no? No, or we go. No, no we go. Really... Fuck, fuck everything oh, else. Okay. We go back we to go... force field door, right? That force field door, right? Uh, well, I mean, we can go downstairs right here too. If it. That probably walk all the way around. We can just do it here. I go want to, to get places. out of here as soon as fucking possible. 
Go to different places. That feels like the next logical progression. We, you know, like he really didn't want us to go there, right? And we just well, we might not be able to go on this other staircase either if you wanted to discuss. That's true. Yeah. I. We just need to figure things out and quickly. Let's go up this one. Let's, you know what? Let's go this because this one's here. Let's go to this one first, and then we'll go from there. Because you never know. Like we say, we we could go to that other one. We'd be wrong. We have to come all the way back, and then you know. I can almost pain in the ass. So I guess, like, you know, it makes a lot of sense. We could just go. Now, Jax, you. Make an excellent point, Jax, again. It's, uh. Alright. I completely I'll misread the, the map. There is no staircase down here. I'm so sorry. Shit. Just... <laughs> I get fucked, idiot. Like. Oh, looks like for... we're not going fucking just anywhere. For reference, I'll, I'll show you what the fuck I'm looking at. Yeah. I'll put it is in, it like, fucked? the. Uh. Text chat. Obviously. Oh yeah, the actual like the book maps. Oh, yeah, yeah. it is Dog rough. Shit. Like, why is it? Why did it? Huh? Why? <laughs> why? Just put, in, Who? just put it in the group chat. I'm just fucking trying, but for some reason, it doesn't want to cooperate. There you go. So like, you see how that it says down to somewhere, but I just now notice that like, like there's a line that it goes to a different okay. staircase. So like that's why the map oh, is so like, annoying. Like, it's such so a hard map. Too. Hate, it's a horrible map. I, yeah, it's a horrible map. I hate oh, it, how it, that is. Like it's awful. There is a reason why people make different maps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So get, there's no like, there's I no staircase down there. There's staircase up, not What's down. Called, my bad. Uh, I, there's I spoilers on there, so don't read it anymore. Don't so. read it. Yeah. yeah, yeah don't read it. Oh, yeah, I wasn't. I was looking at the pretty. I started. I saw one thing. I don't know. Anyone but Strad, and I was like, that's spoilers. We're good players. We won't read it. So yeah. Yeah. Um, so there's no way down there. Pulls okay. out Cursor Shard book. <laughs> um, okay, actually, uh, no. Mr. GM, you gave Shard 512 HP and he has 511. Can God, if any of us were ever like that, we'd we'd have been kicked out. <laughs> so quickly. Yeah, we'll six, six, we six, wouldn't get kicked out. out. Don't I think the rest of us would kick their ass first. Nah, I would just not play Dutch would just Oops. fly over and beat me up. Nah, I would just not play with you anymore. Genuinely. Oops. I'm taking my ball back. Anyway. You'd miss me. Yeah. Back to the stairs, the yeah, other we'll stairs. So when we were deciding organ or stairs, like those ones. The... No, no, we'll go right back. We'll go, we'll we'll go to back. Let's go down. Let's go down. We're throwing it back. Throwing it way uh, back. I, I like to think actually the jacks did think they went, the stairs went up and down, but it was actually just like a shadow made it look like so... they went down, <laughs> and it's just a fucking wall. It's like the old man's dementia got him again. <laughs> uh, it's fixed now. I can see now. So basically. Uh, once you get Stop back to this like little alcove, yeah, yeah, whip out my description. Oh, man's about to hit us with the. Actually, I lied. There is no staircase here. <laughs> <laughs> Question, Dutch. Hold on. No. Okay, go ahead. No more questions ever. Uh, no, never mind. I'll wait until you've done what you're doing. Uh, so this arched room connects uh, to a uh, connects a vast chamber, uh, to the east. Uh. And the landing of a staircase to the west. Um, you see stairs curling down into darkness. Goes Arch, the you are it goes. Even I'll with, lead the way down. Even with our uh, a million feet dark vision. <laughs> I'll ask the group at this um, point. I know we've been given that enhanced dark vision, but... Since he yeah, also totally clearly right. knows we're here, so totally it's not right. like we're trying to maintain elements where it's like I can do drift globe things and just become like a walking ball of sunshine for light while we're exploring. Put your fucking daylight on it. Light yeah. up every room you go into. <laughs> Even I think it's just bright um, light, right? So. If the group would like. If you want to. Yeah, sure. Fuck. Yeah, I mean, it won't uh, hurt anything. He knows we're here. Unless they think that would be bad, because like, yeah, he knows. But it. what if there are other things in this oh, castle? Oh, there are definitely are, them. but it's fine. <laughs> if there's other things, they can't be as bad as Shrud, right? <laughs> to, get, <laughs> to get here, we had to go... Here, like, for now, I'll game save... Game, right? Here, for now, I'll save the the one daylight usage. Yeah, I'll just use the regular light spell and just make myself glow that weird, like, shifting from like gold to blue silver light coming off of me awesome. it almost makes the effect on the wall kind of like, you know when like lights coming shining through like water and you have that effect it's like that but between like gold and blue silver from warm white oh, yeah. to if i remember correctly 
the spell of daylight does not count as as no, it doesn't sunlight, no, right? right? No, it doesn't. Yeah, daylight and sunlight are two different spells, spell unfortunately. Yeah. That does kind of sunlight. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like Dawn that does that as well. Daigon is a walking lighthouse. Beacon. Daigon opens up her mouth. It's just. Oh. The large flagstones no, nice. of Whole the spiraling person. staircase <laughs> yeah. lead up and down around a 20-foot wide stone core. Cobwebs fill the staircase, making it difficult to see even the ceiling, because there's just this thick layer of cobwebs covering it. I will prestigious. Heavy them beams sag overhead way. from sag overhead from centuries of supporting weight, uh, and it goes the staircase spirals both up and down. We're going uh, down, 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 down. I will lead us down. down, down We're down. Before we go down. spider webs out of the way because that's annoying. I have to get two off things. <laughs> uh, number one, spinning. to get here, we have to go back through the main room with the statuette, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, so I just want to. I just want to poke my head out the door and make sure no one's coming over here. Like outside? The outside door? Yeah. I just no, want to no. poke my head out. Okay. Uh, number two, there were chairs in the food room. Yeah. Yes. Right? Were they made of wood? Uh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. I am breaking a leg off one of the chairs. And the entire time that we're walking, I am slowly carving the end into a point with my daggers. To make a steak? <laughs> Alright. Cool. Yeah. Like, I've just had the realization, like, Brooks... Pre-Ego Brooks was like, eh, I can take a vampire. Brooks now was like, I don't have a steak. I need a steak. Oh, oh it's like, I need a vampire. It's like, I need to take on a vampire. <laughs> it literally my heart Brooks hurts when you break the chair. Fuck the chair. Heart could turn retard on that. Yeah, the bottom, no the bottom that just says Where IKEA. The, is the, the carpenter that? worked hard on these no, chairs and extra was then for fucking IKEA. eaten by Strad. You don't know that. Right. There was he he bought enough sets so he can make a whole new chair have all the spare pieces. <laughs> <laughs> There's the just man. one that's in the corner that doesn't fit with the rest. Of the I set. literally it just has a room full of Allen wrenches. <laughs> I put together that's a two, it's flat drawer. back table, uh, uh, flat packed baby changing table today. So opened it. Why are you changing map babies, huh? open as well as being able to scroll through the book. I fucking Wait, it's can. To, it's to roll them up like a burrito. Crazy smart. Damn, dude, we got a smart DM. It's fucking this... crazy out here, bro. <laughs> um, this man's in 2023 when we're in 2022, you know? Literally. What? We're all in the past and he is in the present? Excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that works. And time zones. He's in the future. Zones. He's the out of all of us, he's the furthest east, right? So he's oh, yeah, yeah. Briar all the way future. back there, bro. Briar really be here. Briar's back in 2020, past. you know. <laughs> We're all in the future to them. It's me. Uh, welcome to Curse of Strad. How does one read this? Uh, fucking uh, dude, while, most we, of the while you guys descend down the spiral staircase, let's go on our breaks. So we're gonna figure out this fucking map. Uh, and it's, okay. it's about Mr. Time anyway. Mr. DM about to spend 20 minutes looking at a map until yeah, he gives I'm gonna up look at Google this map and like, how, fuck, how does this and how does any of this work? Because uh, it's super unclear. But we're gonna take our little break because it's about we're at about the halfway mark anyway. So who cares? It's about it's about that time. How long um, have I got to sit in the? Thanks in for the... watching so far, everybody. We appreciate you. We'll be back in a few minutes. What was that, Ethan? I was gonna say how long have we got break wise so I can just sit in the back room and cry. Oh, is regular break? <laughs> regular break? Man, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll multitask. I'll smoke and cry. Sounds good. Smoke. Right. We'll be right Excellent. back, everybody.
one. Figure out the map, boys. Yeah, this is pretty shit. Oh, that was impressive, Ethan. <laughs> we, we figured out the map, guys. We did it. So, essentially, He's done it. Um, this particular staircase. Uh, yeah, just... I thought you can say essentially everything I've sent up to this point is bullshit. We have no, to start again. it's just that <laughs> this staircase on the map me. in the book yeah. is labeled K18, as in it goes to yeah. K18. Oh. Really so it is like this map is still right. I'm impressed by this Tailspire map. Shout out to whoever made oh. this. I didn't check. I, I checked, but it was like some long ass fucking forum. Oh, his name's not Dastard. I, what? Well, it, like in the top right, it well, says I Dastard. Guess Dastard is put, shout out to Dastard, but I guess it's part of it. But like his like actual his like username on Tailspire slash was oh. like. You know what I mean? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, oh, um, but yeah, so you are friends. currently. Uh, if I quickly just grab my cave number seventeen. Yeah. Um. Uh -oh. oh my god, dude! All those little pillars all have doors. Oh my shit's broken! I gotta refresh. No. Oh, that's fine. Uh, what was it? Page seventy something. Um. In room K84. Damn straight. Which happens to be Anticon. So. Oh. Skip 60 of them. Very deep beneath the Keep of Ravenloft lie ancient catacombs, arched ceilings supported by wide, hollow columns that double as crypts. Cobwebs hang limp in the musty air. A thick fog clings through the floor, which is covered in putrid waste. Ew. In the black Gross. ceiling. Seems to be moving. He's moving. The catacombs fill an area roughly 110 feet east to west and 180 feet north to south. And the floor is covered in several inches of bat guano. The catacombs Ew. are made yeah. up of 10 foot wide arched walkways running between 10 foot square rifts, which serves as, serve as pillars that support the 20 foot high ceiling. Uh, each crypt that you see sealed with a chiseled stone door uh but upon closer inspection it just looks like a, a tight fitting stone slab measuring three feet wide and five feet tall mm, seems thick enough um that's what you see you're in a very large chamber filled with crypts like each like rectangular column that you see on the tailspire map is a crypt um, hello um, and we so you're like, told, we were just told it was in a crypt. Under. No, we were we were told. Uh, I'm gonna. Brooks is looking for gargoyles. We were told it's the skeleton of a warrior, mm -hmm. uh, flanked by gargoyles. Skeleton of a warrior. Yeah. In one of the crypts, with gargoyles on either side. I would like to prestigitate everywhere I walk, so I'm not stepping in bat poop. <laughs> constant casting. So from the outside. Um. Let me quickly whip out the description that I gave, or that, that the lady gave you, just so that I... Um, it's also worse comes to worse. I could, without busting them all open, literally just like stick my head through the walls of each crypt and be like, nope, not that one. Stick my head in. Literally nope, face, to <laughs> face the face with a corpse every time. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it's, probably, it's probably magical, yeah, right? Yeah, lying so on a bit of stone, like, flanking yeah. gargoyles. So, this... I pay attention. Yeah, yeah, so... These all be have gargoyles on next to me, so funny. But from the outside, every crypt looks identical. So you would have to really just go crypt by crypt until you find one that has on it is on a bed flanked by gargoyles, because you don't see that until you actually open the crypt. Oh, you said I... they're like three foot thick, huh? The walls? Uh I did not say such thing. Oh, I, I thought the, the stone, stone slab that doors were... the door is roughly three oh. foot wide and five foot tall. Ah. I you will cast. Case. I will cast locate object. Okay. And I um will name the object. Um. It was the. Now see, I don't want to fuck up the actual naming of this. The amulet. This is, is a. Oh. It is the amulet. I want to see my brain wants to see emblem, and I was like, that's not the right word. <laughs> it's. I will name the amulet of Ravenkind. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, See now, I know I can sense the direction of it, mm -hmm. and if it is in motion, 
the, if there's any lead near it, I can't sense it at all. I know. Uh. And you don't know where it is. Fucking. Oh. Oh, it's it's obscured by shit. Yeah, because it says this spell can't locate an object if any thickness of lead, even a thin sheet, blocks a direct path between you and the object. Mm. So there is. I think that about a bit. So <laughs> this, hmm, that's a nice, nice second level spell I use there. Oh, to try no. out kind of Wait, we might also just be in the wrong crypt, guys. Um, you do that see that all the crypts away. are numbered. So like there's a you know, crypt one, crypt two, crypt three, crypt four. Um, and it goes what's the highest the way, number? The highest number is fourteen. Four zero. Oh. I'd like to try and find number twenty uh twenty five. Twenty five? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's very specific. Uh okay, <laughs> specific. Hold on. Let me let see if we can fucking open it. <laughs> 25. I'm gonna yes, sir. put your <clears throat> tokens on the map again. Oh, fuck. 5 is this one right here. So let me just quickly re add all the oh, tokens. Oh, yeah. Just in case and something jumps out, you know what I'm saying? Again, my token is emanating light. I just want to see what's up. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, no, I was just saying your name. I dragged your token on the board. <laughs> uh, Jax. And then yours is yeah. a, uh, and a spooky ghost. But I have to rename Diagon. A oh my god, guys, it's almost spooky season! And, uh, oh, what no, do you mean almost? Uh, Full-fledged. We're in it. October. It is. It's, it's we've, got, we've got pumpkin spice at work all year round. Fuck you guys. Yeah. Exactly. Spooky season's all year if you, if you keep your decorations up. <laughs> That's why I think about Christmas. Yep. That, so this that, this that's tomb that you're in front of right now. Uh, so, <laughs> yep, wait, where's my... Uh, blah, blah, blah. This tomb is number 25. Yep. I'm fucking... I'm gonna... Does it look like there's like an easy way to open it? Or are they Perfect. like... Are they all like fucked? Uh, like this to crypt, open? Or is it just uh, dwarf? This labeled... <laughs> Stefan Gregorovich, hmm? First counselor to King Barov von Zero. Ah, but he's probably not really. Um, every yeah. like every door doesn't seem to be a handle. It's not a door. It's just a stone. No, no, it's shut in. Um, so we would have to try and just kind of like pull it out. I'll try it. Out. I'll fucking. I'll get my muscles out. Make a strength check. Wanna... <laughs> Great strength. Eight minus one, seven. Man, that's a sturdy fucking slab, dude. dude like, oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I might, might do pretty oh. good at trying to just break the doors. What, you're gonna punch through stone? Maybe. They do he thunder has damage. thunder gauntlets, it's possible. Yeah. Why don't you just, just, you're like, they make you strong, right? So you need no. To just, oh. I think plus zero. Why do I feel like you like, we're strong? Maybe just you punch it, like just a shoot. Because they let him punch using his intelligence instead of his strength. <laughs> exactly. Oh. I'll say that applies to trying to brute force this as well. Oh, sick, actually? Uh, this man's I'll try, I'll try. about to be stronger if than If you me. get to punch <laughs> and harm people using your intelligence, I would say that applies to non-living things as well. You're yeah, still, I'll, you're I'll, still I'll, using I'll the gloves and... to exercise strength, right? So, I'll allow it. So, 16? 16? Are yep. you, like, what are you doing, exactly? I'm a, like... Grab like the edges because it's not too wide across, and just try to like lift it out, you know. Just, yeah, like, pull and back. so you do, and you just like you just put it down to the side, or, or what do you do with the actual door slab? Yeah, I'll just I'll just I'll just like drop it next to the okay. side. Uh, you see, as you put it down, a skeleton draped in rags lying on top of a marble slab in the center of this crypt. Most of the bones appear dusty and neglected, but the skull is very well polished. Ew, I don't like that. That would be a great time to speak with Dead, wouldn't it? Ooh. Yeah, if only I could prepare that spell. Hmm. Yeah, same. Shame I fucking didn't. I prepared I, locate I objects. Can, I don't think so. I, I prepared locate objects instead, like a fucking idiot. It's meant for nothing. <laughs> I can, I can um, disguise myself as you and then pretend to talk to the dead. 
Hey, that'll work. Yeah. What do you do? Uh, when you say like polished, like mm -hmm. weirdly to like a sheen, or just like looks like or a just sheen. like clean. You like like clean or like varnished? You know, like just very clean. Hmm. And then. Brooks, did you say we're looking for gargoyles? As you say that. Oh, what? Mm. Ah! He did say gargoyles. Four questions remain. Oh. Seems that. Um, oh. Hello? The oh. skeleton and? is oh, a... able to answer questions as if oh. under the effect of a spell. Oh, okay, it's the error. Turn over Everyone's like, like don't second. say a question. Oh. <laughs> Thinking of the D and D Whoa. movie that came out in March. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Wait, does this count as a question? That's all your questions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, hmm. Someone. Do you know where the amulet of Raven kind is? I do not. Yeah, is there are there any crypts we should avoid opening up for inherent life threatening dangers? Majority. No. Oh. Nice. <laughs> I fucking oh. picked a good one. Should someone could ask a statement uh, a question where which direction the gargoyles are in? I don't want to. I'm scared. Where's the them. crypt with the gargoyles outside? There is no crypt with gargoyles outside. On the inside, you pray. We have one left. Oh. Oh. Do, do, do. Name name some of the crypts that the gargoyles on the inside. I don't Which know. Ones have them? I fucking oh. hate this. As, as, as it, like, just before it fades, I fucking slap the skull. <laughs> like, Rude, as, no, the poor as guy. The, like, the magic disappears, um, or, like, he stops being able to answer questions, and the skull kind of just clangs back down. Um, the, like, sheen of his polished skull also disappears, and the skull now looks oh. in a similar state as the rest of... So if we Man, see any course. other ones with shiny skulls, they might be... <laughs> he also Man. told us not to look in most of the jokes. I know Man, he did. Man, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you guys, we really fucked that one up, didn't we? <laughs> we gotta get better this question thing. I know I took up most of those questions, but we gotta get fucking better. What do we want to ask? We get the, Right. So, are we going to ask them if they know which ones are got gargoyles, or like, the amulet, like, or we just well, if he didn't time. know, then... They probably all don't know, right? Oh, well, actually, maybe number 40 knows. Why no, that no, no. one? <laughs> oh, because it would no. be the most recent one. No, so we... No, I think we want to go. It's not going to be number one or number 40. I don't think it's going to be at the either ends, right? It's going to be like a weird middle one. You know, like... That one no, there. Number 40 would be the newest one in there. So, uh, so you would know the most about the crypts. No. Strahd might be a maverick and he starts at 40 and goes backwards. We don't know these things. Or wouldn't, wouldn't the first one be oh, the one that knows? Because it will have seen all the new crypts come in. Like, it will have been here the longest to have, if they're still no, have the stone after slab would have blocked the view. Yeah, but also we don't um, know if okay. not all of them could be like this. So we could open up a 40. He doesn't know. So we're going to go 39, 38. Just like the D&D would be. <laughs> How about we open number 17 next, right? Why? <laughs> no, I, I think we go with number 40. Why? 40. All right, I go and find number 40. Who has, who to... has something like commune? Ask your their deity. What's, uh, what uh, number are you feeling? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll be honest. I was going to do that earlier today for something else. And I had my spare question going. Who's the spirit? Do it now. Do it. Someone disappeared. Do it now. Someone disappeared. Oh, Someone? a token. Yeah. Uh, uh, Aranya. Aranya, Aranya, Aranya disappeared. Oh, no. Oh, you're They're just no, being super sneaky. Oh, Ryan will just be like, no, 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 accidentally lost. sucked up to like the floor above because I <laughs> you wrong. Uh, this Again, one that's right I... here, the one that kind of like is the like the outcropping is number forty. Yeah. Again, oh. my offer before we open it still stands. I can just start sticking my head in just and looking in in. for one with gargoyles. No, but that's not as fun, Daigon. Come on, live a little. <laughs> it is if they see her and um, still get angry. This script <laughs> is labeled Tetzel Eris, last of the line. 
Who? Sounds promising. Who? Who the fuck? I will remove the door. Oh, I don't like it. Is that a strength check? Or I guess in your case, intelligence? Ooh, uh, 24. Yeah, with ease. And as you open the door, uh, the torches inside just burst into flame and continue to burn. And like even the handle of the torch are just completely engulfed in fire. Uh, hate it here. And what you see in front of you is a skeleton draped in rags lying on top of a marble slab in the center of the crypt. Uh, mounted on the northeast and south walls are these three torches that were unlit, but as soon as you like put the door down and look inside, whoa. Hmm. Is the skull also gleaming white? No. Any Shit. gargoyles? Any gargoyles? Also no. Well, useless. <laughs> I was uh, poor dead body. We'll say that if you go to look to really see if the skull is like shiny, yeah. you do notice yeah. that there are like cracks and holes in the skull that someone has tried to patch with plaster. Oh, to make it look not hmm. open. Weird. If there's something in Can the I skull, cast. I'm gonna cast detect magic with my uh, magic rod. Um, nothing in here. Like, as you said, inside. In here, as soon okay. as you go outside... Anything within 30 feet? Detect like magic doesn't go through lead, right? It does not go through lead at no. all. No, so like this it's like one, radiation. The open door <laughs> makes it so that you can check inside this tomb, uh, or this crypt, mm -hmm. nothing. Oh, Anything else around you, you it. don't see. It seems to you oh, that the doors have this lead. entire crypt yeah. and this entire, like, right. basement is lined with lead. That's fucking expensive, man. I mean, Shrug has a lot of money, bro. Mm, fuck. God damn. He's only been accumulating this, it for yeah. I mean, this, uh, this actually, man, this man hold, prints his own currency. I can go penetrate a thin sheet of lead. Right. None of this is thin sheets of lead, baby. <laughs> These are I just had to, I had to hold Very it, you know? smart vampire man. Knows he has a literal endless amount of valuable and powerful objects in his castle. He'll know how to avoid scrying and detecting magic. Yeah. <laughs> So he will also know to account for, like, we're talking, like, a foot of lead. Oh, my God. Like, he he, he saved no expense to make sure that. Dude, he would have died of lead poisoning secrets, by this point if he wasn't a vampire. He had, no, he just paid his little underlings to do it, man. He doesn't give a fuck. Oh, like, so he, they all died of lead poisoning. You think he works? You can investigate his hands when you see him, man. There's no calluses on that shit. He doesn't do anything. Mm. Now, do we want I mean, to start? My man couldn't build calluses as a vampire, but. Oh, maybe. Now, do we want to just start opening random, continue, or continue with random, or should I try to, you know... Eh, I could, like, try to communicate with Joaquin, but I don't know okay, how successful it might be. What's the worst that happens? The worst already I, I don't know that we want to burn a resource like that, no? Oh, no, yeah, I can... I can, I can, I can look inside ritual. them for free. Oh. I can, you know, I can I'll be a small ritual. It won't cost me anything. It just costs me a little bit of time. Huh? How much time? Like hmm. eleven minutes. I'm more. I'll be honest. I'm more concerned about the fact that this skull's been patched. No, up. wait. That's not how that works. How's ritual casting work? Say, that sounds. It's... How does the time work? Is it ten minutes ten per minutes level? Plus... Ten, minutes, ten, ten minutes plus. Ten minutes, ten minutes is, plus the level. Time. I think. Plus casting time, isn't it? Oh, oh, ten minutes oh plus maybe it is ten time. minutes plus casting time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty but sure. Level, it's 10 I swear, minutes. level. Does level, level doesn't affect. Ritual version sure. of a spell takes ten minutes. Uh, longer to cast than normal, so 10 minutes plus yeah. casting time. Yeah, it's just oh, 10 minutes plus casting. It'll be 11 minutes then. Okay, I just weird, I was like, wait, higher Fucking level Christ, spell? I'm like, occasionally no, smart. It's just, uh... Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, it took me like No, it, it's, it's just, just when you ritual cast it, you can't upcast it. Yeah. Right, that makes sense. There you go. Yeah, I mean, I can I can do it as a little ritual. Um, as I said, it took like 11 minutes or so. But. Okay. Is it just me that wonders if there's something inside that skull? Yeah, I know. That's the one that was you, Why else would you seal it back up? It should make it look really... pretty. I know, but I'm, I'm going to start <laughs> ritual casting commune whilst this is going on. I'm going to start I'm it. Gonna, I'm going to check for traps around the skull because I'm paranoid. As and a I will start ritual casting uh, identify on the maze. Okay. Oh, the one that we picked up back in the uh, chapel. Um, commune. May as well. Contact your deity yeah. or divine proxy and ask up to three questions that can be answered with a yes or a no. 
You must ask your question before the spell ends. And not on you receive turn. a correct answer for each question. Okay. But they're not. They are not like ever knowing, so they only know what they know. Yeah, they're not. Yeah. Honest, so this so might not work. You might receive unclear as an answer if a question is something yeah. they don't know. Yeah. Or, or yeah. it could also okay. be they give you an answer that is incorrect, but they believe it is correct because yeah. it's just their knowledge. It's what they know, not like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, we're going to use a useless question. So we'll do that uh, last. For, that's going to yeah, take the longest. Uh, Brooks, yeah. investigation check? I got a 13. 13? Uh, no. Okay. Because I'm fucking terrified, uh, I'm also going to ask Aranya if they will also check it for traps. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You want to do it with advantage? No, I'm going to get you to do it separately. Like, okay. I don't trust myself not to fuck it up. Uh, make an investigation check, then. Yeet. <laughs> no, it's good. Natural one. Yeah, I mean, you are so confident. And there's nothing trapped about this room. Like, the torches suddenly setting itself on fire, including the handle. Bit weird, but man, this room is the safest room in the castle. This is so good. You are so convinced this <laughs> is mean, the safest place to be. It's crazy. Brooks has his trust issues, but also he's checked it and found nothing. Aranya's checked it and they found nothing. Yeah. I'm going to find one of the weak points on the skull and just like... Bunk. I mean, easily. And and you one of the plaster points. It is just a skull and the inside is empty. Why the fuck would you plaster holes in a skull? Wanted to make it look nice. Um, We're in terror. Respect, Maybe someone cares. The dead. Were like, oh, yeah. Um, Jax. Yeah. You identify the mace, and it is called the Mace of Terror. Uh, oh, that's yeah. sick. I don't like you it. You learn that this magic weapon has three charges. Uh, it requires attunement. While holding it, you can use, you know, you can you can do an action. To expend one charge to release a wave of terror, and that means that each creature of your choice in a 30 foot radius extending from you must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or become frightened of you for a minute. Uh, when frightened in this way, they have to spend their uh, time trying to move as far away from you as possible, and it cannot willingly move into a space within 30 feet of you. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sick. Yeah. Pretty cool. It's uh it doesn't really do any extra damage. It is just a mace, but it just it's a scary mace. It scares things. Hey, I I I'm <laughs> sure I'll find a use for it. Maybe not a tunament. It. Uh it is a tunament. It is a tunament. Shit. Attunement. Fucking Dalgan's gonna absorb the fear thing. I, I think it's just a, it's, it's just a <laughs> weapon, so you should be able to just add it like as is to Zina Beyond. Sick. I'll just and make it. Won't it be anymore. I'll just secretly make it a normal mace, and then not tell anyone and just absorb your <laughs> ability. <laughs> <in> the <day. laughs> Yo, uh, what would happen if I absorbed the shit the ruby rod does? Is that like attuning to it, consuming the enchantment? God. Would I you risk just death? Die. Would yeah, I risk you... death? But I'm dead. So come you, on. You have just given Dutch. <laughs> well, the technically, biggest, you like, live in the <laughs> space between life and death. But yeah. Well. well don't worry, I'm not. I have no plans to do this, but I'm just. I'm so. I'm so intrigued. I'm, I'm kind of I mean, like, uh, hypothetically, it either ends like, your afterlife or you turn evil, well, right? To like, be fair. I'm, okay, okay, like, okay, okay, okay. Mechanically, this is a workaround to you not being able to hold items. So yeah. It, what you do, your consume enchantment, is essentially you like attuning to something it. because yeah. you have a limited amount okay. of slots. Blah blah blah. So I'm gonna say that. You are attuned to it, therefore, or are trying to attune to it, therefore, the side effects of that process yeah. will also happen to you. <laughs> That's darn. I mean, that's still imagine. a ma imagine the ultimate. The like, cheekiest workaround, no, like, no, what no, you can't kill imagine, me, I'm already imagine dead. Imagine being a deity, you create this, like, evil artifact for, like, your chosen, and then some fucking <laughs> random ghost cons on just goes, MINE! And, like, <laughs> just, like, like curse that's on it. It's like, what the fuck? So. <laughs> Laszlo, the Lazarin. Oh, fucking here we go. <laughs> you commune. Uh, I mean, it's a guaranteed succeed, right? Like, it is a guaranteed succeed. It's not like divine intervention or you, you uh, wait middle. A few, it's only. Uh, you know, you've performed the ritual. You, you and if you do it multiple now, times, is it like Yeah. <clears throat> and um, yeah, I'm probably the same like shining a coin in mid just now. Heard last time you communed. Oh, God. Appears in, uh, like yeah. in the back of your head. What okay. can I do for you, Lazarin? 
Uh, I will... Do you know the precise location of the Amulet of Ravenkind? No. There are yes or no questions, right? Like so that. Yeah. Yeah. So Doesn't I mean, know the exact if, location. If, no. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I don't know the exact location. But I can say like, oh yes, yeah, the fucking Strahd house in it. <laughs> like. Um. Two questions left. Okay. Um. Is there a way to? Cure what is ever happening to Brooks. Oh, yes. So, kill him. It won't be happening if he's dead. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, oh, I've got to pick this question real carefully now because <laughs> of what I want to say. Yeah, fuck it. Um, am I powerful enough to restore Brooks? Oh. Let's look this up. Good question. Good question. Good question. Um, let me look at your character <laughs> sheet real quick. Um... <laughs> You have access to fifth level spells, right? Wait until she says yes. He does, yeah. We just know? got him. I do, yeah. I'm going to take some creative liberty here. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You can say it does Joaquin... say if a yes or no answer doesn't suffice, it does say you can use a sentence. Joaquin says yes, but it's not a guarantee. One might say it's a roll of the dice, no, shall we speak? <laughs> that is my three questions, baby. As you uh, ask, get your last question answered, she bids you farewell. I think we could. I'll be watching. Hey. And her voice. Thanks, Mom. Dissipates from the <laughs> uh, yeah, so you sort of see, like, that has been in a sort of quite like a deep meditative stance, um, like sort of polishing a coin um, in his fingers. And I sort of just look around like, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> So is it here? Well, <laughs> good news and bad news, kid. <laughs> good news is, it looks like we might be on the right sort of trail. Joaquin doesn't know exactly where it is, you know. It's not, you know, listen, so if it looks like we're, we're in... Place. Um, yeah, that's sort of it. I'll be honest, that's sort of all I could really get. Gods of Finicky, you know, they don't, they don't like giving you all the secrets. You know, like, limited to the questions. I can, like, uh, this seems to be like a yes or no. It's hard to really answer those. And as I sort of say that, I sort of look over at Brooks and sort of look back. <laughs> Just sort of give like a little bit. Okay. okay. Um, so looks like we're just going randomly. Um ba, 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 ba. like that one right there. I'm just gonna fucking point at. hang on, I'll know exactly what I'm pointing at. 39. <laughs> nope, I point at That's fucking Oh number thirteen. Number thirteen? <laughs> yep. Lucky I'm number lucky thirteen. Mm -hmm. Which takes you like Oh, 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 too much Jack's going. Oh, oh, go. oh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Winner will leave. But I'm not going to keep Dougie, you. Bro. If you're going to go rat, fucking stop selecting Jack. Stop it. Uh, if you're going to just Dad keep, like, me more than the rest. walking around these clips, I'm just not going to, like, follow you guys. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're good. But you make your way to this one. Right here. Uh, number 13, you said. Yes, sir. In my great book of crypts. Um, this book, this crypt is labeled King Katsuki, in brackets, Katsuki the Bright, ruler, inventor, and self proclaimed time. Oh my, dude, we gotta talk to this guy. <laughs> I mean, Bro, yeah. well, this guy's gotta have some stories, Jax, you know? Jack sees time, like, he's like, oh, a king, time traveler. 
inventor. <laughs> take don't take me back to my game. youth. Take me back to my youth. <laughs> uh, but again, like same. I can like, write all my wrongs. Same slab closing the the the, yeah. the crypt. So. God, Jax, you've been doing. I can invest in electric. Right, this one, I'm just like I'm just eating it behind me. You know. I can make another uh, strength slash intelligence That's check. Jax could like change off history. He just makes the Electrum never dies. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the blockchain is real. No, uh, no, no. Nineteen. Yeah, you just <laughs> slam it behind you, and you see inside this crypt a skeleton draped in rags lies atop a marble slab in the center of the crypt. Lying amid the bones is a stoppered drinking horn, a fat pouch, and a weird-looking scepter made of metal and wood. Above the bones, hanging from a domed ceiling by wires is a wooden flying contraption that looks like a set of folding dragon wings fitted with leather straps, huh? metal buckles, and taut leather wing flaps. Oh my god. I just Get your Icarus Jax. on, baby. Okay, <laughs> first thing. Wet dream. First thing. Detect magic, right? My detect magic, what does it... What's what's magical in here? How long has it been? Is that still up? He can do it like... I, I can do it at will. Continue. I have that magic oh, okay. rod. Yeah. Okay, okay. But technically, none of this is magical. This is all oh. science, baby. This is all science based. Even, artificer even shit. better. <laughs> Jax is literally coming right now. Um, <laughs> for the first time in years. You investigate oh, the random paraphernalia? Absolutely. Yes, everything. Okay, so we'll go one by one. The stopper okay. drinking horn is a water resistant water resistant horn, and as you open it up, it is loaded with gunpowder. And the weird looking oh. scepter that you initially think it is, upon close inspection, it's not a scepter. It's a musket. It's a gun. It's a gun. Soko's got gun two and fucking fat things pouch in a row. Contains I hate it. 20 here. silver bullets. <gasps> oh my god. Shroud's going oh. down now, baby. I just I call it a block. musket. Uh, yeah, it's just a musket. Okay. It, it should just be like a D&D &D thing. Um, yeah, I'm just like typing them out right now. Just to, like slingers. get them. Yeah. I mean, I have shitty decks, but we're going to make this work, guys. <laughs> Got a cat. Silver uh, bullets. The glider, uh, it seems that it is fit to be worn by any small or medium humanoids. Uh, takes a little bit to, like, don or doff, but... Um, um, as you, like, closely look at it, it seems functional. Jax, make an intelligence check. Natural 20. Oh! You deduce from, you know, you being an artificer, you know, an inventor type yourself, you know that this is not something that can help you fly. Like, it's not like put it on, flap wings, start flying. Yeah. But it is a glider. So it can be used to glide, but only in wide open spaces where there is room to maneuver. Uh, the wearer can, you know, become airborne by stepping off or jumping off of a high place or, you know, performing a very high jump. Um, and while aloft, the wearer gains a flying speed equal to its walking speed with the limitations of it being... You can't use the glider to gain al altitude and the glider descends uh, one foot for every ten feet that you horizontally hover. But, I mean, I mean yeah, it's a glider, so you can fly pretty far, but you'll eventually hit the ground again, you know what I mean? Yeah, the hard part's transporting it out of here. Um, like, Jax is just gonna fucking put it on now. It has an AC of 12, <laughs> one hit point, and 15 foot wingspan. <laughs> hmm. A little um, flimsy, but alright. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, like it's a glider, it's um, But it's like I said, it's not a flying machine, it is, it is a glider. Fine. Yeah. Like, I'm this is like finding here, Da Vinci's, but... like, helicopter, like... <laughs> <laughs> All the crypts have, like, a fucking inscribing on them that says, like, this one had. Well, every every crypt that you've seen so far has been labeled with at least a name and, like, some kind of subtitle, yeah. Okay. You look around and it seems to you that, like, every crypt that, like, in your immediate vicinity, they all have names. This guy's skull doesn't I, happen to be I just want to start going one by one. I'm looking for, like... <laughs> Knight. Warrior or knight, knight or yeah. I'll, I'll assist on that. Fuck me. Okay, let me look. Um <laughs> Or 
Look for, um, I tell Brooks also, look for, be on the lookout for anyone who maybe was actually, like of a holy order because it's the holy amulet of Ravenkind and it was. Yeah, I'll also like. Clerics that eye, originally I'll keep used an eye out it. for like okay. if there's a fucking I'll raven symbol on it or crypt, some shit like that. Because you're like, you're, you're free to move around and look. Yeah. Oh, crypt number just one. Keep rolling them realize, off and I'll tell you whenever I hear something. Yeah. So crypt number one, you realize, isn't actually like labeled above any crypts, it is above the main entry into this room. And it's uh -huh. labeled, herein lie the ones who walk the path of pain and torment. And you realize that the stone door, you know, that you would walk through doesn't connect to a crypt, but to the tunnel, as in this would be the normal entryway to get inside. Oh, okay. So ah, this entire okay. area is crypt number oh. one, and you are its Bef inhabitants. Before <laughs> you continue, Dutch, That's the other creepy. thing that uh, Daigon might tell a party to look out for, because also if, obviously... Strahd doesn't want this amulet found. Maybe it's unmarked crypts. We should also be on the lookout for. Because why would he want to put anything to like it? Should be like bury this, make it like into obscurity. Fuck this amulet. So also anything that's unmarked, I might poke my head into. Well, to be honest, don't I don't think Strahd knows this is here. Otherwise, oh, it wouldn't, it it would wouldn't be, here. be here. Okay, got you. Crypt number two. He would not keep something like this within reach of him. Unless it was somewhere he could see it and control it at all times. Yeah. Uh, bit number two is labeled Artista de Slop, Fort Ceiling Painter. <laughs> the what? The Slop. D E. The, the Slop? Yeah. The Slop? Yo, that's my boy Artista the Sloppy. Hashtag sloppy gang, baby. I mean, I'm not even making this up. This is straight up. I know. <laughs> no, like, I'm being funny. Out of character, Artista very funny. Slop. Out of character, very funny. In character, skip it. Uh, yeah. Crip 3, um, Lady Isolde Young, and in brackets, Isolde oh. the Incredible, purveyor of antiques and imports. That's a oh. maybe. That's a maybe. Be treasure. Yeah, maybe. Here, uh, I'll start making notes of which ones we're interested in. Du Crip 4, That's Prince Ariel du Primet, yeah. or in brackets, Ariel the Heavy. Yeah, no, skip. That's rude. Crip 5, How Artank dare. Swilovich, friend and member of the Barovian Wine Distillers Guild. Mm. Brooks might just we, enjoy that one for fun. We no, like, uh, fuck the raven. Were they anything to do with the fucking wine? Like, we went to vineyards and shit. Which oh, family was it that was to do with the wine? That, that was the that was one main. That was the main uh, raven man's. Yeah, yeah it, wasn't the, man's it, it wasn't the. It wasn't the last time Swilovich. This is something. No, it was not family. No, no it was but they were involved with wine, so that's yeah. Amazing. It's the um. Oh, fuck, what's the winery? Uh, uh, let me pull up my notes. It is. Hold on, I have it right here. Uh, uh, the Matko family. Yeah, and their winery was called the um, uh, Wizards the, of Wines. Wizards of Wines. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. So yeah, this doesn't seem related, but that apparently okay. at one point there was a wine distillers guild, and they may have been a member of that when yeah. Barovia wasn't shit on. They may have started. Okay. Um, Number six. Number six, Saint Markovia, dead for all time. Saint, Saint Holy Markovia? Amulet. Saint Markovia? Saint Markovia, okay. dead for all time. Uh, I would have stopped. I, I want to look at that one at too. Yeah. I, 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 are you going to do the head pokey thing on this one or? Uh, yeah, if they're still right. looking at other stuff, I'll just. I will. Oh. I'll let you do that, and then if it's important, I will come and. Sort okay. the fucking door. So poke my head in. Do I see gargoyles? Do I see body? Um, a ten foot. Oh. Oh, sorry guys. Um, mm. as you were going to read the plaque, you you know have to step to the door at least. Oh uh, no. Okay. So oh, see you um, later. I'm guessing this is Brooks. Uh, you do see this obviously because you have danger sense. Yeah. Right. But you trigger a uh, pressure plate. And small darts hidden in tiny holes in the north wall just come doo -doo 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 shooting at you. Make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Uh, Would me... I have to too then? Because if I was with Brooks. I, mean, uh, I, I, yeah. I assume you're not in the same fight. Oh, yeah. Only you would have gone forward to read uh, it. I would say just... if you're not like attached to Brooks, he's in like right behind him or like he is in the path in of his darts. Okay, yeah, because I'm sticking close both to keep an eye on him because mm -hmm. of his recent trauma, but also he has my new object that I am tethered That's to, true. so it, it's I'm keeping an eye. <laughs> like it's stuffed in Brooks' jacket. Uh, dexterity mm -hmm. saving throw? Correct. Uh, 26. Yeah, you managed to just like quickly just like jump backwards and you see the four 
four darts total just that fly at you from the, from your north wall just all hit the uh, the sto the next crypt over and they just fall to the floor. Can I do hmm. some cool monk shit and just catch one of them? Sure, man. Yeah. Collect missiles. Hell yeah, with that save and throw, fuck yeah, I'll allow it. Yeah, like I just want to catch one and look at it and see whether it's poisoned or anything or if it's just darts. Uh, yeah, you can see that the tips of the darts are coated in this very thick, viscous black liquid. Ew. Oh, this place is fucked. Uh, definitely check this one. Please be careful. Please. I mean, technically, no, like, I wouldn't trigger the pressure plate because I can very. I don't have just, full force to put on it. You do notice as well, Brooks, careful. is that when you dodge this, you step off the pressure blade, the pressure blade like lifted back up again. So you get the sense that it might trigger again if you step yeah. off again. I put my foot on it and like step out of the way and see if it triggers again. It does. Four more darts. I mean, for safety, we could sit and see how many fucking darts are in it. But <laughs> I have a feeling that's going to take a fucking while. So it's just like two years. A how is sort of it still like, going? A Lazarus halfway along, like sort of helping us, right? Uh, I'll be honest, I, Lazarus sort of getting like distracted by just other shit. He's just like, oh, what does this one say? What does <laughs> I'll just... Like... I'll just... Hello. Still Hello. Peek. Yeah, you're peeking. Uh... Pressure plate. Don't stand on it. Tell the others. <laughs> uh, Actually, you probably heard him because it's a very echoey uh, room. Are, are Aranya <laughs> and, and Elijah looking at different crypts? Yeah, sure. Fuck it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, then I'll just, we'll, we'll take turns. Cover more ground. Um, yeah, cover more ground. So, after this one. So, you peek your head in. Uh, the first thing you notice is that the crypt smells of roses. And the remains atop Ooh. its marble slab have disintegrated, except for one thigh bone. Okay, I'll then poke my head back out because I can't stay in the wall for more than six seconds because I mm -hmm. take damage if I it's like around right. So I poke my head in and then back out and be like, okay, their skeleton is entirely gone. There is just one leg bone left and it smells like roses and that's weird as shit. <laughs> no gargoyles though. Oh, yeah, were there gargoyles inside Dutch? No. Okay, no. <laughs> uh, that is... Uh... What did you say the name of this one was? Saint uh... Saint Markovia. Dead forever. Uh, Princess of Genovia. Dead forever. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's that's a skip and move on for now. The thigh bones connects to nothing. Yeah. Uh, we'll say Aranya. You check out the next one. Uh, uh huh. Number seven. The epitaph on the door reads Endorovich in brackets Endorovich the Terrible. Oh. Uh, and then also a quote. What the blood of a hundred wars did not do, the spurn of a woman accomplished. Damn. Uh, the stone door of this Aranya crypt, will read the stone door of this crypt lies on the floor. The crypt gapes open. You see a skull, some bones, a few bits of rusted armor lie atop a marble slab, a leering stone gargoyle squatting on it. Uh, I think this is the one, everyone. I'm like, I'm the one that's like going next to you because we all sort of love. I go, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'll, I'll point towards the gargoyle. Yeah. I will head over to them. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the, we'll do the like, you said it was like on the floor, right, Dutch? You said it was lying. The like, epic, like the stone door was already like on the floor opened. Um, oh, yeah. The door was, sorry. Yeah, the oh, door yeah, was okay. already opened. Good. Like, there is, there is, there is. Some bones, a few bits of rusted armor on top of a marble slab with a leering stone gargoyle squatting at you. How long did the locate object last? Well, like 10 minutes, but it's definitely more than that because I spent 11 minutes fucking casting. Yeah, it's gone. Like, you cast, oh, you yeah, cast it true. before. Yeah, you did your fucking resurrection. Wrong. Resurrection? Fuck it out. Fuck it. Uh, no, I'm here. Yeah. Make, Make a history problem. check, actually. Oh. Coming around you. Local. Can I can Aranya have advantage because they're from here? Oh no, the the reason oh. that she's able. Oh, to though that's why they get one. Okay, got you, got you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. She's a local. She might know these uh, th these people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wait for it. These people died hundreds of years ago. That's a sixteen. Uh, you remember reading stories about Dorovich and how he was a ruthless soldier and self-appointed noble who was in love with a woman named Maria. 
but she was in love with another man. As Maria and her lover were dining, Andorovich put poison into the man's wine glass, but the glasses were mixed up and Maria drank the poison, drank the poison instead. The lover was hanged for murdering Maria and buried at the Ilvis River crossroads. Andorovich never got over his guilt and out of madness killed many in his life. Wow. Uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll relay that to everyone. Um, and yeah, it's like that. That's that's what I know of him. Um, <clears throat> yikes. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man got issues. All right. Well, how? Do, what do we think is the safest way to? start going through his remains and try and see if there's an amulet on his person. I don't think there's going to be a particular safe way. Just being careful, I suppose. No, as I say that, I'll... Oh, wait! I can... I can... I, say, I can cast Mage Hand and have that start picking through stuff so we're not touching it. I mean... Could do. I'm still gonna have a little just... investigate the, uh, like, opening to if there's anything trapped. I'm just, uh move the guys please take your pills fire <laughs> uh, this is gonna be a tricky one but ah, none of you disappeared look at that crazy we oh, okay. so we'll say that Jax is like still you know he's at this one uh aranya's at this one because like they were the one um so that maslow was at the next one oh Actually, no. This is the one that already has a door open. This is the one. I can read my map, guys. <laughs> Brooks was right there. Was right to the one next to it because they were. He was checking yeah. out the other one with the trap. And I'm over there too. Diagon, and have you known? We're just kind of vibing, I guess. <laughs> They're just playing catch. So Aranya checked out this <laughs> one. Right. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, you see some remains still inside on the slab. There's two gargoyles. Uh, I'm carefully digging through everything and seeing what I can find. I need you to be a little more specific. Um, oh, what are you touching? What are you touching? What's... Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, okay. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I think they would maybe use like a scrap of cloth to protect their hands. Okay. Um, and start with the remains and like the immediate As you surrounding the area. <laughs> oh no. It's an agonized scream. Oh. oh. Just, ah, as this spirit appears in front of you, face covered by just sheer rage, and it looks at you, it glares at you, and the spirit enters one of the gargoyles, and the gargoyle just. <laughs> And turns around. Oh. Roll initiative. All of you. Yo, we fight in a gargoyle? Yeah. Dude, there's no way. A gargle? Gargle? <laughs> I swear to god, dude, we roll initiative and my dice just decides to hate me. Ooh. Every time. <laughs> it's, I got a brilliant initiative. It's a shame that I'm not gonna do fuck all. <laughs> um it's a shame you're not going to do fuck all, so you are going to do something. You can always banish you back to the material plane if you want. Oh, please do. <laughs> probably, be, it'll probably be as useful. Hey man, off to the so, ocean you go. Uh, do you anyone, think Strad's going to let that happen? 20 plus, Just, please. Dirty ben, twenty. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Ooh. Twenty-three. Good job. Twenty-two. And then me and me and Jacks out here holding down the rear. Twenty. <laughs> I mean, Laura, when are you not in the rear of an issue? Exactly. He has a negative modifier. I rolled bad. So. <laughs> I roll bad. Uh, 15 to 20. Could... 15 to 20. Uh, it's just it's just these two. 5 to 10. <laughs> roll once. 9. Nine. Laura literally Jax, makes a character that will have a high initiative. Negative 1? Right. Yeah. Is that one? Not one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love Jack's negative 2. It's so good to be back, so dude. Funny. Is so that, a natural, <laughs> that is a natural 1, yeah? Yeah. Oh, he's surprised, right? Yeah. 
Dash like, you Why would he be surprised? The guard was the one well, who initiated this combat. You but also, to be fair, <laughs> like, the no, old I mean, man Jack would have surprised. the slowest oh, reaction. Natural, time, natural so. bond. Right, 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 right. Um, you just miss around. You just like, Bro, I'm just admiring that musket, you know? Aranya kind of like, <laughs> yelp a little bit. Like, kind of like a, <gasps> when, that, when this all happens, like the spirit appears before them. And Aranya sees it enter one of the gargoyles, and the gargoyle turns around and just begins glaring at them. Um, it is your turn. Angie. I'm going to cautiously move up to the door. Okay. Just peek my head around. So you stand here. Yeah, you peek around, and you see Aranya's like face to face with this like stone gargoyle ready to fucking pounce. Uh, I'm gonna stay here and throw my daggers at it. Okay. With disadvantage. Check of this, move this upper wall. It's easier to see what it goes. Oh. <clears throat> um. That's not bad. That's uh, an 18. 18 to hit? Yeah. Yeah, it hits. Uh. Nine points of magic. Uh, piercing damage. Watch Gaga will be resistant to piercing regardless of whether it's magic or not. It is a big stone statue. So how much? Yeah. Seven points of damage? Nine. Nine points of damage. Uh, as you chuck your dagger, it does like chip off some pieces of stone from like it's one of its arms. Uh, it, it seems affected by it. Uh, I'm going to do it again. Okay. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> uh, that is a 15. 15 hits. Thank God for that. Uh, that's 10 points of piercing. Okay. Yeah, again, uh, you chuck your other dagger and it like clips one of the gargoyle's wings and like part of it breaks off and falls to the ground, just immediately crumbling. It's just the one gargoyle, right? There is another oh, one God. in the crypt. But, uh, but it's not that like... doesn't seem active. Fuck it. How much movement have I got left? Uh, you moved 20 feet. Okay. Uh, how far away is the gargoyle? Uh, I'm going to say that you are blocked. Uh, the gargoyle is in the doorway. Um, uh, actually, this door in reality isn't there. On the floor. Um, so I'll say that... Uh, so, if you move five more feet up here, I'll say that it's a bit tricky, but you'll be able to hit it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to bonus action flurry blows. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, first one is uh, four. No, uh, 15. It's. You have your knuckles on your hands, right, Brooks? So yeah, you're... which is a which is a, a plus one to hit because I only rolled a fucking six. Uh, plus eight, plus yeah. It, I mean, it's an extra plus one because of the knuckles, so it becomes plus nine. Uh, so that is uh eleven points of bludgeoning damage. Magical bludgeoning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, um, no, it's not. I do apologize. Oh. Uh, it would have been a uh, 14 to hit, not a 15. 14 just hits. Because I have my knuckles on, but this is my flurry of blows, which is not the fucking... It's not considered using my weapons. But they're still, it's still magical damage, though, right? Yes, because I'm a high enough level monk, all of right. my flurry of blows. You can punch ghosts is... now. Yeah, but it's it's like. <laughs> but watch out with all your. Okay. Anyway. I know. Uh... <laughs> yeah, so it like is like your cool. your flurry of blows is like throwing extra shit, right? Like it it's not considered using my weapons. Uh, I guess so technically. Yeah. Like if they were daggers, it would be like two stabs and then like two like punches. But because they're knuckle dusters, it'll be like kicks or elbows or whatever. Yeah. Anyway. Um. Second one. Mm -hmm. we, uh, Man's punching stone. Uh, that's a thir uh, 12. Misses. So you, uh, after you chuck both of your daggers and see some of the stone immediately like 
breaking off and crumbling to the floor. You kick it, uh, and you can see that like a chunk of its side kind of like crumbles to dust. Uh, and, as, and as you go for like another kick, uh, it's kind of just like jumps up and his wing, his wings kind of like flutter to keep him aloft while that your foot like sweeps under him and then he lands again. Okay, uh, I flurry a blows, mm -hmm. which means I get to disengage for free. Correct. Ooh. And I get an extra 10 foot of movement. I'm backing up like a good... I'm backing all the way up to the other crypt. Here? Yeah. No, like, further back if I can. There's another oh, tower, there's another right? tower there. Yeah, that's... I'm getting out, the, out of there. Okay. That's it. And I have a little cry. Oh. Wait. Did we do a bad? Why? Mm -hmm. Were you supposed to make all your attacks at this event? I did. You did? Okay, okay. I forgot to Yeah, that. that's why I got I got a fucking uh like a seven, a six, and a four. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And the seven and the six hit, yeah. Right. I don't worry, I have been. Don't okay, worry. Cool, cool, cool. Because I forgot to bring it up. Uh Lazarin. I I think I said it at the start, but maybe you did. Um fucking idiot. I will move up so I can fucking see the uh, I'll say like oh, I'm fucking miles away. What the fuck? Like yeah, because I just spread you around because you're all looking at the grips. Right? Mm. From here, you'll have vision, so 25 feet of movement. Cool. I will cast Sacred Flame on it. Deck save, please. Uh, thirteen. Oh, zero. Thirteen. Thirteen. It, it fails. Okay. So then I do. Oh, I think I do more damage, right? Hang on. I'd be two D8 now. No, it's 2d8, but I also have a special thing. When I use a cantrip, I do an extra d8 uh, damage. Well, ain't that fucking neat. Yes, you can. Yeah, once per turn, like, bless strikes. Like, when I use a cantrip or weapon damage, an extra 1d8 radiant damage to it. Nice. So 3d8. Oh, yeah. Uh, so that's 12 points of radiant damage. 12 points of radiant damage. Alrighty. So, this gargoyle, like, Aranya, you were, like, right next to it. So, you kind of feel some... The comforting warmth coming off of these, like, the swirl of white and yellow holy flames that just completely en en encase this gargoyle and then fizzle out. So you can see that some of his stone exterior is, like, blackened by soot and, and, and a piece of his arm began began to crumble. Anything else? Nope. Aranya. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um... Let me... I think we're gonna just stabby stabby. <laughs> but I just want to check that I don't have anything potentially useful, and it doesn't look like I do. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna stab. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Make your attack. Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay, well my first hit's a natural one. Very but good. <laughs> my <laughs> my dagger is a twenty-one to hit. I'll say that uh, as you go in with the rapier, I believe, right? Your first attack. Yeah. Um, you go for like a, a lunge at this gargoyle, but you trip yourself up because you kind of like <gasps> expect this thing to suddenly like this ghost to appear and then jumping into the gargoyle and it instantly just like one eighty turning to face you. You're like ah! So you try to like because all of this remember all of this at once happens in six seconds, right? So keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, so you try to go and jab at it, but you kind of trip yourself up and you drop your rapier to the floor. So that's on the floor now. Oh so no! You roll the natural one. So no. That's on uh -oh. the floor. Now. Uh, your dagger does strike true though. That hits. And it does uh, five damage. Uh, is your dagger magical? Tis not. Tis not. No. Oh. Anything and else? And I will. Uh... <clears throat> I don't think I have anything that I can do. Outside of action and bonus action. Okay. So, nope. Nick, it's now the gargoyle's turn, and it is going to multi-attack at you. Which means that Allie. it's going to bite you, and then swipe at you with one of its claws. The bite, that is a 15 to hit. Rude. A what? 15. Nope. Right. Huh. The claw is a 14 to hit, so that also misses. Nope, so yeah. 
Dope. That's the gargoyle. You managed to... I was ducking to pick up my rapier, so... <laughs> <laughs> he goes to swing and down. Oh, well, kill me. Um, Completely yeah, sure. accidentally like, like, dodged. already, like, ducking down so you can easily grab your rapier next turn, and it just bites you overhead and tries to claw at you, and it just completely whiffs. I'm just too fast. <laughs> Dagon. Uh, well, there's one thing I want to do, but it would also hit Aranya, so we're not going to do that. For, screw it, I haven't got a chance to do this yet. This seems like a good time. Okay. I will just concentrate on the various magical energies inside my body from things I have consumed and cast Chaos Bolt at the thing. Ooh! Oh, I need a 2d8 and a d6. I need to grab a more d8. There's another d8. Chaos. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh, I have to roll a spell attack first. Roll see attack. if I hit it. Uh, oh, okay. I was gonna ask a question if, if I get proficiency or just a modifier because I'm not like a technical caster, but with this roll, it doesn't matter because mm -hmm. either no. a six or a nine to hit. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> um, so that's a uh, heck no. God damn so it. this like colorful so beam of energy comes out of Diamond, just slams into the crypt wall, like right next to Aranya. And you just, <coughs> if Arani probably hears me go, God fucking damn it, behind. <laughs> um, it's and... like, it's a hard angle, Daikon, because you're here, right? Like, it's it's a pretty hard angle. Yeah. Like, it's, it's very yeah. tight. Just... Okay. Um, then, I have, like, no bonus action. Uh, but I don't want to, I don't want to possess someone yet, because I don't want to then have to be bounce out of them, lose the ability to protect them later, and I think I could be more useful outside of people's bodies right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I I will just move, like, ten feet, like, two squares diagonally up and to the right, so I, like, kind of have, like, that cover so it can't see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah until I'm ready to do something next yeah. turn. Um, yeah, I think that's it, sadly, for now. Uh, Wham. Uh, Davian is going to... And I can't use Chaos Bolt until I rest again. Great move. Walk up to Jax and give him the help action. And then now Jax is... Sick! Okay. <clears throat> yeah, a little too close for it for what I had planned. That's okay. Um... I'm not too good for this, like, at all. <laughs> Same. Well, <laughs> I imagine that bullets won't probably do much to this guy. Um, I will move to like the square, two squares down, and then to the right of where Aranya is. And then I'll shoot a ray of frost. Okay, what is that? At the gargoyle. <clears throat> I have advantage because of the help action? Yeah, advantage on your next attack. Okay. Ooh, that's good, that's good. It's nine, so 25. Oh, plus nine. Sorry, I thought you said that's nine. I'm like, what? Oh, you no. Go from, uh, rolling a nine to a 25. Uh, yeah, that hits. <laughs> <laughs> Eights. Ooh. Is that could have been worse? Um, yes. Fifteen points of cold damage. No. Fifteen points of cold damage? It is starting to look yeah. pretty fucking rough. Like there's this little, like patch of ice is like covering its chest, and you can see behind the ice that like its entire torso is beginning to crack, and the ice is really the only thing that's still sort of keeping it together. Um, it is rough. It is looking rough. <clears throat> Anything else, Jax? Yeah, I'll uh, burn a bonus action here and uh, activate my defensive field to give myself nine temporary hit points. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, back to you, Bruce. I mean... Fuck it. I'm going to go up to it and wail on it. Mm -hmm. Think of it Sounds as therapy. Good. Uh, that's an 11. Nope. 
That's a 15. 15 hits. Plus 9. Fucking nice. Uh, 4 plus... 5 question mark? Yeah, so uh, 9 points of bludgeoning. Yes. Uh, how rough this thing looking? Very. Barely being held together. Cracks covering its entire body. If I don't flurry of blows, I can't run away. But if I flurry of blows and then kill it in one hit, I'm going to be pissed off that I wasted a key point. Yeah. If only there was two statues. If only I could get Koiba to play my character for me. It would go quicker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm going there! I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Flurry of blows. Alright. Yeah, Dutch, it's funny though, isn't it? It's funny. Uh, 17. <laughs> 17 hits. Uh, for another six. Six points of damage? Yup. Not quite dead yet. <laughs> and another one. The one? See, look, it was worth doing. 11. Misses. It wasn't worth doing. It wasn't worth trap. doing. It wasn't worth, it wasn't worth doing. <laughs> okay, uh, I took it all back. <laughs> our flurry of blows, so I can just skedaddle out the way without them hitting me. Yeah. Back to your square room. Version. Back to my little hidey hole. At eight. Elazrin. Mate, I can't wait for this. I'll cast Sacred Flame again. <laughs> Please roll Natural five decks to make this. Yep. Here we oh. go. <laughs> I do fuck all this turn. See you later. That's my turn. <laughs> All right. <coughs> I ain't doing shit as a bonus. I can't use a spell slot. Use a spell slot, oh bitch. Nope. All right. Um, <laughs> is picking up my rapier a full action? Or... Hmm. I'll say that it is going to cost you your bonus action. That is rather rude. Um, <laughs> okay, I will take that up. <laughs> um, Fuck you, it's your action now, bitch. If you, if you yeah, don't fine. like it, if you don't like it, he can say that it takes your action. He just did, I was doing, so you, a, was I was doing you a favor. <laughs> Spitting in my face, biting the hand that feeds you. It's well, an action actually, now. Actually, <laughs> about the free object interaction as part of your movement? Um, I'm just bashing okay, so... <laughs> it was it was parody. That's why I used a funny voice. Um. Okay. 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 Well, I'm gonna get out of its face then. Um. Okay. I'm gonna use blessing of the Raven Queen to just back up. Uh, okay. Is that? Gosh. Is it that? Is oh. That the, whoops. Turn into a raven, fly away. No. No. It's oh, the. It's the engaged. like teleport. It's thing. a fucking teleport. All right. Um. Where do we go? Yeah. Um. Let's see. It's how long? It says thirty feet. Mark so. Me shield. No. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it right where you had that. The oh. like right in that. Okay. In between folks. Yeah. I'll do right there, and then until my next turn, I've got resistance against everything. Heck yeah. All righty. Gargoyle is gonna just come out. And is going to pull out the Brooks, because Brooks did the most damage to it. What a bitch. And is going to <laughs> multi attack, both a bite and a claw. Uh, 17 to hit? Uh, yes. The claw, it's a natural 19. So that is... Yeah, that hits. You don't have to yeah. do the math. I hit. I thought you were doing saying a natural 20 there for a second. If, yeah, if, if a natural, 19. if a seventeen hits, a natural nineteen hits. Yeah, I know. For the yeah, bite, the big you take number. eight points of piercing <laughs> damage. You are not raging, correct? Nope, but I still have temp HP. Okay, so eight points of piercing. Oh, no, I don't. We rested. No, we rested. That temp HP is gone. For the claw, you take uh, nine points of slashing damage. Okay, I'm oh, still damn. doing fine. But I just don't want to be it's here. It's turn. I will actually hit pretty hard. Um, uh, Jax, remind me, what did you attack with on your turn? I use Ray of Frost. Oh. <laughs> poop. <laughs> poop, poop, poop. Do you. I heal Brooks or do I give his knuckles glowy energy? 
Um, big glowy energy. Stab him in the back. <laughs> I I will. The matter with misery. Yeah, I will uh, send some of my spectral energy in a familiar sight of it leaving my body, and as Brooks's knuckles on his wrists be or fists begin to glow, and use my invoke smite. It's gonna be a real waste when this dude's got one health. Right. Well, we're guaranteed, you know, you never know. I'm and my, just being a dickhead. I have no idea. My heels, my out. heels are limited use, and we have a big fight eventually. Whereas my invoke smite is unlimited, so oh, yeah, two health. I see. So we'll do that. Right. And I'm gonna stay where I am because I don't mm -hmm. think he's paying attention to me, and I'm chilling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Even though you're gonna have a bright glowing. Uh, Davian is going to walk up to Jackson, fight him with the help action again. I, mean, I love this, Davian. Dope. This, this is the Davian. most helpful Davian's ever been. <laughs> um, is Onu providing Davian the help action to his help action? No. <laughs> Double advantage. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they each give me a help action for both my attacks. Mm. They can't stack help actions from the uh, <laughs> They no. can do it anyway. Well, shit. Um, I will... Uh, yeah, I'll just put Thunder Gauntlets on it. Maybe, maybe it'll take extra thunder damage, you know? Pop it. Start. First one is a 25 to hit. 25 hits. And the second one, if I can read this dice, is a 19 to hit. I uh, roll damage for the first one. Oof. Six thunder damage. So you, with one punch, crumble this gargoyle. One the punch. spirit comes out and just... Oh yeah, <laughs> no, and it's back to the room, and you hear the other gargoyle in there just slowly. Son of a! Oh no! Back in the room. Yeah. He did say there was two gargoyles. That's true. Yeah. Uh, what a shot! Face like before. when I was talking about flurry of blowsing, he was like, "Well, there's two gargoyles." Uh... I, it's in it's in the right spot because there's such a big like gap between the Ranya and Daigon's initiatives that he is still in the yeah. right spot. So. Uh, Jax, you can obviously you know you have another attack right, so you could just you yeah. know, move up to it. Yeah, I'll, I'll run over there and uh, hit it with that. As you hear it like wake up the second gargoyle and then okay. use your second second attack here. Do you want me to reroll again or just? Nah, you roll 19, right? Fuck it, that hits. Okay. That one does. Oh, even better does seven thunder damage. So good, okay. dude. You have such a calm down with damage, right? Fucking <laughs> All the one and the two, dude. That feels so bad. Yeah, that's so good. That's big. That's massive. Um, Huge. <clears throat> yeah. Is that your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Brooks. Hello. Hello, mate. I'm kind of in the doorway now. Huh? Yeah, you that's... fucking are, you prick. Uh, Whoa. Well, you... Tough shit, bro. <laughs> well, you could. we could say that if you want to, you can clear out the doorway, but it will provoke an attack of percent. You know what? Yeah, I'll do it. My man gets because that'll burn. That'll that'll burn his reaction. So as you like try and get out, he quickly swipes at you, but only rolls an eight to hit. So you just you hear you feel something like shield <laughs> off of the back of your armor, but you're like you don't you don't think. He's a pussy. Right, Brooks. I'm gonna go up and hit him. Uh, it's a sixteen with disadvantage. It's. Uh. Four, uh, seven points of bludgeoning. Okay. And I'm gonna do it again. Mhm. Mm uh, that's a natural three, so that won't hit. That's a twelve. No. Uh, bonus action. I'm just gonna hit him. I'm not even gonna flurry of blows. Yeah. Plus, you know that it's already used its three, you know, its three action, yeah. so you can just really move away from uh, it. It's a natural seven, so another sixteen. It's. Wasting all my <coughs> fucking crits. Uh, for another seven. Bl no, sorry. Uh, it would have been a, a. What did I say it was to hit? Fifteen. It would have been a fifteen, but I know that Still hits it's... anyway. Um, I keep forgetting that on my bonus section I need to not add nine. It's eight. Uh, and that would be six points of bludgeoning. All right. Uh. 
Anything else? And then I'm gonna back the fuck up and round the corner to it. Oh no, fuck! Uh, my first attack, I should have done extra damage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh you, my extra, thing, yeah. Uh, thing. Uh, Di uh, Laura, do you wanna roll for that? Yes, please. It's 2d6, right? Sure. No, I get to roll d8, I think. No, oh, fuck you. Uh, invoke, so yeah, 2d8 radiant. So that's an extra... Anyway. Aw, one of them was a one. So six points of radiant damage mm -hmm. extra. I'll take it. And then I'm gonna back up to where Dagon is, around the corner. Mm. Gonna, like, get here? Oh, the, like, round the corner, yep. There we go. All right. Cowering. <laughs> All right. The Lazarin. Oh, it's gonna be a huge shove for me, so I'm going to uh, cast Secret Flame. Uh, you can't quite see it right now, you might have to like move. I will move to the left like until I can see the corner. And you can kind of see it, yeah. And the second I can see him, I'll cast Secret Flame. Does it really cast as can casting if it's cantrip? Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> spell. I have to cast it. Six on the save. Oh, I fucking failed, dickhead. Mm -hmm. It's about to take probably like three damage. That's huge. It's me rolling. No, it, oh, it took actually fuckloads. I took 17 points of radiant damage. Okay, yeah, no, it is, uh, again, as you guys are just beating on it, at the end of the day, it is but a gargoyle, right? So, like, stone begins to break. It's a pretty brittle. It's made it's of old. butter? Uh, fuck you, man. Not <laughs> <tough>. <laughs> Fuck it is so tiring, so tiring to be around for four hours straight, man. It's unreal. <laughs> uh, anything else? That, was, uh, that was the peak of my comedic genius. If that's uh, the peak, that's fuck sad. me. Uh, Laszlo, anything that's else? That's rough. Oh, uh, no. Okay. Rania? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, <clears throat> okay. I'm just going to do more stabbing, I guess. <laughs> going to walk back up? Um, let me look at thing real quick. Which <coughs> one is? I've lost myself. <laughs> oh, there I am. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, if I can get there. I could always shoot too, I think. I'll shoot instead. Here. It's the same you have chance to like, of you have hitting. To like here to like have a proper line of sight, but yeah, you can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, nice. Did you roll magical? No. Oh. <laughs> My quiver <laughs> is. <laughs> no, you just uh, to attack. It's a sandwich. sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> just throw the quiver at him. <laughs> <All right. clears throat> oh man, I rolled a freaking one for damage. Four damage. Okay. Aranya's doing great today, y'all. promise not all enemies in this castle are creatures resistant to <laughs> okay, just happened to find this um, first. And, yeah, that'll... Oh. Um, let's see. Let me look at where I'm at. Do I have enough movement to get to, like, that wall uh, right by Daigon? Between already over by like, me. Run that by me one more time. You have enough. So to the square that's in front of that wall that's right next to between. Di yeah. Do I have space to get there? Five, or ten, movement to get enough 20, movement to get there? Just. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do that and then cunning action hide. Make a self check. Fingies crossed. That's an eighteen. Okay. See how that goes. Uh, there's another gargoyle stone. It. it is just going to m come out, turn to Jax. Give me a hug. Uh, 21 to hit for the claw, and the five is a Does two. not. Both attacks miss. Daigon. <laughs> okay. Passing the mic um, to you. <coughs> Yeah. I will... Uh, we'll just give more radiant damage, but I'll give it to Aranya this time on Ooh. the weapon you last attacked with. Okay, my bow. Yeah, so your arrows, I guess then, like, the, the arrows in your quiver start to have the glow of my mm -hmm. spectral Wait. radiance. Mm -hmm. How many, like, what die? It's just your many? first, I roll it, but it's just your first oh. attack sure. with that thing. So your first bow attack. 
Go, 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 go. Cool. Uh, is that it, Nigan? Yes, because uh, I'm nice and hidden. I'm going to stay right there. <laughs> Davian is just going to help Jax again. Jax, it is all to you, good shot. All right, well, we're punching the boy. Got one. Ooh, natural 20. Ooh. Love nice. it. Or I actually rolled okay. Um, that is plus five, so seventeen thunder damage. So you rolled like yeah, max damage plus a, plus an additional roll, yeah. So cool. crits That's crits. not what I did. Nineteen thunder damage. Okay. <laughs> Forgot. Pretty well for you, but that, that's how we do crits. Now. Yeah. Crits your Laura, uh, Laura. Like we do use this mechanic in. For campaign and I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, you've so corrupted yeah. my like IRL D and D as well. We use the that crit system. So yeah, uh, okay. it is looking very rough. And it's the so next rough. one is a twenty-one to hit. Also hits. Or ooh, thirteen thunder damage. Man, it had exactly thirteen hit points left. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh shit! So Look as out. you punch this statue, it immediately nice. crumbles, and you just see again. The spirit just agonizingly going, Rah! and it just looks at you all, and he just, you can see, instead of rage, there is just regret on his face. And he just looks at you, Jax. I'm sorry. And oh. the spirit, like, soars up. And just, as it seems like it has now been laid to rest. Me too, me, me too. Huh. Right. So, huh. that said, you've now cleared this crypt gone. of its uh, host. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess to go back to search for the amulet? Mm -hmm. <laughs> in the surely in here where the gargoyles were. Yeah, that's. So, no. uh. Raffle through all this man's belongings. Who's uh, taking point on this? <laughs> oh, if no, no, everyone does. Do oh, right. Let's let the last one do it. Okay. It's a very one, confined two, space. Right. Like, so it's very hard to get all of you in there. Yeah. But um, whoever is is investigating to see if they can find where this the, the supposed relic is, make an investigation check. Oh. Uh, I can resume my search unless someone else wants to. No, yeah, why don't you go for it? Go for it. Okay. Can I like very help? timidly now though? <laughs> Can I help? Yeah, there's enough space in there. It's only like a like a like a ten by ten feet area. Okay. So, but you you can both be in there looking around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And just sit slumped against the wall. I'll I'll, I'll I'll do my own roll with you, Aranya. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Me. That one. No. Aranya hey. is very shaken and sees nothing with okay. their nat one. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> my, man, that makes my 11 look titanic. <laughs> as you, uh, the DC Why, wasn't very high. Thinking. Um, oh, as sorry. you, uh, like, oof. see, the bones kind of got disturbed. Um, mm. You kind of, like, wipe it away, wipe some of them away. And you can see that there is a small piece of stone that doesn't match the rest of the marble coloring. And you lift it up, and underneath the stone, there's a hidden compartment. And... Doesn't seem locked. Inside of it, see. The amulet. See, fuck right, The holy symbol of Raven. Right oh, holy symbol of Raven. Oh, well, that makes all the fucking difference. Uh, well. Um, we it. Yeah, it's got holes in it. Hey. Instead of being an amulet. Yeah, it's just fucking. Put the holes. All it holes. See a. Um, you should the musket of it. Yeah. Round, sun shaped symbol made of platinum with a huge red crystal embedded at the sun's center. And the amulet is engraved with symbols, with the symbols light and truth. The record of this is it. Huh. Definitely not what we're looking for, boys. <laughs> Keep searching the crypts. No, I just have a quick question. Mm -hmm. Does this 
Is this technically count as like a sunburst amulet? No. What's that? Oh. Wait, what do you mean a sunburst amulet? Uh, <laughs> it's a... Sun, oh, sorry, sunburst pendant worth 100 yeah. gold. Uh, it's a component for a spell that I need. Oh. Yeah, imagine though he's um, like, yeah, this thing that we were told we need to defeat Shroud, I'm just gonna consume it no, for a spell. This is like, no, a, it's, this is like an enchanted it's a, magic it's item. A, this it's is a not... continuous thing. It could be, it's it's just I need one to cast through. It doesn't use it. <laughs> no. Bust it. <laughs> Bugger. I know what spell you're trying to cast it too. <laughs> yeah, and no, Dawn's such a good fucking spell borrow <laughs> for this. Um, it is of course. It's nice. like you, 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 do you touch it? Oh, uh -oh. Sure. yeah, I'll pick it up. Did you pick it up? You can just tell that the, the, there is very powerful divine magic inside this amulet. Oh, but it's not the right kind. Can I identify <laughs> it though? Wait, whinging, you just got like a holy relic. And with that, you have found My... the final piece of the puzzle. Woo! You could obviously like learn more about Strahd in the book you have. So but Book scary. Oh it doesn't Cass have the book. I guess yeah, so, yeah. so books out the window now anyway. But um with the Sunblade and the holy symbol, you have two very powerful tools that will, could provide you with the edge against Strahd. But doesn't Dampion have the Sunblade? Dampion has again, the Sunblade. Nope. Yeah. Fuck. But then again, there's still a whole lot more of the castle to explore. And oh, trust the more castle. powerful items to be found. So, with also, this amulet in your possession, what do you do? I will cry. turn to Jax and be like, identify, please. What, <laughs> do, what do? What do? Jax, please, what do? What pendant do? What do? No, I'll see what's happening. Like, um, probably see what do we want the does, fast right? version or the or the long version? I mean, we could probably afford the fast version, right? We can just... Yeah, it'd be all right. Rest, um, right? Brooks, you look a little... little... All banged up, huh? Yeah, Brooks, are you... How banged up's Brooks looking? Brooks has, like, a bruise on the side of his face, but other than that, he's fine. I'll th I'll take a patch off of my coat, and I'll, like, toss it at you, Brooks. And as, like, mid-air as it does, it turns into a potion of healing. Oh, nice. Very nice. <laughs> um, okay. While he's doing that, uh, I will I drink will said identify. potion of healing. I know so, you have three of those three, patches. Four plus two? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just yeah. a regular one. Yeah, it's just uh, you're casting an Entify, uh, Jax? Yeah. Ooh. You know what Jax is grabbing hands like? A... Is that it requires attunement by a cleric or a paladin. That oh. Makes sense. Yeah. Well, there you go, Lazarus. You just became a big yeah. target. I can now he's got to now he's gotta pick what to unattune. The holy symbol <laughs> of Ravenkind oh, fuck. is a unique <laughs> holy symbol. Sacred the good-hearted faithful of Barovia. It predates the establishment of any church in Barovia. According to legend, it was delivered to a paladin named Lugdana by a giant raven, or an angel in the form of a giant raven. Lugdana used the holy symbol to root out and destroy nests of vampires until her death. The high priests of Ravenloft kept and wore the holy symbol after Lugdana's passing. The holy symbol is a platinum amulet shaped like a sun with a large crystal embedded in its center. The holy symbol has 10 charges, and it regains a certain amount of charges every dawn. The first ability it has is Old Vampire. As oh. an action, you can expend one charge and present the holy symbol to make it flare with holy power. Vampires and vampires spawn within 30 feet of the holy symbol. When it flares, it must make a wisdom saving throw. And on a failed save, they are paralyzed for a minute. You can repeat the same Whoa. at the end of each of its turns. Oh my god, paralyzing it! It can so also much. turn undead. You all oh. know what that does. Um, I'm scared. And the last one, <laughs> as an action, you can expend five charges while presenting presenting the holy symbol to make it shed bright sunlight in a thirty foot radius. <gasps> Yo. It lasts for ten. This minutes. thing is fucking. Awesome! It's the basically nuke. just anti-vampire. I mean, it is a, it's, it's a legendary item. Yeah. Oh. So we don't get to keep this when we're done. No, <laughs> it's gonna be gotten rid of. No. No, we get to keep it. <laughs> so, no, like, <laughs> this has, like, this has to go to, like, an actual, like, Raven Queen Church or some shit. Uh, they want to pay us for it. 
It's it's actually not of the Raven Queen. It's, or it's post that. We give Look, it to Aranya your... as a parting gift when this is all said and done. Oh, so all... No, no, or... it is our culture to steal it and put it in a museum. Or <laughs> I keep it forever like the hoarding dragon that I secretly am. Right. Anyway, um, there's still on this floor plenty of crypts to check out. I'm there's still plenty sat of on the... to explore. Or I scare. could choose to say fuck it. Yo, let's go. I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sat on the floor with my dagger. I want to finish fucking carving the steak. Smile. I mean, I'm team blue everything personally. Do I need to um, this? Is it but it's like, a, like as, as equal as the 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 chance of getting more shit is is also equal of finding more things to fight or weaken us or harm us or traps. And so it's like, wait, what? you had a tre there was a treasure crypt, right? What? Like like uh, one of the crypts that we were gonna look at. Had like treasure the only or ones something. I wrote down the crypt number three had a woman who was at antiquities and antiques was in her yeah. thing. Yeah, crypt I'm number go to three. Her crypt and open it up. Okay. Isolde crypt number Isolde. three. I'm gonna keep you, like, make you roll for fucking the opening door. We'll door opening. Opening door is fine. Um, it just yeah, takes so time. Lady Isolde Young, purveyor of antiques and imports. Gosh, uh, you see dark. a skeleton draped in rags lying on top of a marble slab in the center of the crypt, uh, piled all around it, covering the floor. Are heaps of old baskets, braziers, bundle tapestries, candlesticks, chairs, chests, cooking utensils, cressets, curtain rods, decanters, dishes, jugs, lamps, scroll cases, tankards, tinder boxes. Oh my but god. None of the junk looks valuable to you. Holy shit. So she was a hoarder. She and they hoarder. buried her with all her shit. Yes. That was, see, that was worth that was worth opening the crypt just for that. <laughs> just Your for Dutch reading. I'm, I'm out. happy. <laughs> Like you open the door um, and just this like pile uh, of shit just comes like rolling out. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so to the group, I'll say obviously I will, whatever we feel is best, I will go along with. But as weird as this sounds, I'm heavily in favor of just confronting the elephant in the room or the vampire in the room now while we are as healthy as we're going to get, and as as, as the most energy we're gonna have until this day ends, just a thought. And I'm I'm more scared of this castle than I am weighing uh, the benefits of what we could find. That's my the, that's where with, I'm at. With that thought in the open. Yeah, like that's said it. out loud in character to the group. As, as mm. soon as this is brought up vocally, Brooks mm. is pulling out some fucking. Uh, oh, one of the premix cans I've got a fucking raggedy lady. Nice. Which, oh god, I have to fucking pull up my. You got a raggedy lady in your backpack? <laughs> yeah, I I have a bunch of like what is basically like premix like cocktails in cans. Yeah, that one's called the raggedy lady, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, which is yeah. uh duh, 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 duh. um. I love that one. It's I like the image of you literally pulling right So, uh, a classy lady is a raspberry and elderflower gin, uh, some triple sec, uh, some pink coloring in a wine glass, and a raggedy lady is the same, but you swap uh, the gin for vodka, and you replace the triple sec with absinthe. Yikes. It's fucking... I, <laughs> as, as Brooks drinks, I'll say, unless, Brooks, you feel like it's worth it to try and find your brother first but i feel like knowing strahd he's keeping him close by as leverage to use against us in a in our eventual encounter personally i, I don't think I'm he's terrified. just somewhere in here uh, number one i feel like it's useless finding Aaron until strahd's at least fucked off because if we find him then uh, we're not going to be able to leave with him unless we've at least done enough to convince strahd to fuck off uh, and secondly, I am terrified of the idea that we will go find my brother and then confront Strad or Strad confronts us, and he's right there and very yeah. fragile. And yeah, I think we just—I don't want to do this. Want isn't the right word. This None is of us want to do any of this. This is fucking terrifying. <laughs> but no, this is all truly awful. We, fuck it. We we. We deal with it and we die, or we don't die, and at least that way it's done. Because fuck going around this place. I. Fuck. My uh, thoughts exactly. 
there's <laughs> no way for us to get out of this without doing it, so... Yep. And the more we put it off, the worse so it's The more chance be. we run into harm and only weaken ourselves before... All right, drink, drink number two, let's go. Maybe we look at names on the crypts, and if anything says maybe like treasure or something of the valuable sets, we take a look. We also can come back after, if there's well, an after, because well, then we don't know what killing Strahd could do to this place. Oh, oh, okay. And that's my other thing. If we don't I... try to first, but I don't then, but then, know what about Brooks' brother? Well, you have. I, I don't know. This hurts my brain. <laughs> it's yeah. a 50 50 coin flip, really. I mean. <laughs> so I. I could yeah, try. Yeah, but even to... if we find Ren, like, what do we. Like, where do we. Safe. Where do we put him? What do we do? Uh, like, why don't we just keep him outside? Or we go fight Strahd? We tell him we to hang out in the courtyard. Where no, he's. Turn to, turn to the, the room we've got, that, that chapel. Place. You tell him Six to go steps. hide in the chapel oh. and, and hug we the statue. Him, we take him there. We take him there. I, I do have another idea. Okay. We could send him on the glider to glide off the cliff back to. Absolutely fucking not. No, no, no. We want him <laughs> close by because he could end up anywhere. I'm not going to fucking another wild goose chase. Yeah, no, while we're, while we're no, fighting no, no, no. Strap we, we to point save him, him he towards, gets eaten um, by a boogeyman no, 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 outside. No, no. He's. <laughs> no. No. Jax, we don't point him. The nearest place to here is currently being overrun by the undead, so you know. Yeah. We are either leaving him where Not he is and going to deal with this shit now, or we are going to get him and we are making sure I he can is safe. try to talk to Joaquin again to maybe try and find a place where he might be with generic questions, but there's a chance it might not work. And should you, shouldn't no, you be no. saving the energies you would use to talk to her for? No, I could do it as another ritual again. It doesn't cost anything. Oh, okay, okay. You don't have a ritual to just find people. Well. Uh, no, I don't have that. Sake. I can ask if, like, Strahd has him nearby. Is he in the, you know? But again, no, if Joaquin we... doesn't know. She, she's a fucking uh, god. What do you mean if she doesn't know? Well, God, I'm, like, I'm, like, they don't know everything. They just know what they know. So what's the fucking point then? They just know what they just... know. <laughs> <laughs> You expect, like, every god to know everything about everyone constantly, do you? Isn't that why they're fucking gods? Well, she's the god of coins. She knows about trade. She doesn't know oh, about, so she you knows know, where the all the coins are. Fucking brilliant. I'm gonna let this one slide, Brooks. Yeah, you know, I, I, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just let this one slide. You can looking you at the last ring better. and what just else being, you like, do? like, trying to be, like, given Brooks' history, just trying to, like, non-verbally just be, like, it's, it is the, Not the, time. the the look of two people who have had deep paranoia just like <laughs> no, it's not I will say Brooks, uh, with you getting this like frustrated and irate and angry at a Lazarin your mind immediately like flashbacks the vision you had uh. oh no <laughs> oh no oh no no I promise that I won't leave the crypt but I am going to take a walk and cool off. Okay. And I walk away. I'll sort of give like a so sorry, Brooks. <laughs> like really quite like. As he walks away, I'd be like, again, whether whether he's in the right or not, we probably need to just keep like do our best to keep absolute maximum chill around Brooks right now. Yeah, it's fine. I right. would like to. <laughs> if well, we while he's time. while he's gone, before we go, while, yeah. while he's like just, and I'm like whispering just to those immediate, like, yeah. just again, not saying we're gonna act on this decision right now, but just to put it to a vote to gauge where we're at. All in favor of heading, taking the fight to Strahd and see who raises their hand. And I raise my hand. Does anyone else raise a hand? Aranya uh, does. Elasrin does. Okay, so it's three. We don't know what Davian is. I'd like to think Davian would vote with me because we're both um yeah. crawlers, so yeah. Okay. Yeah. We can message him later. Uh we can message him and see what he says. So so again, right now Regardless. So right now it's it three seems two. Yeah. It's three, but two, we and don't then know one what Brooks, Yeah, I mean, so Brooks is good. Brooks is a doesn't give a fuck, he just wants out. So he's yeah. uh he's a as okay. far as we're so as far as the, the conversation moment, we've had. 
at the moment, it seems we're leaning that way. But again, there's still more discussion. I'm not saying this is a binding vote. I was just checking. I'm gauging the no, room. Think... And again, Jax. So cool. Mm. If Lajan's going to ritual cast that spell, you have 10 minutes. You have to 10 quickly, minutes. To quickly check a few more. Well, that was my uh, thought. I was so, going to yeah. say, I want to, like, look for crypt Well, names I mean, anyway. Realistically... Realistically, right, we can figure out with Duke what we're like gonna do as a party next session. Yeah, but, like we're not gonna be going that much longer, so we might as well let Mans loot the catacombs. While well, we... oh yeah, we can loot this immediate well, area, but I don't want to keep that up once we leave the catacombs. Say, it, if we, I mean, if we're spending a bit of time here, we should probably figure out how this thing works, and that will like you have to attune to it anyway, right? Like yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. If I want to take a short rest to attune to it, you're all, you're all can take a short rest. I, oh, wait. Should that we short rest in choice. the chapel because the chapel is the safe room? Yes. Do you think short resting yes. here is a poor yeah. idea? We can loot here and then yeah. short rest in the chapel while a Lazarin yeah. connects yeah. with this new holy symbol. How long Which makes me regret drinking the potion that Lazarin gave me. How long does it take to unattune from something? I think. Yeah, is it just like instant? instant? I think it's instant, yeah. While wow, rip and piss my shield. That <sighs> bad boy's going. And Why just... the shield? Like. Because it's the rapier that gives me advantage on initiative, or the luck stone that gives me plus one on fucking everything. Yeah, but uh, I mean, counterpoint. What's the point in an on advantage on initiative when you roll Craig rolls? Well, it doesn't matter because the arrow catching shield, right? I just can't catch arrows anymore. I still gonna have it equipped, <laughs> just not a tube. Yeah, I so it's still can't a wait. Shield. I can't wait for Strad to pull out a fucking bow. This right. man pulls out a fucking bow when I'm five foot next to someone and shoots them. I end it all. Okay? Right. It's, that's anyway. just how it goes. <laughs> so, the current gonna... tentative plan is finish looting crypts, go rest in chapel, and then after our short rest in the chapel, while allows in tunes, so we'll make the final call of do we go right to Strahd or do we continue exploring? And that way, Davian will be here when we make that final call as well. Hopefully. Okay. So, uh, Jax. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just keep listing off names, and you just tell me which one sounds like Jax. That sounds amazing. Uh... Crypt 8, Duchess Dorfnia Ilisnia. Dolphinor? So I can just write down Crypt numbers. Dolph Ziggler. Crypt 9, Crown Zimmer. Piddlewick, Fool of Dorfnia. Piddlewick the Fool! That's me, you know, I think you mean Craig the Fool. Crypt number 10, <laughs> Sir Leonid Krushkin. Uh, brackets, Sir Lee. Crusher, bigger than life, he loved his jewelry. Uh huh. So, Quinn, fucking. Uh, so like, but every time, every time I name one, is it just be like, oh, this is one that I would open. That way, I don't have okay. to go back. I would open this one. Okay. I figured that's why. I... Um, as you open the door, <laughs> you see an oversized raging. skeleton draped in jewelry and rags, lying atop an elongated marble slab, in the center of the crypt. Leaning against the slab is a bloodstained mall strung with cobwebs. Another mall? Is the mall uh, magical? It is very large, as the skeleton itself, you guesstimate, sit and like lies down, but it seems that this man was well over seven feet tall. Mm. Uh, Hog. So the mall is a little bigger than the average mall, and it gives you a little bit of pause, but it does appear to be harmless in one manner. Um, but, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll search it a little bit and see if I can find some. Well, you see that there's three jewel necklaces around this guy's neck, skeleton's neck. Oh. Um, do you oh. loot? Yeah, I'll grab. Uh, My cursed as fuck. I shit you not. These are worth 750 gold each. <laughs> Oh, Yo. found 2.25k <laughs> gold worth of jewelry. It's a shame that when we leave Barovia, they cease existing. Dude, that'd oh, be no. so, that would be so sad. Oh, I Wait, where did they go? <sighs> Either that or we get there in their fakes. Otherwise, uh, nothing interesting in this crypt. A lot of jewelry. I mean, that's... He has a bag of holding. He can hoover that up. 50 gold each, and there's three of them. Okay, I am ready. Uh, Crypt 11 is uh, Tasha Petrovna, healer of kings, light unto the west, servant of the bank. I'm good on that one. 
King Troy's king, the three-faced king. One is I'll pass on that one. King Katsky, that one sounds trapped. Brackets Katsky the Bright, the ruler. Oh, that's the one that's the time travel one. We already have the one. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, number so 14, sick. Stabal Indibak, a truer friend no ruler ever had. Here lies his family in honor. Nah, that's right. Oh. Not screaming treasure. Uh, the next one is Kazan. His word was power. Yeah. I mean, word is power, that means spell scroll? Okay. I'll do that one. Uh, as you open the door, you see a skeleton draped in rags lies atop a marble slab in the center of the script. The skull has black opals set in its eye sockets and shards of amber where it teach where its teeth should be. Interesting. Is it magical anyway? Or any magical traps I might detect? Detect magic? Yeah. Some more magical energy inside this room than there is outside. It, it seems that... There is this, like, wall in this crypt. I don't really know how to fucking explain what? this. But mm. make an arcana check. I'm getting scared of this one. Oh my god! What a roll. Uh, twenty-eight. Jesus fucking Christ! I rolled the nineteen. So. Thank God. Make an intelligence check too. Oh, so <laughs> told you. <it> was <laughs> Okay, not up. quite as good. You're still good. Shithead, brother. Uh, just my intelligence modifier? Yes. 22. Okay, uh, putting two and two together, it seems that there is an item in this room that is invisible to your eyes. And something in this room is keeping it invisible, but you can't, you don't quite know what. Um, the only hint That's... you have is what you read on the slab, which was, I'll repeat it again, Kazan, his word was power. It's the only context you have. You feel there's something in this room that you can't see, and like when you try and like put your hand on where the magical energy is coming from, it just goes right through there. it. But there's some, some ain't right. <clears throat> uh, okay. Thoughts, guys? I mean, I'll ask him can I, I, I have, well, it's entirely unrelated to this, but also mm -hmm. I'm really angry that I've only just noticed it. What? Would you like to remind us of the name of the woman who was the hoarder? Isolda? Yeah, Isolda something. I don't have the last Isolde name Yunk. Or Isolde Isolde Yunk. Yunk. Isolde Yunk. Isolde Yunk. Is old junk. It's old junk. That is crazy. I, oh, did, not, oh, I did not so catch it. Oh, that is so fucking <laughs> clever. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. I actually kind of love that. Not gonna lie. I never would have realized that in a million years. I never would have got that. That's crazy. I, I just thought, oh yeah. Now, like money. if I remember correctly, like half of these are puns, and then through the additions they got rid of them, and then in curse they brought them back. Oh my god. What if it's just his name? I mean, what is just his name? Like that movie that activates it. Oh, yeah, I want to say like out loud. Uh, Kazan, right? That's what it was. Yeah. Okay. And you, the entire uh, ship begins to shake. Oh my god! As Big a brain. staff materializes in front of you, exactly where that magic energy was. This large staff. Um. Uh, let's see what it looks like real quick. Hold on. Um, <laughs> Oh, is this what I think it is? I have no clue what this is. It is. It is this I like, like staff. Uh, 
and it doesn't move. The serrate <laughs> just like darkened wooden staff with like a precious like, gem on top. Um, yeah, but that just appeared when you said his name. I. It's gotta be trapped, right? Can, can I investigate it for traps? The staff? Yeah. Or like whatever it's Make rising up out or... of or attached to? Okay. It's not attached. It's kind of just like levitate. Um, now my dice have to start rolling bad. That's not good. 14? 14? You can see that there's a lot of like electrical. Just like, like, like lightning kind of like, tss, 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 like running up and down the, the shaft of the staff. But you reckon, put your hands on it, it might sting a bit. That's all. I might have a spell for this. I prepared it. I think I. It, yes. Okay. You said it's like electrical, correct? All right. I want to cast absorb elements. Okay. And do lightning damage. Um, I have resistance to the triggering damage type until the start of my next turn. So after I cast that, I'm going to grab it. Make a constitution saving throw. Fuck. Dude, watch it be something completely unrelated. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm not terrible, actually. I think my constitution saving throw is actually pretty good. Um, plus nine, so 18. Okay. Uh, as you grab the staff, you just. <laughs> You immediately just like feel the lightning mm. running through you, but because you did make the save, so you would have you already take half damage and you resisted it, but you only take a quarter damage here. Uh, you do take some lightning damage as just like okay. it, it seems that um, it was conducting electricity and it just has been for yawns as I have long been here. That electricity now like needs to go somewhere and touch it so. <laughs> But it seems that after your th that has happened, it's no longer like electrical. It is just the staff is now good to pick sure. up again. Essentially, it was just charged with like conducted electricity, and it had nowhere to relieve it. And gotcha. Like, so no matter what, touching, you basically just had to suck it up and hit. You it. touching it made it like, <laughs> but now it's gone. You do take some damage though, okay. like a quarter damage. Like who gives a fuck? Um, Big money, no whammies. I also uh, have my temp HP still, which is sick, actually. Oh, dude, I mean, it's a good thing you saved this, bro, because I'm going to just say it's 8 oh, how much How much damage is it, like, max? Like, what's, what are we talking? 10 lightning damage. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. So it's a good thing you take quarter damage here, because this is going to fucking sting. <laughs> this is going to hurt. Uh, oh, three, my six, word. That's a nine, and max, I'm taking, what, 20? 18. Oh, Lord. 21, 28, 37, 42. 21, 10. 10 points of lightning damage is all you take. Oh, snap. But it would have been 40 otherwise. Bro, I lost one HP. Um, but you now have uh, a staff, which you'll have to identify to know what to figure out what it is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I... Um, oh. And they're, like, I'll remind you that there's also these like black opals and skulls on it. Oh, yeah. Uh, and, uh, I... Eight amber teeth. Can I just take the skull? Uh, just mark it as okay. Kazan's skull, I guess. Kazan's skull, okay. And then I can step down. And whenever that comes up, we'll have to like go back through the fucking Curse of Rot book weeks from now to figure out how much value worth. Uh, shit I'll... In there. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Uh, all right. How many crits are there here? Like, there's uh, a shit ton, right? Forty total. Yeah. Fuck. Um, okay. I'll like a lightning round them. Uh, the next one is Elsa Falona von Twitterberg. Beloved actor. She had many Twitter. followers. These are puns, guys. They're puns. Twitterberg. Uh, love the name. She had many followers. They're puns. Oh. Love the name. They're going to have to pass. update her last name now. Sorry, guys. Oh. I worked on Curse of Strad. <laughs> uh, the next one is Sir I the Cedric Spinwitovich. Uh, confused though he Wait. was, built the greatest naval force ever resembled landlocked. <laughs> there's, uh, there's no coast. Right, yeah. Uh, uh, 18. 
seems that this stone door has been carefully laid to the side. Swirling mists of perpetual fog, freshly engraved letters spell out the words Irina Koliana, wife. You've heard his name. Oh. Ooh. You said it's open? I don't like inside, that. The crypt's empty and swept clean. No problem there. And it seems Stay that this off. is where Strahd intends to keep turns her into whatever it is. Fucking yikes. This one's reserved. This one is not taken right now, but it is preserved. Yeah. Uh, it's reserved. <laughs> I'm going to come back How long is the wait list to get one of these? Uh-huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to come back from a calm down walk and go hang with Jax while he loots. Okay. Because um, I don't trust him not to get bitten. Too late for that. Uh, the next crypt says uh, Artemis, builder oh. of the keep. Thou standest amidst monument to. I I gotta loot that one. I gotta check. He's the builder, uh, man. He might have like a map or something. Watch it have like nothing in there. Rags. <laughs> oh, goddamn it! Yeah, of course he is. Like literally, my dude built the fucking castle with all the secret passages, and then they killed him. So that, 100%. yeah, because no one can know. 100%. He was like, he did it and then they killed him. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Uh, it was like, it's done me, Lord. Is labeled Sasha Ivliskova, wife. One of the wives. Scary. Is that like one of those people he thought was like a reincarnation of whatever, whatnot? That was Irina, uh, wasn't it? No, that's Irina. Irina uh, is Sasha the was one. like the reincarnation of Irina. No, 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 no. no, no. So Strahd walks around, but there's there's it, it, incarnations upon incarnations, right? Like there's there's. God it. Irina, like... if I we don't know for definite that Irina's a vampire yet, okay. right? No. We just know that yeah. he she reminds him of the woman he yeah. loved when he was alive. And Got he it. believes that she's that incarnation. He intends to vampirize it's really her. Really convoluted. We do. We don't know about. We um, haven't heard anything about what's your this. I think I'll pass it. Jax. Not great. E sixteen. Better than mine. Hear footsteps on the other side of this door. Yeah, not opening that one. Let, yeah, let's, <laughs> not let's not do that one. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm good on that one. Uh, I like it. The next one. As I mean, Katrina she could Melikova. be a prisoner, but... Right. She could be a prisoner, but at the same time... Dude, yeah, but I feel like it's gonna be something else that attacks. It's gotta be something no, we that ha We Sasha. haven't heard anything about this fucking Sasha woman, have we? Do I hear yeah. anything through this door? Uh... No. I mean, she's the bride, though. I think we'll pass on it. It's, um, Too risky. It, sounds like a, it sounds like a trap to me. What, the it's like the king uh, ones. I don't know. Uh, next one is called, I you were... is, is labeled Sir Eric Vonderbucks. Yo, V-Bucks? V-Bucks. Okay. <laughs> Do you have a little tagline? My no, dude V-Bucks? It's Sir Eric uh, Vonderbucks. Eric Vonderbucks. I honestly... Uh, uh, this one feels sketchier than the last one. Like, yeah, the but it's last gotta be one... money, right? Like, it, it, they made the pun. They made the pun. <laughs> this, uh, they made the pun. Uh, you know what? I'm I don't, opening. I don't know it. if I'm that was actually a pun. This is the one. It wonder box, dude. Wonder <laughs> box. You know? This is how they get you, bro. It's you the open wonder the door, box. See a gilded man lying on top of a marble slab in the center of an otherwise barren. Crew. Wait. This wealthy gilded. noble. Had his corpse dipped in molten gold before they put him away. That's so sick. Oh Yo, so what we do is we Mine melt is the top the half off. So we pull him out like the inside of a Kinder Egg, and then we've got like half a man's weight in gold. <laughs> oh my god! Just how thick is this bag gold? of holding like how... to deal with later? If it fit, <laughs> that's unless it's poured really thinly. That's got to be a lot of gold. No, How much time would it take way. me to like scrape the gold off? Like, ah, uh, you can't, man. I'm just gonna stop you there. there. There's no way. Fair enough. Then I'll move on to the next one. <laughs> we not we not fit him in the bag of holding. No, that's, that's gonna take a lot of time. Nah. Okay, next, next one. Script. Brooks and Jacks, hands in hand. Wonderbucks let us down. 
His next crypt yeah, is Lady Jax. Is. No shot. <gasps> oh no. Excuse me? I hate oh. it. <laughs> I don't think Jax is a last name, right? It's just Jax? Jax. Is he a last name? Not as far as I know, so. It's <laughs> just labeled Jax. So that's the creator Jax of the character. <laughs> If you Jax doesn't sub... remember it, then Strahd yeah, not a... know it. And you yeah, look at cool it, subtitle? Jax, you see your name yeah. up there, and like there is this underlying feeling of needing to know. Oh, no, no, don't do it. Make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, no, uh, don't. Oh, you, what is you this? You know this is the sanity worst part? Oh. Do, I'm with him. Do I need to make this as well? No, because you also see it labeled as Jax. Oh, that's yes, even weirder. But, but yeah, Brooks were... wants um, to go in. I hate it. Uh, no, Brooks is good. Uh, 19? Okay. I mean, I yeah. still want to go in, but... Okay, uh, your sanity's fine, but there's still this feeling of, like, you you feel compelled to look inside. You have I'm gonna to. I'm going to open it. I'm g I have to open it. I'm going even in. If, even, if, even if I wasn't compelled, I am compelled. No. As you open is the door... Is compelled? Zucko is compelled. As you open the door... The crypt releases a horrid stench of decay, and it reveals a corpse lying on a marble slab within. Your corpse. An identical copy <gasps> of you, Jack. What? Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Then I poke no. it. No, what? As you touch the corpse, the corpse melts away. And Brooks, <laughs> as you like look over shoulder, you hear some sound above you. You can see the inscription. That what previously said Jax has is disappearing and now it's just unmarked. Jax, you touch yourself, pause, you touch the corpse <laughs> of your copy, you and it begins to melt to away stuff? until it's just this puddle of blue skin and, and, and dark red crimson blood. And you, you look at your hands and you see your pieces of your own skin like stuck to your fingertips. Make another wisdom save and throw with disadvantage. I hate it here. While he's doing uh, that, Dutch, mm -hmm. before the corpse fades away, mm -hmm. Fuck. I hate it. Bro Brooks really needs to know. No, he doesn't. <laughs> is there a visible cause of death on this body, and is it what I expect it to oh. be? Oh, no. No, it isn't. Okay. <laughs> oh. I don't welcome? like that you brought that up. Natural. <laughs> right? Natural what? <laughs> you yeah, don't, natural one? You don't natural like that one. I asked why, how he died? It's Koiba's dice, by the way. Fuck you, Koiba. Jax? Oh, Jax is gonna break. Jax is done. Yo, let's break together. There is this, like, lingering feeling in the back of your head. Is this my future? Is this what's gonna happen? When I step up against Shroud? And this, this, this doubt, kind of this, like, seed of doubt has been planted in the back. You've not quite lost your sanity yet. Oh. But you oh are my God. very close. Dude, I was doing so good on those saves, too. Very you rolled a one, though. That must be fucking nice. I only had, like, one sanity gone. With that known, would you like to keep searching? Or are you like, no, probably good. Hell yeah. Let's go. Don't be a pussy. <laughs> All right. You know what? He said I'm a pussy. Yeah, we're going. That's meta gaming. Jack's never heard that. Don't do that it. That is also true. No. Right, well, lightning round. Uh, <laughs> Ivan Ivliskovich, champion of winter dog racing. The race mate... Go to Swift to the Swift, but vengeance is for the losers' relatives. Um, yeah. first counselor, we've already we've already looted that one. Uh, Intri uh, sick for Lou. Sure. He spurned wealth for the knowledge he could not take to the heavens. Oh, for fuck's sake! Well, he spurned wealth, comma for the knowledge he could not take to the heavens. Intri's Valu. That sounds like bad. Intrinsic value. So yeah, there's oh, not going to be objects right. in. The oh no! Uh, we've got to open up the pun one, right? <laughs> no, we're no. not opening that. No, it's such uh, a shitty pun. Twenty-seven Fuck that one. is empty, missing its door, and you see uh, some spiders kind of vibing. Yuck! Like a little spider spiders. Rave. Like, like big, like normal size. Oh, bim, 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 like like bim, 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 the size of your hand, but they're not like tarantula. Like, but not, like not, monst not monstrous, but terrifying. But yeah, big. exactly. Uh, Brooks uh, uh, canonically <laughs> is an arachnophobe. Well, there you go. Yeah, so Brooks, Brooks is shitting himself. 
Uh, God, we're broke. <laughs> just... <laughs> uh, uh, fuck, like, fuck that. Uh, Wait, it sets on fire, just... <laughs> genuinely, like... Do you, have any, do you have anything fucking flammable? I've only got alcohol. Um... Jax. No. Why, why don't we just leave them there? Because fuck that. <laughs> no, but oh, no. what if you, what if you attack them and they like grow bigger or something, or then they come at us? They're they're doing Thanks. their own thing right now. I just really fucking leave them alone. needed that image in my head. <laughs> so just fucking leave them alone. Uh, we the, the uh, fucking I'm... ones that we've opened, we've had to lift like the big stone slabs up, right? Yeah. I'm gonna put one of the slabs on that door. Cover it up. Block it up. Welcome in. <laughs> fuck the spiders. All right, I'll just keep a bit on. The next uh, crypt is Bascal, Bascal Offenheis, Sh Chef Deluxe. Okay, I'll, I'll skip that one. Um, I mean, that kind of sounds great, but I don't think Brooks food will last that long. Brooks is a little interested. That's what Brooks would be, foodie. Oh. Next one is Baron Ice Glaze Druff. Let's open that one. It's barren. Gotta have uh, something. Right. Opening the door causes the air around you to turn as cold as the coldest hell you can. Barren ice. Every ice is in his name. Yeah. Every surface inside the crypt is covered with thick brownish mud. Ooh. Gross. Um, can I prestigitate <laughs> the mold away? I mean, it's every surface. You can be there for a while. It's just like while, like, <laughs> while I'm like searching like around his body or whatever, you know, not to uh, little path. It's like a five well, foot cube, you, you know. See that this mold has like small holes, and see kind of like it's not done anything yet. Actually, make a nature check. Fuck it. Can I assist is, my, is nature no, intelligence? I'm, I'm... So, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can assist him. Yeah, I, uh, I, I'm not proficient in it, but also I say you, you if you want to roll your own, roll your own. No, I have a plus one. I'll assist you, mate. Okay, probably a good thing because that first one was a four. So, um, my nature. Oh, it's plus five, seventeen. You know that this brown mold is uh, particularly nasty. Uh, you know oh. that uh, it's one of the very few plants that actually doesn't take damage from fire. Instead. Fire is what makes it grow bigger. Uh, but you do know that magical cold damage instantly and automatically kills off any brown mold. I will ray of frost. You it. also know that uh, this mold in particular is able to burst out a bunch of spores, a cloud, uh, and anything in that cloud is fucked. Very potent. Is fucked. Uh, oh, is freezing it, just... it, it doesn't activate the spore burst, by the way. That is just like a okay. self-defense. If anyone touches it, it just... Is it, like, poisonous? Just, uh, curious. No. no okay. You know that it's not quite poisonous. It is more... Uh, it's definitely some magic shenanigans going on. Um, mm. Given that it grows in crypts... Yeah. Around Ooh. dead people. Erotic. The uh, spores that it bursts out are also very much in that vein. All right. Um, just then, okay, these spores could hurt you a lot. Uh, and I will cast Ray of Frost on them. Yeah, the spores instantly just like, pfft, the mold, I mean, instantly freeze over, crack, die. Is there Sweet. anything in here? Uh, now that you've killed off the um, mold, See that hidden next to Baron's bones. The Baron's bones. A blade. Baron's bones sounds like a pub. Is it a pretty looking blade? Is it a cool blade? Is it a magical blade? Is it a like a short or a long? If it is magical, blade? I will pocket it into the uh, bag of holding and it, identify it's cool it later. I suppose. One end anyway. Uh, when you say uh, a blade, like a short sword. Should I just put it as like Baron Druid's sword? A uh, Crypt 29 sword. Crypt it, 29. It, it, it's a sword. Like a short sword, a long sword, a. Or blade. Sword. Like, name it a blade. Blade? Okay. 
Cinderella. Uh, Red you will identify that one when we take a short rest. I have a lot of things to identify. I just Ooh, have to. You've got a lot uh, of we'll have a few more to go, so let's quickly just finish this up, right down yeah, the yeah, yeah. like, and, it, and we'll end it. Uh, the next script is uh, fuck me. Prefect Cyril Romulic, beloved of beloved of King Barov and Queen Ravenovia, High Priest of the Most Holy Order. Lazarin, you want me to open that one? Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm full, like, just fucking look at this necklace, but yeah. I yeah. mean, the holy oil. Right. I'll, I'll open that one. I'll open that one. That my one sounds my I'll come some holy oil. I'll come over to that one as well. I'll, I'll Honestly, just in case. holy oil or even just fucking silver at this point, like, because uh, I'm down to my last vial and I'm. Got silver bullets. Okay. Open this door. Yeah, you do have. We I'm could slow. shave your silver bullets to make holy oil. Um. That's a genius idea. Take a lot of time, though. We've got time. Well, anyway, uh, I'm trying to like finish this up, so I'm really trying to like. Just... Yeah. Sorry, yeah, 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 I just had like a really good idea. I'm sorry. Uh, a marble slab in the center of the script displays a skeleton draped in red vestments, a golden holy symbol, touched in one bony hand. The domed ceiling, 15 feet above, is painted to look like a canopy of trees with bright autumn leaves. The narrow stone ledge encircles the crypt, 10 foot above the floor. First on it are dozens of stone ravens, their eyes fixed in a marble slab. Is, You're still magic sensing, right? Is the holy yeah. symbol that he that man says the same as the one that I'm currently now wearing, or no? This is a uh, golden holy symbol filled with tiny gemstones and looks very dumb. Is it magic? Do it I recognize magic. the god? It is magical. It's it's magical. magical. Scoop that up! It's going in the bag. <laughs> Uh, the yeah. symbol, symbol, symbol yeah. on the symbol yeah. reminds you a lot yeah. of the statuette. Oh. Have we figured out what deity it is yet? Oh, no. It's one that we'll never know, because it it's, it's so old. Lost, it's older lost than to time. time. Ask Joaquin. Maybe in some like old library Bitch. we can maybe track it down. But... Or like someone from Borough be like, yo, who just who just here? Who? I mean, blue's old. Maybe um, blue yeah, I'll grab it. Oh, never mind. I'm lying. Yeah, cool. Uh, nice. You uh, had uh, talks about the Morning Lord. Yo, it's a oh. Morning Lord fucking it's holy symbol. symbol. Symbol of the Morning Lord. Holy oh, fuck. Yeah, I'll grab that shit. That's Pog. Andrew. Hmm. That was Blake. We holy symbol. jiggled his bones. Nice. So, <laughs> St. Andrew, holy symbol? Yes. If touched by an evil okay. creature. Well, that's not usually. Only, only what, until I attune to the fucking rod. Holy symbol of uh, morning board in brackets 500 gold. Damn. Zaddy. Uh, the next script is labeled We knew him only by his wealth. That's a Jack's room. Oh no. That's 100% <laughs> a Jack's room. I, mean, I gotta open that one. <laughs> uh, script's empty. Walls are painted to depict mountains of gold coins. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's so fun. Um... Hey, man. <laughs> Wait, the crypt is empty, but, we'll, but, but, but what? But the like, walls are like. The walls are painted like there's gold coins. coins. Yeah. yeah. The <laughs> there's not even any actual money in it. It's just a joke yeah. crypt. It's just a. Oh, fuck that. Next one. <laughs> yep. Uh, yep. That hurt. Unlabeled. The door to the script has no name or epitaph. Nothing at all. Bad things happened the last time we started touching around the weird I'll ones. I'll poke my head in. Well, it's still like there's still a door. It's just not labeled. Oh well, yeah. Fuck the door. Door okay. can get off. Uh, uh, mm, carefully and checking for spiders. You're good. Uh, Gotta check for spiders. It's empty <laughs> except for two alcoves in the back wall. Above the alcoves are carved the following words: "Pass not these portals." This more. Right. See, now I'm torn. Because on the one hand, it's got a do not enter sign. But on the other hand, A, fuck the system. And B, oh, fuck. I mean, so. Do we know if Strad had the castle built? 
If we assume Strahd We have no clue. It could have been right? built long before him. It probably was. Is that something Aranya would know? Mm. What came first, Strahd or the castle? That's a good question. Uh, because um, to me, if I was like, I don't want people to go here. Aranya? I'd put a big sign saying, don't go yes. here. Make a history check. Uh huh. It's been a while. Okay, okay, okay. Let me check my modifier. They they just uh, look like alcohol, 18. right? I don't remember exactly, but one didn't come very much later than the other. Oh, okay. Can I look and see if there's any, like... like the alcoves just look like normal alcoves, right? Yeah, there's two alcoves, and there's just this, like, yeah, paint, paint warning above it. Can I... Alcove, one tentatively... Alcove. Uh, can I tentatively check for, like... <sighs> I want to, like, run my hand along the alcove and check for, like... Like a... A secret switch, or a trap, or... A hidden, like, storage thing. So when you say run your hand along the alcove, are you feeling, like, inside the alcove as well? Yeah, 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 like... As you touch inside the, the inside alcove, you guys all look... And see just, like, a flash of light and Brooks disappears. Fuck! <gasps> Brooks? Oh, you yes. in a room that oh, has no. okay. a heavy portcullis standing, like, closing a l the large archway, and you see the crypts where I your friends it. are, like, behind mm. the portcullis. But you mm. are in a room, black marble steps mm. descending to a dark tomb that has a vaulted ceiling 30 feet overhead. Essence of is this what I think it is? permeates the very air. The smell of freshly turned earth is here. Settled into the dirt on the floor is a shining black coffin, finely waxed wood. The coffin's fittings are of brilliant brass and it is closed. South of the coffin are three gloomy alcoves. Iron lever protrudes from the fourth wall. Looms uh, which crypt was this, question mark? <laughs> it was like 31 or 2 or something like that, I think. You, um are in a whole other like this is like this is is this is this a Whew. is there a very clear and obvious way back yeah is this giant Wait. ass door with a port, question uh, archway of the portcullis so when you can see the crypts that you i can see back with. to them they just can't see yeah. to me yeah question okay I... I go through back oh okay i was like does anything happen to me when he goes through because like is he i mean technically the... i'm not how much i don't like, know what's the distance again i think it's 100 feet, feet. i'll double check I think it's 150. Uh, 150. 150? Yeah. 150, yeah. You're right. Uh, no, you're within the range. Like, you don't disappear. Okay. Okay, just checking. So, I don't know uh, there was some temporal yeah. magic can't go like, back, across the... the portcullis is blocking your way. Oh, fuck. You can see your friends, like, down the, down the path. Up the stairs. I immediately start to just calmly, quietly panic, because I know, I don't know where he is, but I know I'm attached to him, and mm -hmm. I'm like, oh god. Oh god, am I just gonna get yoinked somewhere? Uh, can oh, you god. all hear me? Can we? Can we? Yeah. yeah shoot, no. Okay. Panic yeah. lessens slightly. <laughs> oh, yell back, yes. So I... if you walk over there, is there like a lever, or was that on the other side with Brooks? The lever's with Brooks. Brooks saw a lever on his side. Oh, I mean, I'm on, so there's this like portcullis in front of me. You are inside, like, there's no room here on this map, but you are inside this large room that was previously blocked off by this large portcullis. That teleport seemed to just be the way in. Oh. Okay. Uh... There's an obvious mechanism for the portcullis. I've there's a lever. mentioned three times now that there's a lever on your side. Okay, yeah, I know. I was more... I'm sorry, I was a bit distracted by the fact that I got teleported into his fucking okay, but private there is a lever. room. <laughs> I pulled the lever. <laughs> okay. You die. You die. Uh, uh, raising the lever, lifts Imagine. the portcullis, and it like... Goes up top. Um, I walk back over to the gang. Yeah. Oh, that was... That took me over there. That's now open. Pretty sure that's this fucking... Whatever the fuck it is, room. 
the vampire you were, thing. Like, looking around the room. Um, Nap time? Like, it's safe to assume that that might be, that is a, that's Strahd's tomb. Judging by how large it is and how much do how much does Brooks know about vampires? Like, how much do any of us know about vampires? Really? Not much. You are more than just Aranya. None of y'all are. We know what we've looked up, and that's Aranya. about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I don't know if Brooks will know like anything about like a vampires team. Yes. Um. Make a history check again. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You win these. I that's a twelve. You do know okay. that uh, vampires get killed. They transform into a cloud of mist instead of dying. And they can't revert to their vampire form. They must Senior. reach their coffin. Generally. Ah. See, campaign you one, see, players learned this. You too. now <laughs> seem to know. Yeah. Where his coffin is, all that, and how to get there. Ooh. If you do end up yeah, fighting him, the game. and he does get to the point where he turns into mist, you know where he has to go to regenerate. That means that we could Brooks wait. Could okay, no, Brooks doesn't know this unless the Aranya accidental tells teleport Brooke. actually provided at least Aranya with some valuable information. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's up to them if they tell. <laughs> yeah. Him. Um... And they they will yeah. Um, that means that on the we hustle off down chance, here afterwards. On the off chance we survive this, uh, we could, you know, we like we could end him forever. Like yeah, like finito. Like what the fuck is that gonna do to this place? Hopefully destroy it. Let me touch both. No, I mean like <laughs> this place. Like, will Grand it all start scale. to crumble down around our heads as we're... Who knows what like, happens to I Barovia. mean the, the realm. Oh. Well, probably, I mean, how intrinsically attached is it? I mean, I assume it's probably here forever now. I would think it would get better. He's like a disease upon, on this realm. Yeah, but, Kill yeah, but him, like it goes back to... Because Barovia wasn't always like this. Yeah, but you don't, you don't just magically cure a disease fully. It lingers for a little bit. Magic literally does cure diseases fully all the time. It happened to Jax like an hour ago. I didn't have any diseases. Well, so, but if you would have, out, but if you out, did, out it would have. Out of character, <laughs> you kill like a lich. Their like their little pocket dimension ceases to exist. If this is all just Strad's big back pocket. No, but we know we're in the shadow fell, so. Yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah, but but we're not, is, we're we're worst case scenario, we pop back into we're our still in the shadow fell. This is a not. place that used to be somewhere else. Exactly. My guess mm. is, and this is in character, my guess is this will just get. Like, it'll be real awkward for the people in its physical space now, but it will just appear back in the material plane where it used to be. Like, That's possible. Which will be interesting. Right? Hmm. <laughs> um. We'll say that, uh, for sake of expediency, I know that. Include the majority of the tombs, but think we're gonna yeah, that's time. Good. We'll pick this up next week. Oh, um, yeah. And I guess next week might be the day we all Might be. Sad. Well, it'll depend I, after our short rest what the vote is. So, I, yeah. I have one request. Mm -hmm. Once we've finished this whole arc mm -hmm. and we do a discourse, Someone yeah. remind me to ask Dutch what yeah. we missed in the catacombs. Oh, <laughs> well, the, ca the castles. I want a whole. Like, I don't want to know because it's gonna make me. I sad. want an hour discourse where Dutch just runs through everything we missed in the entire like castle. Oh, fuck, dude. Yeah. There's, um, there's like what, like a hundred no, rooms, hundred and ten rooms. Anything we don't find, anything like you downloadable. I said <laughs> after the arc, you bitch. It's a no, castle. I meant like the, the castle. No, you fucking. Like I, I'll if there's things that you haven't found, I might just like copy paste it somewhere else. It's true. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like this castle Ravenloft by like because like, I'm I'm using just the, the, the plane, like even though the story we do with yeah. Strahd is vastly different from what we from what Cursed yeah. is. Uh I'm I, I'm still using Castle Ravenloft as is given to me uh by Wizard of the Coast, right? In the book. For the physical environment. Uh, and it's eighty eight it's eighty eight rooms, dude. Like, this is a lot. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of shit. The yeah. problem is is that Strahd is Strahd is an <laughs> iconic and brilliant villain. Uh, villain? villain? An iconic and brilliant villain. <laughs> Unfortunately, 
all the modules he's in are written in like a really like poor taste. Yeah, yeah. they don't haven't aged well. Uh, <laughs> no, that's why they. That's I mean that's why they refined. And the, the worst Strahd part is that Curse of Strahd is like the third re-update. Yeah. Like they keep updating it, and every time we're all like, ooh. It becomes less problematic every time, but it's still not quite perfect. Yeah, we're, <laughs> it's, we're getting there slowly. Um, but yeah, so, and like, there's 88 rooms in this castle, and you've already found the artifact you needed and are ready to fight Strahd, and you've only seen like 12 rooms of the 88. Mm -hmm. If that. So, uh, if that. So, there was a lot more to cover, but we'll see oh. next week what happens. Um, then again, like, it, is, it comes with a risk. You explore more, you might fight more. Oh, we could also die. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you fight more, I mean, as in like, yeah, you can find loot, but you can also like meme. more things like gargoyles Fighting, or enchanted suits of armor or spiders. vampire spiders. minions or um, or spiders. I'm more worried about finding vampire spawn or minions or the white spiders or like Irina. Uh, we got we got that pendant now. We're fine. So, but, but if we use it all on them, then we get distraught and we're tapped. Said, so, like, thanks for watching, everybody. Dutch is ready for Appreciate that. you. We'll make this up <laughs> next Sunday. Uh, mm -hmm. I talked to Duke. He's still buying a phone. Oh. <gasps> so I'm not. I'm not, I don't think I'm here. No, wait, I'm back next Sunday. I can be here next Sunday. It's fine. <laughs> oh, the panic. Yeah, but I, th I think- The roller coaster. If we're, if we're gonna be doing big stuff, we probably want as many people here as yeah, possible. Yeah, 100%, 100%. Uh, so, like, well, obviously I know Bell's a, a maybe. Pretty, like, are we all here minus Bell on Sunday? I'm so, good next Sunday. I'm, I'm sorry. Good. You said you checked with Duke. What did Duke uh, say? Well, Duke is on the men, so I'm assuming he'll be here next Sunday. Yeah. Uh, okay. He, he did say we like, taking... he probably won't be down for BG3 tomorrow, but might be able to reschedule it later in the week if we go down. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that. Um, uh, you wanna? Are you a busy boy this week, or do you want to discuss? I'm always busy, man. Uh, well, he's got his new job, so. Well, I'm yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm How dare you? Oh, this Monday. Like, we just need to hire oh, okay. a, a host for fucking discourse. Uh, Loki, we do. Um, I think for now, while I'm getting my life in order. <laughs> Uh, discourse is on pause. We'll do a discourse at the end of like the Strahd arc, like do like a proper one. Yeah. And then we'll get back into weekly discourses oh. once I kind of have we, a sketch. You, know I mean? We could do a big yeah. one. We could do it. What, we could do a whole group a discourse. discourse. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, more more time, overlays you know? than I need to make. Wait, Jake, is DD this Thursday? We played last Thursday, no? So we skip, we're skipping this week, no? Am I tripping? Am I tripping? Why? Yeah, look. I'm tripping. Uh, Mr. Paragon DS, Bip I have next Thursday off, right? Okay, there you go. Bipping trolls. I play in a D and D <laughs> campaign that Jake DMs every yeah. other Thursday. So. Imagine yeah. playing D and D. Um. All right, cool. No, uh, we're good then. So, um, we'll do a discourse when we're done with the Strahd, uh slash Brooks personal like backstory arc, and then once I have some semblance of a schedule again, I'll be we might have to reschedule discourse to another day. That might be better because I don't know work shit yet. Yeah. So we'll see. Yes, I'm brother. We'll see. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate you. Ollie, thanks for the, for the gift subs. Uh, Pixie, thanks mm -hmm. for gifting a sub as well. Um, you guys are awesome. Love y'all. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye, Bye friends. Bye. 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 Bye.